right. Saturday night, SmackDown. ATM, Andrew Pettinger versus Stephen Wyatt. If you're out there and you can hear me, I'm doing a mic check right now. Uh, get on your stream and let me know you can hear me loud and clear. Let me know if you can hear me, guys. I'm setting up, getting everything ready. They're out. Uh, up ATMs warming up right now. Mic check, mic check. If you can hear me out there loud and clear, type in something, tell me, let me know. We're going to have a special uh, loud and clear. Thank you, Mark K. Big match tonight. Two in one week, uh, they're starting to pop off here at the bar. Race to 25 for uh, 4,000 a man, 8,000 in the middle tonight. And uh, Shar, Sharik Saeed is going to be uh, commentating with me. If you don't know him, he's from Singapore. He was on Team Singapore in the World Cup of Pool. Him, Shark played with uh, Ulysses Yap. So we got a great treat in the box with us tonight. Professional pool player will be commentating with myself. All right, Shark, come on in, dude. We're able to get... Uh, when we're sitting down, we're not really able to see the table. But we're going to look at this screen. Yeah. All right, all right. So he's just speaking to this? Thing. Yeah, they can hear us right now as, uh, as we wow. talk like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Early predictions, Char? Well, <laughs> I think it's going to be a close one, but uh, I give the edge to Stefan. Yeah. You know, the least amount of mistakes, you think? You think he's got a little more control of his control of his game, the cue ball, his yeah. break maybe, your favorite is break or? And also I think the mental side of it, you know, in, in money matches, I think it's underrated. Yeah. But uh, Stefan's got a good head on his shoulders and I think he can manage himself uh, good if he's down or up, you know? I like that, Yeah, I like that. ATM, uh, definitely like a rhythm play. I think last time you guys mentioned it. So if he gets going, uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna be dangerous. Yeah. Stephen. Yeah. So, I don't know if you watched the Wednesday night match between him and Mark Vidal, but uh, his break was definitely, it killed him a little bit there. It wasn't working as good as Mark's, and I definitely favor Stefan's break over ATMs. But that yeah. could change, and you know, he, right. he could move to a spot and all of a sudden find something. Uh-huh, exactly. And also sometimes, even if you don't break good, something else goes in and you land on the one, you know, this tends to happen all the time. Right. So, I think at the end of the day, yeah, the one that plays smarter is going to win. Okay. You know, definitely. I definitely favor that part of the Stefan's game over ATM's, the, the defensive part of the game. Yeah. But, you know, ATM can... It's play. underrated, too. Like, the, the defense bar table nine ball, it's a little underrated. Like, people don't think about oh, yeah. how much defense comes into play, but Stefan definitely, I think, has the, the advantage there. For sure, yeah. It's, uh, I think it's important in any match, especially bar table, like, say you run out of line, you gotta be much more precise with your cue ball because now you're playing into much smaller zones. Yes. You know, people think bar table is easy. Yeah, the shot making aspect of it is easy, but to control your cue ball, that you know. Good point. Great it point. Tight zones. Yeah. yeah. Manny Burroughs, what's up, dude? Coming down to the break. That's what Manny says. If you guys are just joining us, like and share the stream, please. We got 19 last time uh, Wednesday night. We got up to over 200 viewers. There we go. We're jumping up already. Like and share the stream, guys. We're looking to get a lot of viewership tonight. Uh, it's going to be a sweet match. I uh, hope they keep popping off over here. It's uh, it's exciting. Yep. Two top players. I know a lot of the players that come in here. A lot of league players. They like you know they like getting on the stream. Maybe learning a couple things. Oh, definitely. So, yeah. What's up, Francisco? How you doing? Good, guys. Is it important in a race to 25? I know we always say this in any sport or, mm -hmm. or any race, but such as such a long race, is it is it still important, real important to get off to that that commanding lead or that good start? Definitely. I mean, yeah, definitely. Because see the thing about this match, I think 
it depends on who who's playing who. So, like ATM, you know, he's a rhythm player. But if you plan him in his chair for the first five, six wrecks, it's going to be harder for him to turn on. Gotcha. You know, but yeah. if he gets going from the start, then it's going to be tough to bring ATM under control. Gotcha. So I think it's very important this, at the beginning of the match, you know, get a good lead. Set the tone, you know, for the at least the first, you know, third of the first third of the match. We'll see how it goes. I, I agree with you. Um, if you, if Stefan can get out to a big lead, I think it'll affect ATM's rhythm a lot more. And I think if ATM gets out to a big lead, um, you know, you're gonna just see Stefan probably just, you know, stay the course with yeah. his with his with his pace and with yeah. his rhythm. Yeah, just gonna be become a little more difficult for him to. Uh, you know, uh, take some wrecks because once ETM gets going, I mean, I've played him, I've played him before, yeah, a couple of times, and uh, he makes some crazy shots. Yeah, he comes with some offense that you, you know, you don't, you don't, don't see happening, him. and all of a sudden, yeah. you know, two racks later, that's yeah. it. he's explosive for sure. Yeah. And the other thing about tonight, there's uh, quite a lot of people in the crowd, and ATM loves. To play to the crowd. That. Yeah, he good, loves good to play point. the crowd. crowd you know. Tony Gonzalez Jr., that's a great question. Are they playing the two ball? Has to be racked in the back. Um, no, I don't think uh, it's going to be random. I think, is it random? Okay. Yeah. So, no. The question, your answer to your question is uh, no. They can rack, just rack it up randomly. What's up, George? What's going on, dude? George said good luck to all. Mm. Well, both players are looking good. Yeah. yeah, this kind of just came about, uh, I think, yesterday or the day after, because ATM took that loss on uh, Wednesday, and I guess the phone rang, <laughs> Stefan's phone rang uh, Thursday morning. Yeah, I know Stefan was talking to me about it, he was like, well, the first thing ATM did on Thursday was text him yeah. for a match. We got another celebrity in the box right here, guys. Larry, Larry Romero. What's up, Larry? What's, <laughs> What's going up? on, man? How what? you doing? What's happening, dude? Sure. How you doing, my friend? I'm good. How are you? Mr. Piazza, how you doing, brother? Pretty good, dude. Just excited to sweat this match. It's going to be a good match. A little action. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yep. You don't see Stefan uh, on the bar table as much yeah. um, as far as, you know, Table time on a bar table. I think that that favors Andy for sure. Andy plays a lot more bar table Definitely. pool. Definitely. But Stefan plays on the on the big table more than Andy. So mm -hmm. I don't yeah. know. I always like playing on the big table before bar table matches. I just the same table. table. Yeah. Makes everything seem a lot smaller, a lot shorter. This might be a bad thing, but I hardly ever play on the bar table unless there's a tournament. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anything? I'm good. Anything? Nope. Good. Yeah. Good. Sorry. Cool. Yeah, Larry came in and called Shark Sharik. A lot of people call you Sharik, dude. Yeah, I I've been telling people it's like Shark, Shark with an I in there. Shark. You know what I thought would be easier? I, uh, I was talking to Stefan. I was like, maybe they're still having a problem with the I in the middle. So maybe just Shark. And then, you know, the American name, R-I-C-K, Rick. Sharik. Sharik. Yeah. There you go. That's much easier to pronounce. <laughs> Good point. I guess it's easier to understand for the mind. Yeah, but in Asia, no people have uh, problems pronouncing my name correct. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just funny. Tim Channel, what's up, dude? Are you hanging out with uh, Louis Salazar, Tone and Tone? That's what Louis Salazar likes to say. Keith Price says, stay down, Stefan. Yeah, he needs to stay down. Stay down, dude. We're about five minutes away from uh, kickoff here, guys. Race to 25. We've got two views on the table, too. If you want to go to this view, that's the side view. This is the overhead view right here, Char. That's oh, the overhead that's view. Nice and then view. this, if you they make a good shot, we'll put a little fire on there. Oh, that's awesome. All right. I like it. Yeah. And if they take a little break, we put the put our sponsors up. All right. Yes, sir. Awesome. That's awesome. Well, I can see like during their warm ups, they're not none of these guys have the breakdown. Yeah. So the first couple of wrecks is going to be kind of like a back and forth, I think. You know, unless one of them tends happens to catch it at right at the start of the match. 
the brick is so big, uh, you know, it's uh, because once you have one or two balls down a bar table, seven balls in the open, you know, it's pretty easy for these guys to get out. Yeah, for sure. High percentage runouts if, you, if you're making two right. on the break and yep. you can see the, the lowest numbered ball, mm -hmm. then that'll be a killer if they, if, you know, whoever's scratching on the break and can't control it. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this. I know you play professional tournaments and they have the break box and you got to, now they're starting to put the nine ball uh, on, the spot. on the spot. So you got to cut that one and make the one on the side. Right. When, when you're allowed to break from the sides, are, are you always breaking from the side rail and nine ball? It's, it's so much easier to make the one on the side, mean, isn't it? You mean like with break? the one on the spot? Yeah. Oh, definitely. I'll be breaking from the side. You don't ever break from the middle. Uh, See, that's what I was I was saying last match when he played Mark. Mm -hmm. I I only saw one of ATM's breaks where the one ball went in the side pocket, and that's that's my main thing when I'm betting or when I'm playing nine ball and I'm bringing from the side. That's my number one goal is to make the one on the side. Oh, like, okay. Not not the wing ball. Um, well, it depends if we're using magic rack. If I if I don't oh, think, right, right, if right. I'm racking my own and I don't see that wing ball going in, so you focus on all the my one. focus is making the one on the side. Mm. And if you watch ATM, right, it, okay, it hit the point there. That's closer yeah. than he has been coming. Much Usually closer. he comes short first diamond or long on the first diamond. Right, right. Aaron Hara, what's up? Mark White, what's up? I'll see you uh, in about three days, my friend. <laughs> I'll see you in London. I'm heading out there and sweating the Moscone Cup again. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. I can't wait, dude. Wow. Me and Johnny Amo are going again. Mark White, you know Mark White, the announcer. Uh, he's from uh, England. He came over. He was yeah, I know Predator him. For... I know him. I know him pretty well. <laughs> Shark <laughs> Shark Said is in the box with me right now, Mark. <laughs> hey, Mark. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Tony Pizza Maker in the booth. The Pizza Maker. <laughs> That's right, buddy. Hey, Tony. Can you, uh, can you brighten this one up just a touch? Yeah, when I find Okay, that. thank you, thank you. Keeps me awake longer. They should be all the way up. Well, Mark White is in Thailand. <laughs> well, and I'm on the other side of the world in America. <laughs> All right, let me check something. Well, Mark, uh, I miss Penang curry. <laughs> we, we hardly have any curry here in America. <laughs> I love Thai food. Right, we're one minute away from starting the match. It's gonna be an awesome match. Lighting, it's all set now. All right. Well, Mark White is inviting me to Thailand. <laughs> you should go, dude. Have you been there? Yeah, a couple of times, but not for pool. I went for vacation oh. to uh, Phuket. It's like a uh, beach island, I guess. You know, it's really nice. Great food. Very nice place. Is this the first break of the match? Awesome weather. Have they started? Just another shot. Just another shot. You're good to go. Anything? Uh, I don't think so. No, not yet. Yeah. Still practicing. Yeah. Still I'm gonna let him know that it's uh, yeah. good to go. Yeah. Yeah. I think 
think they're playing three foul? For yeah, sure. yeah. They should. Tyler, Eric, Robbie, Melvin, number seven. All right, here we go. Okay. Let's see who wins Three the foul rules in effect, and they are racking the two in the back. Tony Gonzalez, if you're still out oh. there, they are racking the two in the back of the rack. So, right. here we go. Right. Mark said Fedor learned to scuba dive after winning world nine ball title and has a photo with the trophy on the seabed. Sweet. Oh, yeah. That's, I know. I don't think I've seen that photo. That's cool. I think he was like 19 years old and he wins the world title in Qatar and then goes off for vacation with his girlfriend, you know. And took the trophy to the bottom of the ocean? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here's another thing, Shar, if you want. Mm -hmm. See this? So we're going to oh. say, we're going to put the cue ball here and we're going to try to hit that ball, Ooh, make the awesome. one right there. That's the key, right? And then you go right over right. here and you hit that little Clear. thing and it, and it clears it. Okay, gotcha. If you got something you see awesome. and you want to draw. All right, yeah. Because there's the paintbrush and you got to stay, you got to keep it. That makes it much here. easier, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Okay, here we go, guys. Race to 25, 8,000 in the middle. Two of the best in Colorado. Here we go. Started off with a nice break. Made the wing ball, the one rail. One rattle in the side? Yeah, he rattled and he came out. No easy shot here. You take it on here? It looks like the one goes. Is it a scratch? Um, I don't think so. I think he's got plenty of rail. Yeah, it's easier to... Yeah, I think he may be able to make the one in the corner. And just go back and forth with the cue ball for the two. Nice shot. Good opening, Real clean. And good opening shot, right? That's the nerves. perfect. Yeah. yeah. Confidence boosting shot. How much are the nerves playing on the very first rack of a match like this when the house is full and everyone's got oh, their eye on it? Definitely, it's huge, a right? lot of nerves, a lot of nerves. And it, does a clean rack settle everything down or you, you, does it come in about the bit fifth, by bit, fifth, but bit by I bit, guess yeah. a good clean first rack would settle 60% of the nerves. Good, you know? I like it. Yeah. So he seems to have the speed of the table down pretty good. I like the confidence. I've, I've played Stefan a lot. And I notice when he starts playing with the rhythm, his rhythm. Oh, he plays he, much He better, plays, yeah. yeah, he plays. He's pretty accurate yep. when he hits that rhythm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if there was one thing I would compare and contrast between the two plays is when the two plays are not on the rhythm, I think Stefan might be a little more consistent during that period. Good call. You know? Yeah. yeah. So he's got really good on this rack. When he started with that one ball. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Stayed in... Perfect shape every shot. Yep. Perfect speed, huh? He's got speed styled in. Mm -hmm. Seems to be focused. And I like his rhythm. I like his rhythm. There. Break and run, first rack. Awesome. Good We're start. off and running here. 1 0. Stefan Wyatt. We're in for a match. Mark White says this is like the ESPN Telestrator. I can't wait until, you, Mark, you come back to the States and you make it down to Piazza's here because you will be the guest commentator or whatever we're doing here. We're rolling out the red carpet for the man, the, <laughs> for myth, sure. the legend, Mark White. He's a good commentator. <laughs> so on my first podcast that we did out of here, he, uh, I think he was uh, he was with Joey Ryan and Melina Mike, and we did a podcast out of here. I had, oh, not, wow. I had not met Mark White. First time was on the podcast, and then I went to the... I ended up going to the Moscone Cup uh, uh -huh. two years ago, right. and he was at the pub when we walked in, and I was like, what's up, dude? Yeah, That's he's, awesome. That's he's awesome. good peeps, good peeps. Mark White is the first person that I did a commentary with for the Pro Billet series, the Predator no event. Yeah. Really? He invited me to do a commentary in uh, Michigan on Aloysius' game. Yeah. Well, it wasn't a luscious game, but he ended up winning that tournament, I think. <laughs> That's awesome. And you, you, and you played the World Cup with uh, yeah, Aloysius, yeah, too. Yep, That's amazing, yep. dude. That's fun. Yeah, we had a really good time. Uh, Sharik and um, Delicious came down to the bar. You guys were here for a few days. You yep. played some challenge matches. Mm -hmm. It was a great time. And then we mm -hmm. played the Scotch Doubles. I was nervous as heck. Oh, yeah. I, I played know. with Delicious and you played with Stefan. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that one. Well, we were leading the whole match, I, and right at the end, I think we just fell off the charts. He, he kept telling me to settle down. <laughs> That's nice. Mark, it's number one on your bucket list. All right, dude. Awesome. 
well, this is not an easy out just because of where the two and three are. So what do you, are, how are you playing this? So, just a little draw and stun? Can you, can, yeah, can, I'll, can, I'll, can you get to this area right here? Can you, can you get to right here? I wouldn't even try to do that. I'll just focus well, on making the five as well. Okay. Make the one. I like it. Can, you know, hit into the five. Just stop the cue ball there and then cut the two. So you're going to try to make the five too? Oh, I like, yeah, 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 I like yeah. this play. If he hits it, if he hits it. Oh, he got, wow. a, he got a, little, a roll there. A little roll, yeah. Yep. But yeah, I think if he made the one and made the five, even if he didn't make the five, the cue ball is in a good position to make the two, you know? Pretty steep on the two. But but he could uh, make the two and, and use the nine? run into the either the nine or even the six gotcha. and come, come out for the three, you know? Gotcha. Could, if not, play a safe, you know? So ATMs looks like he can see this one the way he's yeah. Oh, he played oh the nine. boy! He's gonna hang it. He's gonna hang Jeez, it. Jeez, that was close. So Stefan uh, could have a quick game this here. Is a big shot. Yeah, big combo here, right? You yep. make the combo and then the two nines hanging. Yep. So that's what you're gonna see from ATM. You're gonna see him swing at some wow. stuff like that. I don't think he was even going for that. You know, I think he just wanted to clip the one. But wow, if he was going for the nine, that's a really good attempt. Yeah. Unfortunately, it hung in the corner. Yeah. So that tells you that these these pockets aren't playing all that generous. If you're on the stream, what's up, Heine? Heinrich, our uh, our bodybuilder, is going for world titles over there. He's looking good these days too. We miss him <laughs> here too. He's he was coming here quite a bit. Uh, what's up, Heine? I think there is some guys on the stream that wanted to bet a hundred. If you uh, back up your uh, chat, I think you can find somebody that'll bet you a hundred. There's a lot of ATM betters out there right now. Mm -hmm. So are you taking on this combo, or are you going to shoot the bank? Yeah, so I'd have to actually see the angle as a if I'm there, but I don't know. I think the the bank is there. Yeah, and, the and bank. He is only on. plays a lot of one pocket, so yeah, he's custom to banking pretty mm -hmm. good. Hey, when that raffle happens, guys, the queue arrives on Monday. For uh, yeah, you guys will do it at nine o'clock. I'll probably still be busy, but the queue just let them know the queue arrives on Monday. Okay. Wow, look at that! Look at that combo. I would have not played it like that, but he made a good I shot. I missed it. I was talking to Pat. He, he slammed it in. So he the slammed the one side and the cue ball drew off the side rail, the top rail, and came back out. He played it with plain draw. Do you play both these balls right here? Do you cut this and, and send the cue ball towards the corner pocket or oh, just I'm, make it? Just I'm just cutting it. the one. I'm just oh, focused on cutting the he one. It. But, but he made the, he nine. the nine. He did play the nine. Jeez, what a shot. What we got to give him some of this, guys. 2-0. Early lead for Stefan. That's a good shot. That's I, what I thought. I'd play. But I would have just focused on the one. You know, just make the one. Because the two nines hanging, right? The cue ball's not going to go anywhere where I can't see the two ball, you know, so. Very but good shot. anyway, good shot. Ivan, what's up, Ivan? Uh, Sharik Saeed is commentating with me. He just recently moved to Denver or Aurora, Colorado, uh, and professional pool player and a great guy and uh, a lot of knowledge, so. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> yeah. It's a pleasure to be commentating with you, dude. Yeah. So if you see something, you something like that, yeah. I'm going to let you grab oh, the yeah. Telestrator. So you got to keep it over here and then hold okay. down and then hold down. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to learn to use these two. Yep. Gotcha. Everybody out there is like this right now because everybody's <laughs> excited, dude. You know something? Uh, ATM hasn't stepped to the table yet. With an, right? with an open shot, right? Oh, no, yeah. With an, op yeah, with an open he shot. He had that thin shot on the one. Mm-hmm. So oh. Stefan's going to come up dry here for the first time. He's got to feel pretty good about being out to a 2-0 lead. I know it's a race to 25, yeah. but just getting, you yeah. know, just getting a couple games under and, and executing oh, yeah. too. His execution's been perfect so far, really. Yeah, I'm sure he's feeling better now. He got a little bit of roll on that on that safety he tried to play right. when he went behind the four, but feeling mm -hmm. pretty good. Well, where would you push to down here? I'll tell you what, I, I like put I like pushing out real tough when I'm playing. Doesn't matter who I'm playing. Mm -hmm. I'm usually pushing to somewhere where I'm gonna play defense. Right. On my next shot. Right. I might have I might have challenged Step into the, the combo on the one five and tried to put him right down here is what I was thinking. Right. Yeah. Right yeah. here. I was looking at that too. Make him go forward with the cue ball, try to get mm -hmm. it on the rail. Um, yeah, I think he gave Stefan uh, this, several yeah, options. I, I don't here. like this push shot at all. I don't either. Because Stefan can easily make this one. And probably draw off the seven. You know where? Where's that? Yeah. So I think you can make the one and clip the seven and draw back all the way here. Oops. Okay. Oh. Oh. Uh, sorry. And then right Let me there. clear that. Yeah. Yeah. So I think if he draws it back to here, 
he might have a good safety, you know. Or he can shoot the two down in the uh, top yep. right corner too. Yep. I think he's going to roll up here. I, th I thought he was going to maybe play a safety shot here. I like that. That's what I was yeah. looking at and Sweet. use the four and the six. Yeah, I think the, the draw shot was tough because you're so close to the rail. He ran to jack yeah. up pretty good. It's a good shot. Pretty good shot. Here comes ATM to the table, third game, and he still has not had a clear look mm -hmm. at a ball. Right. That can wear on a guy, can it? I mean, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, just give me a shot, and you know. Mm -hmm. Let's see his kicking. Missed a couple kicks on Wednesday. Oh, what a what kick! What a kick! What a shot! What a shot! See, Let's that's give... the that's one thing about bar tables, like you know. ATM's gonna get some fire there for that kick shot. Yeah. The but look what he came up. He came up empty though. I know. No love there. But you know, that's the thing about bar tables, like the just the percentage of kicking and making a ball is so much higher in a seven foot versus a nine foot. Sure. You know that uh, extra, oh, oh my God. This guy has really a couple of really, <laughs> really good shots for what he's had, uh, right? Yep. I mean, Definitely. I wouldn't be surprised if he was, you know, he knew the two was going in the direction of the nine. I think he was, he would have rather had the nine down table. Yeah. But wow, it almost made the nine. He's come close to making the nine twice now. Mark White, Ronnie O'Sullivan, Snooker Academy. Hey, somebody <laughs> watched my match with Shane. I <laughs> think. Uh, that's funny. Someone recently uploaded it because I played Shane up at, at Griff's uh, earlier this year. Oh, I saw yeah. I saw that too yeah. on YouTube. Yeah. It's nice. You played really well in that match. Yeah, yeah. What is Stefan looking at here? Some kind of I safety. safety. I think he. I think he has he, to hide behind the seven. Yeah, I think he comes off. You on. know, just uh, send the two into the six and don't worry about the two so much. Just get the cue ball wedged to the seven ball. Okay, that's okay too. See, that, that the reason I don't like that shot is because the closer your cue ball is to the blocking ball, the much bigger the safe becomes, the much tougher it becomes to escape, you know? You get a bigger zone. Well, he definitely has a clear look at this too. This is the first shot I think he has full ball on. But, wow, he actually made it look easy. And look, and then what, ha nothing. Look yeah. what happened. He played an offensive. He hit it good. He played it off the rail first for sure. Right. And, you know, just the speed, I guess, of the shot. Mm -hmm. I think the best option might be to try and kick and stick, kick here? And stick here. Kick yeah. and stick. Yep. If you can get behind the four, oh, what a shot! Better, just like great that. Great shot right Very there. Very nice. Gotta give him some fire on that yep. safety, dude. Definitely that was, fire for that. That was great. I think, uh, I think mm -hmm. Stefan's gonna have a kick lane though. Mm -hmm. It's not frozen on the four ball. Yep. Uh, this one I'll try to definitely hit one rail and not two, because many times you try to go under the ball and you end up scratching the shot. You like going just one reel or you like yeah, going? I like just one reel and try to clip the top side of the two. So what you're saying, Char, is if he comes two rails and comes off the bottom, that's likely to your very big ball. Percentages go up to yeah. scratch, yeah. So you want to come high and just clip the two and, mm -hmm. and send the cue ball back down the table. Towards the four, yeah. That would be ideal. Sure. The two ball oh wait, wait. he must be he must wow. not have that lane. He's yeah, gotta go he four does. rails then now. Look at this shot. No, he's not going to get a rail. Wow. What a hit, though. What a vision. Really, that was yeah. good vision right there. Yeah. Donald Clements, what's up, Roscoe? Donnie hey. Brasco. What's up, William Helener? What's up, Bill? So, ATM with the first chance to get out. Wide open table, the five. A little tricky, maybe. Yes, it is. It is tricky. Depending sure. on where you're, you know, where you're playing position. Mm -hmm. I see him probably... Uh, playing it by his hand there, playing the five ball on the lower left, and then swinging the cue ball out. Unless, right. well, I don't know, it's with this takes... angle, wow. What do you like here? Uh, I don't know, he has a couple of options. I guess one of the options is to leave the cue ball here and play the five in this pocket. Yep. And then the other option I, I would say is, I don't know if he can try to land somewhere here. Uh, those are the two options, I guess. You're never trying to play this five in the side like he's about yeah, to? Yeah, I guess. Couldn't see that clearly, but see now the angle is kind of... Okay, I guess it's okay. It's okay yeah, for bar table, okay. right? Yeah, definitely. M Manuel, what's up, dude? How you doing, brother? My brother from another mother. Big mash here tonight, Manny. Hope everything's, uh, everything's well for you, brother. Talked to your son last night. He uh, was victorious. 
in his match. Uh, I was asking about you. Nice shot there. Yeah. He likes to stroke. This it. is free flowing ATM. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He'll go that extra two rails or, or rails so he can stroke that cue ball for sure. Right. Doesn't like to baby the balls. So we got two to one. I'll uh, I'll do it. Cool. Turn it down. Thanks, Scoop. Two to one. Nice. Are you ever getting ahead of yourself in a long race? Are you ever? Are you just staying a bald? Like like the old cliche, uh, you, you know, staying in the moment. Uh, you know, the ball at hand and just the process will lead you to the 25 games. Yep. That's kind of what I do. I just That's what I do. I get well. into like a workman's... Uh, yeah, I think we've played enough to where we realize, you know, a lot of things can turn in a match. So you got to be uh, focused. You can never get ahead of yourself, you know. This game will punish you for that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Losing focus on the simplest mm -hmm. shot can cost you right. who knows how many games. Mm -hmm. Let's see if ATM... Found a break. Oh, he scratched. Oh, lost the cue it's ball. A little unfortunate. That was a good break, but it was a good break. He made in. the wing ball, but his mm -hmm. cue ball came down. He did get kicked in. Yeah, it was heading towards that way, but it got uh -huh. kicked. It got helped. Stephanie trying to play this window here between the three and the eight with ball mm -hmm. in hand for sure, right? Yeah, that's yeah, that's. I mean, he can leave a natural angle to just roll into the position. Sure, then. I think that's the key. Uh, maybe the five to the six, but uh, just getting shape on this two ball. Right. That's perfect right there. Yeah. Just draw back a couple inches. Mm -hmm. Play the three in the top right. Get you a little angle so you can get over to the five. Yeah. Julie, if he stops, if he lands straight on the three and just plays a stop shot, it might be perfect angle to get to the oh, six. He, he, so he, he looks like he overshot his line a little, so he's going to probably have to go forward here, Shar? I think he can just pinch it, you know? Like, just imagine the cue ball just stopping right before the three. Yeah. I think he'd have a really nice angle to get down to the six. He can just play a natural role with a bit of uh, top uh, right, I guess. Oh, I guess he had much more angle. I was going to say, I don't, so, like, so I don't yeah, really like swinging like it that. like that. I would have just pinched it and just held my cue as much as possible, you know. So now this this is tough. He's going to slam this Yeah, I would have wanted to get a little closer, and his, his line here is a little flat. True. So he's going to have to hit it firm and, and come just to the flat center ball here. Yeah. Part of the reason I think why his cue ball is that far away is probably he was afraid of getting hooked behind the eight. Oh, he hit that really good. Oh wow! And he's gonna Sweet. get and he's gonna get a full cue on That's the six. Perfect. You think? Yeah, he was overplaying, making sure he didn't get beyond the eight. Right. So he erred on the side. Yeah, because if you play the draw, shot. the eight becomes a big ball. Sure. Know? So I like that. If he doesn't feel comfortable on this shot. He doesn't have to play the seven in the side. He can play it in the corner. Just roll it nice and easy, you know. I mean, for a playoff uh, deal level, a lot of shots sure. are I, makeable on this table. I, I like your what you said. I would have, instead of the position just he just it, keep played, it simple, keep right? it simple and play the seven in the corner. Right. And to me, uh, you know, on a bar table, usually the corner pockets are the biggest exactly, pockets on the table. Yeah, just play a lot of corners. So yeah. I was... I, it reminds me, I went on the road, this is 25 years ago, and I ended up in Tom's River, New Jersey. Uh -huh. uh, and I think uh, the guy at the pool room I was playing with was named Tony Catucci. He, he saw me playing shape for the side pockets. Uh -huh. And he, he just told me, like, right after he saw me, my first three position shots playing for the side, he couldn't believe I wasn't busted yet. And I wasn't that <laughs> He said, what? He goes, you play kid, you play too much position to the side, you're going to be busted. You're going to be asking me for bus fare here. But... <laughs> It always stuck with Sweaty. me. It always stuck with me. So yeah. I, so I play shots like that for the corner. Yeah. Definitely. That was clean though. He mm -hmm. made a great shot on the seven, a good recovery shot. Yeah. But uh, I think, you know, a little fortunate there because he bumped the eight and still had shape. The eight could have easily gone in front of the nine sure. and made it a little leafy. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of a roll there for yeah, Stefan? Just a little bit. That's good. But I mean, I think he shoots better when he shoots balls firm as opposed to playing them soft or rolling them. And uh, you, you can even see that when you play one pocket with him. Sure. You know? When he hits balls, yeah, when he strokes through the ball and hits right. with a little pace, mm -hmm. definitely a lot more accurate. Right. Yeah. Oh. 
I think this is just the start that Stefan uh, visualized for himself, you know. See the break here. Ball down, four ball. Yeah. Uh, it looks like he's going to have a good shot on the one See, here. This, this is what I'm talking about. The wing ball was nowhere close. The one was not close. But something went in and he has a shot. <laughs> <laughs> So is that good fortune or is that a good break? So it's a little bit of both. You gotta hit it good, right? I think he hit it square, but definitely got some fortune on that one. This is this is a little tricky how the balls lie. I'm looking down and the three does, I think it does go past the five and eight in the corner. Yeah. And it goes up to your top right, but position on the two, what do you like here? I think just punch it in, just stun it out off one cushion. I think he can do that. And get back to the middle of the table? Yep. I think that's what he's going for. Yeah. Oh, oh what he a, went. Oh, what a shot! There. High right. Boy, he stroked that nice. Yep. Just a little steep on the two. Yeah, but the good thing is, well, no, no, no. This is literally yeah. You got the seven ball for your line if you're coming straight down the table. The seven uh -huh. plays big here. Right. Is this one that he will cinch? Oh, he played safe. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. I like that shot. You know, if he was to try to play shape on the three there, I'm telling you, that seven ball coming down in that line hits either side of the seven. It's tracking towards the corner pockets. Right. That was a great shot. Yeah. And the three is a little funny. I'm looking at it, and it, it it's so tight going in that corner past yeah. the eight. It's very tight. So yeah. maybe he didn't like that. There was just too that. much demand on the two ball to get to the three. You know, number one, it's tough to make that shot. And then it's even tougher to get position. Sure. Know? So... And there's nothing worse, in my opinion, than uh, shooting at like a, a half pocket or a quarter of the pocket on a back cut, where you can't see that you can't see the ball into mm -hmm. the pocket. I like being in front of the, my angle, mm -hmm. not on the back cut. I agree. Yeah. So he made a good hit. He went two rails. Um, you see Stefan Duncan here again, or do you see him maybe playing a collision here on the five? I think playing the two in the top left and coming into the five ball and maybe rolling the dice here a little bit on a breakout. He should go for the collision here. Roll the dice on the breakout. I mean, because I don't think he can get hooked on this shot after making the two. Sure. You and know? he might even, if he hits it, you know, hits it real good, he might clip the three. Yeah. And exactly. just, just easy enough and bump the three out. Mm -hmm. Gotta watch the scratch though if you're coming off the three, it looks yeah. like. Ah, uh, yeah. I think that's going to be tough because the angle is pretty big. I don't think he's going to get a lot of draw to take on that shot. Just like that. See? He did play. That it's a uh, yeah, great shot. Good shot. I got to give him some fire. Feel yeah. free to hit the fire yeah. button oh, yeah. anytime you want, Char. I'm if slowly you... remembering these things. <laughs> so people were asking if we could do, if it's a real bad shot, we could put like, a, you know, like someone throwing snowballs at the, at the table. <laughs> we're, work, we're working on that. We're working on that. <laughs> All right, we're up to 100, over 100 viewers. Uh, like and share the stream, guys. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thanks for joining, guys. Yeah, thank you very much. So here, another tricky shot. Uh, I wouldn't try to do too much. Just focus on making the three, going into the five, because, but there is a good chance that the cue ball might scratch off in the side of the five. So are you trying so, to draw past it and miss the five? No, I don't think that's, I don't know if that's possible with the end. It's it's very thin hit on the three. Oh, I think I think you can definitely run into the five. Uh, he yeah, that's, it. that's he okay. it. Nope, he got it. No, 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 yeah. No, that was a good shot. He didn't come up with uh, optimal shape here. You think he puts him behind the nine? Definitely, definitely put him behind go the nine. Aggressive ball. now. Putting him behind I the mean, nine. It would be a nice nice thing to bank it, but nah, that's not the time. And very I think he nicely got played. Nice shot there. Very nicely played. Yeah, he's hooked. He does have a one rail look at it, one rail kick. Yeah, when I stood up to look at the angle on the three, I think, yeah, it was the scratch was not on in the side, so that was a good shot. Let me ask you this. You're, so you're you're playing, you have an opponent, and he's doing stuff like Andy's doing, like measuring up mm. six and stuff. Do you ever pay attention to that? Like, what's he thinking or what's he doing? Yeah, I do. Actually, I, I learned something from Shane Van Boning when he was doing something like that. And then I went back home, practice it, and now I use it. Oh, wow. Because Shane uses it. He used it against me and made a ball, so I was like, God damn it. Is it on I'm kicks or is it when he was shooting? It was a kick. Out. It was it a was kick a shot. Kick. Yeah. So he missed it. So oh. I learned what he did. Uh, and You'll then... have to share it with me later. Yeah, sure. No problem. I appreciate it. Yeah. So ball in hand for, uh, so the great safety, it, it came 
This is weird though, because the six does the six is on the rail and it does not come. Well, I mean, if you if don't like it, just shoot. Yeah, the five just nine. play the combo. Yeah, he, that's I think what he's nothing doing. wrong with doing this. You know, the nine is pretty close. Yeah, to I don't the like hole. playing trying to play shape on the short side of the six yeah. with it frozen there. And then you gotta hit it perfect. Now you have ball in hand. Put the cue ball in the perfect place and then just make the five nine. I like shooting I like this with medium pace. I don't like firing them a good just a stroke. Yep, he said good. fires it in though. <laughs> I told you he loves to shoot that way. <laughs> Four to one. Like you said, it couldn't be a better start for Stefan here. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, honestly, to be fair, he's played smart. He's played good shots, you know, and ATM uh, hasn't got some, any hasn't role got in started. his way. Yeah. So, you know, I think totally earned this four run score line, Stefan. He's made some couple of good shots. Well, if anyone knows Stefan, I mean, we've been knowing him for probably like four or five years. He moved here, uh, and you know, we, mm -hmm. the pool community absolutely loves the guys. One of the nicest guys. Uh, yeah. But you, you know him better than anybody. So you, his demeanor and all that. Yeah. Um, you spend a lot of time with him. Yeah. And working on pool games, and actually, uh, we're doing some work at uh, Smoothie King too. Right. Um, and then all of us uh, have known ATM for a couple of decades now, uh -huh. and we all know how explosive he is. <laughs> right. Um, so. Look at that break. Yeah, what a break here, dude. Uh, the key shot here is just make the one. I, I Make the one and you're out. Look just at, focus on the yeah, one. Ball. I mean, if you make the one and you're on the two, the four, the six, the eight, nine, over. Exactly. This is what we were talking about before the game. When you make two balls on the break, you know, it's a pretty simple layout. You know, you just got to... So I, I tell people a lot, like uh, the, the league players here, I'm shooting this as if it is the nine ball. This in my head, this is the game winner. I'm I'm calling it the game. Definitely. So I focus that you know just make this and, yeah. and the game's over. Even for me, like uh, when I'm in a match or in a tournament, when I come across shots like this, I look at the layout. I'm like, one good shot opens up the whole game. So I just put everything into that shot. Into that know? shot. Yeah. So you do it too. Pros yeah, do it too. That think, one key shot. I think and it's I'm important out. because yeah, you I know do. you gotta put extra care into that ball because. It wins you the entire game, basically. You know, I love it. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I've been trying to tell you know the weak players around here. Mm. They'll they'll come up a shot, and that is the game winner. Right. You got to understand and have the confidence to know that this is the this shot. Is ball. And to take extra care and extra you know just extra focus because mm. that's the game. That's the game winner actually. Right. Mm. I don't like how he played that. I don't need. I think he struck it a lot lower than he wanted. You got to watch out sometimes for the side pocket here. I know it's. Yeah, I think he's just gonna slow roll it. Oh my God, Tony! Oh. I wouldn't even play that ball at that speed. Uh, oh my and even God, if I, I did, call. I would play with a little bit of left English. Yeah, but that was a good call. I wouldn't have played at that speed though. No, you, would you? Have, I just rolled it. Just, just slow, slow, slow rolled it. Slow rolled it. Yeah. And then it would have came long, right? It would have came long up above, like yes, right, right here. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. But because he played that speed, he got a little bit of high on the cue ball, which curved arc the cue ball towards the side. Sure. You know. Yeah, the, oh, yeah, how he played the eight, that's what got him in trouble there a little bit. I mean, that's what yeah. put him in that position. Mm -hmm. I thought he could have, you know, but he liked, like you said, he likes to hit balls firmly. Firm, exactly. But still, what a great break. Mm -hmm. And he just got another he game, the one. another game, and ATM still sitting in the chair. Really good. Good start from Stephanie. Duke, it was definitely a titty titty, buddy. <laughs> Wolfie, what's up, dude? How you guys doing? Kurt Bowman, how you doing, sir? The bird photographer. Yeah, anyone out there who needs uh, pictures of nature, Kurt Bowman is your man. He used to live in Denver. I think Kurt lives in Arizona now. If I, if you, if that's what you told me. If I'm wrong, let me know. But ATM has to play a good safety here if he wants to get back control of the table. You know. Where's Jacob? Right there. I, well, I think. I'm not sure uh, if you can see yes, that. he can. I'm looking down at it. He can yeah. definitely see the one here. I don't like that safe so much. It's good. Oh, sorry. No, it's good. What are we doing at 9 o'clock? At 9 o'clock, three minute break, whatever it is. Half hour. Half hour. In a half really? hour, guys, we're going to be doing a live raffle. Uh, we're taking a like, little five-minute break from this match, and we're raffling off the brand-new BK 
Rush, break, jump, cue. Yeah, that is awesome. We raffled off one last night. Carol James, she's a she's been in our pool community for quite a long time. She was the winner awesome. of the brand new break BK break and uh, break and jump cue. Beautiful cue. Yeah. All right. So he that's can, what I, I'm he using can, too. Is that what you're using? <laughs> yeah. I, I guess you couldn't see that he had to curve around the. Look at well, look at this too. Mm -hmm. Got cover on the cover from the six. But I think that's what he was kind of going for, you know to get that half of the one ball so you could create some separation. Are you ever trying to swerve this between the three and six or you're definitely kicking short rail here, right? I like, yeah. I like so I like this shot, comes up in one pocket, different angles. I, actually might I like it. kicking this, dripping this up and then having my cue ball coming like this. And I'm trying to play it behind the uh, three and okay. the six. Okay, yeah, I think he's trying that. Oh, I don't know what he was trying. The other option for me was like kick it two rails and let the one go towards uh so yeah so i would have kicked it like this way and hit it oh i, I come underneath the one and then yeah the one up table. send the cue ball under the three and oh. let, the cue, let the one go this way great i see what you're saying yeah oh let me <laughs> get rid of that <laughs> yeah so, so that was what i was looking at because I, like I think it's pretty easy because the one's close to the rail you can judge that shot pretty well yes you know let the cue ball yes, drift I towards love the three. i absolutely love it i didn't even see that yeah Oh my gosh, he took a kind of a... a, a well, I think the shot was on, he just missed it a little bit. Because he would have made the seven, I think. Sure, I thought he would just roll like pocket speed though and just kind of exactly. roll the one ball, control the two ball. He, he kind of he, he jumped up on it, it too. Yeah. Oh, what, what happened? He made a ball? Oh, I didn't expect Stefan to miss that one ball. Was that Stefan? Stefan just missed that that one ball. Oh, that was Stefan shooting. So okay. ATM missed that uh, combination shot. Gotcha. On the seven. So it's ATM back on the table now. There, yeah. There was people asking about that, like they couldn't tell who was shooting with our overhead view. We right. do have we do have the side view. Uh, yeah. We can take a little vote out there, guys. Which which view do you like better? Oh, now you can see Why? Stefan's beautiful yes, pink it, pink pants. Oh yeah, that was... He gets a lot of slack around here for yeah. his pants that he wears. The, the short pants <laughs> or, or the long shorts, we call, like to call them. Um, uh, I've given him... But this is the view. Uh, <laughs> you guys let us know which view you like better. We just got this, uh, the top view. I've given couple. him a hard time for those pants. <laughs> <laughs> so he uh, didn't execute that safety right there. He definitely uh, wanted to freeze him on the back of that eight. And uh, right. ATM has an open shot now. No. Marque likes both. He likes looking at those pink pants. I think Marque does. <laughs> oh, some people he, say oh, they he, prefer the overhead. Oh, he hooked him. He did hook him on the Yeah, end. he got the hook. That's what I was wondering. <laughs> I was like, did he get the hook? Okay, so everybody stop. likes the top view, I guess. Most of them. Yeah. I definitely like the top view. Yeah. We never had the top view until like uh but a week ago, so we we're all excited. Yeah, commentate yeah. now at the top of you. You can see things much more clearly. Thanks, guys, for does he have a three ball combo here? The two, the one, two, seven. I think that's what he's looking at yeah. here. I'm not sure if it's on, and if it's not on, you know, he can try to throw the two towards the seven by hitting the one a little thick and slow. If so they're frozen, though, right? Even if they're really close, you can he still can still throw, throw it. But there's a certain distance beyond which the throw is of no use. Gotcha. You know? the and you say that it speeds everything on the throw, right? Oh, yeah. And also the thickness. Yeah. He's got to shoot. Yeah. Oh, he hit it good. He had to hit it like that. Oh. Wow, that's pretty unfortunate. He got a little bit of a bad roll. But he was letting the cue ball go on that shot. Yeah, uh, I think he kind of had to because he had to hit the one at that thickness to throw the two into the seven. So can't fault him for that. Does he have a shot here? Looks like he's queuing up uh, right at the one. Yeah, I think he does. Might be able to. Oh, he definitely can see it. I think it's an overcut though. I'm looking right down at the table. Okay. If he hits it slow. Let's see if Tony's right. <laughs> oh, he's jacking up a little. Check it out, Char. I think he might have to play a little bit of slight curve. You think just he has to curve it a little? Or you think he can? He can definitely. See oh, he the definitely edge? has to curve it. Oh, he's definitely gonna curve it. Okay. Yeah, he's but it looks like he's jumping. Man, that's a hard. Those are some of the hardest shots in pool. Curving a real thin cut across yeah. table. But sometimes you just feel it. You know, you yeah. know when you feel it, you gotta go for it. Sure. 
Is he getting the jump cue out? He's going aerial. I'm big on like. Uh... And and Stefan has a unique way of jumping. Uh, mm -hmm. He 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 always does the dart. Yeah. And he has this jump cue that has a tip on both sides. Right. And he's pretty good. Yeah, he is pretty accurate. Wow. Look at the nine. Look at the nine. Look at the nine. Oh, it's do, you, gonna... do you think ATM fires at this? Oh, hundred percent. Hundred percent. He's going to take this game down here. I think ATM is a favorite to make this shot. Nice. Nine's close enough to the pocket. Is he looking like at a two-way? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't think he's I'm, thinking about it. But I'm definitely not thinking a two-way. I, I always yeah. When I when I separate my focus like this, I always you come up. Don't get either. Yeah, I don't right. get the result. I, I go all ball here, all all one nine combination. Mm -hmm. Would you roll this or play with draw? I'm draw. draw. I, I, I'm more I'm more accurate when I'm queuing down on the ball. Okay. Looks like he's rolling. Yeah. Ah. Oh, he yeah. fired it in. Good shot. Stand it in. Good shot. good shot. That was a big game for ATM. You know, you start start seeing the guy yeah. get farther and farther away in the rear rear window, mm -hmm. and uh, you just don't know how you're going to respond. Yeah. But uh, five to two, good you, shot. You know, we were talking about how uh, it's tough to like curve those thin balls in, but I think those shots are really very important to learn with your own cue because when you can judge those types of shots playing with spin becomes a lot easier because when you have when you're playing with a level cue your judgment is a lot better sure right so you naturally tend to get better at judging how the cue ball is going to you get a real good cue. feel for what yeah. your cue can do mm -hmm. for sure and it gets you out of so much trouble you know you don't always land nice sometimes it's just an edge of the ball that's blocking you and curving the ball it's a big skill to have in your you know arsenal you know. for sure Okay, so ATM almost looked like he racked himself a little. The separation uh, in the middle to rack yeah. there did not explode, yeah. and he I think he, he wrecked bed for himself. Yeah, yeah, that's came up dry here. Now, if they make the nine on the break, uh, it spots up. Right. There's no nine that's balls. Good, up. Yeah. No nine ball on the break. Right right. Yeah. Right. Sure, I'm gonna step out for just a second. Right sure. I think Stefan's gonna have to play safe here. Probably try to leave the cue ball behind the 7 9 and the one ball. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. Wow, I think he got it way better than he wanted it. That's a good shot nonetheless. I think the only option he has now is to probably curve the cue ball. Oh, okay. I guess he's going that way. Took a foul. I think Stefan can play, make the one and try to go for the 2 5 combo. If not, he can even try to leave the cue ball here. Um, let me get the editor. Yeah. So put the cue ball somewhere here, make the one and st stun right to over there. Or just play the one in in this pocket and roll the cue ball down to somewhere here and play the two five combo. Either way, yeah, I think he's going for the two five combo. Oh no! I guess the two goes past the three. I'm not sure what he's playing for. Wow, that's a nice shot. I think it barely went by the three, and uh, you could see it on the camera how close the two came to the three. 
And the good thing is the six did not block the four into the top right corner pocket. That was a good shot. The, the only other thing is now uh, opening up the 8-9. But I think with the 7 by the 8 and 9, he has a good chance of breaking those up. You definitely get, wait until the 7 yeah. to do that? You're not going to go after I mean, it with the 5 right here? See, I would, if, if the 7 wasn't there, I would go for the breakup now. But because of the 7 being there, you know, there's a possibility you might get hooked. What if the 6 was hanging in the hole? Then then I'm going for sure at the breakout. Well, let's say the 6 was a lot closer to the hole right, than right. the breakout. You, do you take it then because it's... Uh, or do you, still, you mean with the 7 still being there? With the 7 still being there and the 6 ball saying it was closer to the hole, would you take the breakout on the No, five? I think I'd leave it for the 7 because the, if the 6 was at the hole, it'd be too far away from the 2 balls still. Gotcha. You know? Yeah, I, he landed on the wrong side. No, uh, wow. I guess he'd have to play safe now. You know, roll the cue ball on the 8-9. He rolled the cue ball and tried to just bump the 8 here? Yeah, bump the 9 or the 8, just real soft. Just control it just like that. Could have hit it thinner, I think. Yeah, and so he sold out the seven, but I, the eight is still tied up, and from there, it doesn't look like it's an yeah. optimal place to get a a, a, a rip here, uh, unless he took on the bank maybe, but it's so close. You know what? I see him. He is going for the bank. Or is he playing a safe? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, he's playing a safe. Because even if he made the bank, uh, it's nothing easy. What's the shot here, uh, Shar? Uh, two rails? You want to kick two rails at it? Yeah, I'll definitely want to kick. The reason is I wouldn't kick one rail because if I make it, there's there's no easy shot to play safe on the eight. But if I kick it two rails and miss the shot, at least my cue ball is traveling away from the right. seven. So you catch the second the rail here yeah. and you want distance with the cue ball just in case. Yeah, making the breakout difficult even if he sells out the seven. I think he has to go two rails here. Don't go one rail. I like. I always like going two rails on these for the yeah. most part, unless you just need to make it. Right. That's a good shot. Watch oh. the scratch. Watch the scratch. Watch the scratch. It's down. Wow. It's that's, that's a little unfortunate. That's a good shot. Well, the seven. Either way, the seven was going to be. He would have still had to do something though. With exactly. It. So that's why the two rail was so good because you leave so much distance. Gotcha. And now the breakout, even if you get it, you earned it. You didn't give the game to your opponent. Right. You, know, you got to earn it. Make him earn the game. Is this tricky at all? On, on how you contact the eight? Is, yeah. is, the, is the key shot right here, right? Yeah. Just half ball on either side. Just don't click Full. right on top. Uh, that's it. That's good. Did he? Yeah, that's good. Okay, good shot. Good shot there. Yeah. That, that side that he clipped on was much better, of course. This was a pretty long game, I guess. It was a long game. 5-3. Five, 5-3. Three. Five to three. If you're just joining us, guys, race to 25, 8,000 in the middle. Nine ball winner breaks. <clears throat> Rack to two on the bottom, three fouls in effect. What's going on, Bill? Bill Mayo, what's happening, dude? Marky K? Marquez out there, Bill Hellner, what's happening? Let us know who's out there and where are you watching from, guys? <clears throat> we got uh, Mark White. Why, is he in Thailand right now? Or yeah, is he in the UK? He's in Thailand. And he's heading to the UK for the Moscone Cup, I know. That's awesome. So we do have some viewers from all the way around the globe. Yeah. Southeast Asia, and it's probably really early there. I think it's uh, 11 a.m. 11 a.m.? Almost noon, yeah. Almost noon. I think uh, the biggest package, Marcus, was Vidal ran two three packs. He was on a four and didn't get there. And I think ATM never ran two. And if I can remember, I think he ran, he broke and ran some solos, but uh, never a two. Hmm. So he's, he's switched already. There's 
Okay. There's the side pocket break. He the made the nine one. Went in. The nine went in two, yep. but he's going to come back up. Difficult shot. Uh, opener on the two to get, the, to get shape on the three. The thing is, these are the types of shots the ATM loves to shoot. <laughs> Wrap it around I, the whole table. I yeah. love I love banking this uh, two ball down down below the six and the seven and putting the cue ball behind the five and the eight. Right. Killing it off the side rail. Just make sure you don't bank. That's what we would do. But ATM might go for this. Yeah, I think he is. <laughs> See? <laughs> and look at that. Uh, he played it perfect. That's a great shot. He needs a fire for that. Yeah, what a shot. I don't think I'm ever shooting that. <laughs> Maybe on a bar table. It depends yeah. on how I'm feeling. I think from the overhead camera, it looks more more difficult than we think yeah. it is. Good shot. Good shot to start the rack. I don't see any problems here, do you? No, nope. no, nope. I don't see any problems. Looks like it's out five to four. So momentum is obviously it's early in the match. Like I said, we're we're you know we're at five four most likely here. Um, now Stefan's been sitting for a little bit. Um, he just exchanged blows until yeah, until you got that that comfortable lead, or you just keep kicking along. Or how do you how do you look at it? Um, what do you mean, like? Uh, so you know the the, the the psychology of the match, how it goes, and and he was up five to one. Do you think he even cares that he was up five to one? He just just waiting for the next Stephen? shot. You mean Stefan? Yeah, Stefan was up five to one. Now it's yeah, five to four. I I think yeah, like knowing Stefan, I think he's uh, probably a little concerned, like he kind of gave away a lead, but I don't think he gave away anything because he played a good kick. He scratched, unfortunately. Yeah. And then ATM broke and ran and made it five four. So if I'm him, I talk to myself like that and like I didn't really make any sure. mistake. So yeah. just keep doing what I do. Just I'm keep doing. your confidence and focus yeah. right on. Yeah. Right on you know, line with the match. Yeah. It's not I like agree. he made any blunder. You know. Clinton Doyle, what's up, my friend? Haven't seen you in uh, quite some time. Sheridan, Wyoming. Mr. Doyle, yeah, I miss you, buddy. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll see each other soon. Our paths will cross sooner than later. I see one of my college friends joined the stream, Chris Salvo. Oh, nice. Thanks for joining. Right on. Long time no see, my friend. Hope to see you sometime soon. Brosco, Donnie Clements, watching from Tennessee. Watching from Arizona, Steve Thomas. What's up, Steve? So Steve's real familiar with uh, ATM. He, he he used to live in Denver for many many years. I don't think he knows uh, Stefan as much. Wow, watching from Mesa, Arizona. Uh, Greg, yes they are. They're using digital pool for the Saturday for the Saturday nine ball. Yes they are. Yeah, I was about to say Stefan has to go for this one. Okay, so he interesting well. if he can if he can get this. In the hole here, the two nine, the two nine combination yep. sits pretty good. I like jumping these in and trying to shoot a stop shot right yep. here, just, just straight in ones. There. Yeah. I think he's a favorite to make this one. Jeff's watching from Monument, right down the half hour down the street, nice. down the highway, I should say. All right, Stefan going airborne here. That's no good there. Well, I guess the push out paid off for ATM. That's now where he pushed out. The wide open table, yeah. yeah. Playing the corner or side here? Yeah, I think he tried to play for the corner, the, right? Yeah. Stay above the eight ball instead of driving below it. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Much, I like that. Back in line right here. Looks like he'll maybe play to the 5-9 if he can get straight in on the 4. Mm -hmm. Wow, he killed the cue ball he did inside English there. So I don't think he's going for the 5-9 No, nine he'll now. play the 5 in the same pocket, right? Yeah. Just swing it over. Yeah. Scott Hoons, Aurora, Colorado. The Duke from up in Thornton. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. ATM's making quick work, uh, which he usually does. Hey, you can see his uh, rhythm coming. 
Yep. Right? Look at the speed between shots. It's getting shorter and shorter. This would be a good time for Stefan to take a timeout. Just like for one or two minutes, you know? Five to five. We're all, it's a race to 20 from here, guys. Marcus Lynch from Breezy Point, Minnesota. That's where I'm from. I'm not from Breezy Point, but I'm from Minnesota originally. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, moved very out. Very cold to, place. Yeah, very cold. <laughs> Played pond hockey and a lot of hockey out there growing up. Minnesota. Moved out to Colorado in 93 and never never went back. Went to or Colorado State University. Lived in Fort Collins for about seven years and then came down to Denver and been here since for 23 years. Wow. That's awesome. Rapid City. Hunter, what's going on, Hunter? Thank you. Good deal. ATM's catching a little gear here, guys. BD. All good guys are from Minnesota. That's right. All right, let's see. Ball down. It's a random one. He's oh, definitely going for this going, one. Yeah, he's going to bank right here. Mm -hmm. See ATM. If he banks in here, the 5-6 is tied up a little bit. Shar? Yeah. Are you concerned about that right now or, or no? Uh, looking at where the four lays, it's not really much of a concern. I think the the bigger concern would be like uh, having a shot on the five after making the six ball. You know, because his cue ball's got to be under the five. So the cue ball's going to be running quite a bit. Ooh. Whoa, I didn't expect him to miss it by that. Oh, much. he's going to get a roll here. Wow. It might be the first roll for ATM this match. Yeah. Came at a pretty good time too. After you tied the score up, you were, you were charging forward and then you, you, you miss and you get a roll. Yeah. So right here, I definitely am not going to kick two reels from the top reel. I'm going to kick the bottom reel, just one reel, and really nice and soft. Half ball contact does a lot of damage, you know. Just go along one reel. Uh, let me just get that. Just I would be going this way, you know. Because half ball on either side, most likely you're going to get a safe. Gotcha. Just roll it nice and easy. Looking for a half ball hit on either side. Yeah. And you're going to end up pretty good. And don't hit it too hard. Said. Yeah. Gotcha. I like it. I'm going to remember that. I just learned something. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Lou. All right. Corey Scott, Westminster, Colorado. Mark K from Hancock. You're a funny guy, Mark K. All right. We're looking for a half ball hit here. Even if he gets it full and makes the two, he's on the three. So it's the shot. The shot to go for, you know. But you're Just, saying not hard. Yeah, don't hit it too hard. Are you saying roll it at a, a semi? Yeah, like medium. That might be a little too hard. Yeah. It's a little ten percent. So that speed, the, when you hit it a little harder too, it's going to tighten up, right? Correct. Exactly. So when you he, roll it, had he rolled it, he might have hit it perfect. Yeah, I like yeah. finding the natural scratch angle there and then rolling it like that. Exactly. Said. Yeah. Shar, you got a compliment here from Marcus Lynch. He's in Minnesota. He said having Shark in the booth is great. It oh. sure is. I'm enjoying the hell out of it, guys. Awesome. Thank you. I'm already Thank learning you. stuff. So you see, and a lot of players actually have a feel, like you like you said, you have a feel for rolling ball into the pocket. You know how to aim to the pocket. But if I put the ball somewhere else, people get lost. Like they can't really feel the shot that well. So that's a really good way to for you to go about doing that shot, you know. So if I'm a little off, what was this? This was ball in hand. I know, these are the things I th that... I, I thought each ball had a hole, really. I mean, yeah, you could have maneuvered without have touching the ball. Like that, yeah. So I think that was a big, big error there. But he's just taking risks for no reason. Right. Okay, he's he's looking at the kick now. Yeah. Yeah, that was a little... Uh, he lost all control there. Yeah. I, I thought it, it didn't need a collision there. The three had a pocket. Maybe use the three to bump the four out exactly. and, then, and then run out. Yeah. But see, this is the erratic play that gets him in, into trouble sometimes. Well, a lot of times, I guess. Yeah. So he's Stefan's got to be loving this. He gets yeah. to the table and he's got ball in hand position, three ball, and all the balls are in the open. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, once he gets, uh, I would say, shape on the six ball. He, right. He's out. The four to the five, maybe. Depends how he lands here on the four. Yeah, this this is a key ball, actually. Like, in this game, right here, 
Landing good on the four is the key. Okay. You land good on the four, the five is easy, getting to the six is easy, you're out. So this is the so game winning this, shot, is the yeah. position on the four, and I think and he got And he got it real good. Exceptional That's shape perfect. there. That's perfect. That's literally where I would have put the, uh, the little pointer. Bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. Are you trying to roll forward uh, to get below the five on a natural, just roll forward to the six, or are you just, are you going to take your, you want to create an angle here? You don't want to get straight in. Yeah. I think I'll just roll forward like he did. That's what That's I was perfect. thinking. Yep. Yeah. And just perfect. natural now, just roll forward. Mm -hmm. See, it's really, really important to identify those shots that make the whole game. So I would have never said the shape on the four is the, but you're totally right, right there. Yeah. The, the getting the proper shape on the four is the game. You know, you're out, out yeah. after that, you know. Especially for you know players of this caliber. Yeah. You get that one good shot. Most most of the times, you know, you're out. Oh, he hit that real good. Yeah. Killed it a little bit. Got just dead perfect stop shot. So Stefan's gonna reclaim the lead. Ste uh, Andrew was tied at zero zero. Now he's tied. He was tied briefly here for at five five, six five. Stefan and we got about one more game and then we're gonna run this raffle uh, I'll let them know that this this is the last game before the raffle right Well, we got a lot of draw in that break, but whew, that's a pretty good roll. Nice break. Q ball came back to find the one in the side. Are they in order, Tony? No, but they're all there. I think Stefan's checking to see the two ball passes the four. I'm not saying I wouldn't like to get up on that, but you know. Still some work to do here because uh, the three also we're not sure if it passes by the nine. I'm not sure Tony, take a look at this shot. I'm not sure if he can play the one in the side. And if he has the angle to let the cue ball drift past the side and go under the two and for a two-nine combo. Not sure if that's a possibility. Yeah, actually he did have the angle. So sorry, Shara, I gotta put these two yeah, getting, no getting the raffle ready here. Uh, should have got myself a ticket. <laughs> so the only reason I talked about playing the 2-9 was because of this particular shot. And the next one, getting, making this, then getting on the 3 is not that easy either. So you might as well go for one difficult position and if you get it, you win the game from there. But he played that really well. Very nice shot. Duke says I have enough break cues, so I shouldn't join the raffle. <laughs> Probably a true story. Yep. But an extra cue never hurts. Never hurts, that's right. <laughs> I'm so 
Good control by Stefan there on that shot. Oh, might have landed a little too straight. Didn't want to have to travel that far down with the cue ball. Not sure if he has enough angle to cheat the pocket and come off two rails. This thing looks like he's gonna play draw. See this uh the shot that he just played, uh you know, it was a good shot but I don't think there was any need to put any uh, left English on that one. Just plain draw would have been good. You always want to stay above the six and not under the six. So if he was anywhere near center table, it would have been good enough already. But now the shot's a little tricky. He's, he's gonna have to jack up a little bit to avoid the scratch. He has to hit this pretty good. Wow, he went for the bank. I would not have gone for that. And he slopped the bank in. And he might be able to cut the seven in. <laughs> not a fan of that shot, but it worked for him. Oh, but he missed that seven. Yeah, that's a makeable seven. It's gonna cost him. Yeah, I'm pretty close. Yeah, they're almost there. So that mistake that Stefan made was all because he landed too straight on the five ball. All right, time for the raffle. This is probably on the next act. Who, who got that game? I was doing the um, Andrew got that game. Andrew, so it's six to six. Mm -hmm. Good time for a break, six, six, race to 25. All right, guys, we're uh, doing the raffle. For the BK Break Jump Q, the brand new ones that just came out. They're hard to get right now. That's why they're such a hot commodity. Oh, yeah. We sold these raffles out pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Carol James won uh, Wednesday night. We're going to have a new winner tonight.
Juan Johnson, ladies and gentlemen, is the winner of the BK Break Jump Q. All right, six to six. We've had some uh, people asking out that are watching the match on their phone to make sure we state who is shooting because you can't tell. But if you watch closely, the lefty is Stefan and the righty is ATM. Um, I can tell by their strokes, but I guess some people... Uh, we'll try to we'll try to do that as we go forward. We'll try to state who's at the table, or we'll shoot them the side view of the pink pants when when Stefan's shooting. And uh, what's ATM wearing? He's wearing a jogging suit too. So, but the pink is uh, Stefan. But what's up, John Dobson? How you doing, sir? Miss, how's Ohio doing? You? How's the weather out there, Johnny? Oh, Donnie C said that was nine higher than my number. You had the number one, Donnie? You were first on the list, dude? Great. All right, we're taking a little break. Let's check out our sponsors. Smoky Hill Roofing, CM Stucco, Manny Gonzalez up in Greeley, Smoky Hill Roofing, Simi Sam here in Aurora, Colorado. CM Construction, that's CM Construction. Uh, Conrad Morales and his father did our booth here. Did a great job. We love our, our uh, commentating booth. Uh, Bear Down Billiards, that's Chisholm Woodson's apparel. Uh, uh, Bear Down Billiards apparel. He's from Colorado, Colorado born company. Smoothie King, that's Stephanie. He's playing in the match. He owns uh, Smoothie King up on 144th and I 25. Uh, Hill Restoration, Elijah Jerosh. You uh, have any water damage, fire damage, get a hold of Hill Restoration. And our main sponsor, Colorado Print Press, Nina Monolostis. She does, if you've been in Piazzas, you've seen all of her work, all of her posters, all of her banners. She does an amazing job. She does hats, shirts, hoodies. Uh, give her, give all our, all our sponsors a look up, especially the locals. Um, if you need any of that, any of these services done, make sure you give them a look. Um, also, guys, coming up, uh, our schedule coming up here at Piazza's. Let me just run it real quick down our uh, schedule. Uh, December 9th, we have an 1100 combined Fargo. Uh, December 16th, the blind, the blind sock draw uh, benefit for the Denver Children's Home. Um, please come out. We're going to be, uh, that's for charity. We took a... Me and Scooter and Nina took a tour of the Denver Children's Home and it was uh, very educational and uh, got us, you know, we we're very much uh, for raising money for charity for them. So come on out on December 16th, the Blind Sock Draw. It's going to be a blast. We're going to have a white elephant where you can steal, uh, steal some partners and that money will go to charity or the Denver Children's Home. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Make sure you guys come out and check that out. Uh, December 23rd is a thousand combined Fargo. The 26th uh, day after Christmas is a 1200 combined. I think that's nine ball. Uh, December 30th, uh, we're doing an 1150 combined, our first 1150. December 31st is a singles tournament on uh, New Year's Eve. And then New Year's Day, we're doing an 1100 combined. All right, and they're still on break. Uh, like I said, we got a 6 6 match here. Andy's on the table hitting balls. This will be the only break, really. Okay. Patrick Roy in the box, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Ophie, They want they want some uh, rainbows and rainbows. Unicorn. Me and Shark are gonna get matching tattoos, baby. What should we get? I mean, we all we should get the Smoothie King. Me, Shark, and Stefan. <laughs> the Smoothie King, baby. Ninety-six viewers, stay tuned. This is gonna be fun. Race to 19 from here, Pat. For Race to 8,000. Lots of side action in the room, too. Probably a few thousand. At Andy, least looks, Andy looks a little better as far as his speed, getting on the right side of the balls. Still not breaking the greatest. He does look a lot. 
just more in sync than he did against Mike Dahl on Wednesday night. Definitely cleaner on the balls. He hasn't found any oopsies. If if you guys are out there and you didn't sweat uh, the match Wednesday, uh, ATM was in a same same match, right? Four thousand in the middle each player, eight thousand or eight thousand yeah, in the middle. Yeah, yeah. And he played Mark Vidal two sets though. That was a little different format. Race to fifteen, two sets. And Vidal got both the sets, 15-12, 15-10. And Andy looked a little more, he looks more comfortable tonight. Oh, yeah, for sure. We don't need no more singles tournaments. We're a doubles house. Yeah, when are Double we gonna, the players, when are we buddy. to get the triples going, dude? When are you going to send a Fort Collins team down here for some bar box madness? You get five players, we'll get five players. And we'll do a little rumbling. Montana, Wyoming, let's do it, dude. Colorado yeah. Springs. Champions everywhere. Maybe we get four or four teams from four different cities and we have a little uh, Moscone Cup single elimination or something like that, round robin or something. That sounds like fun. Hey, uh, that sounds like a lot of fun. But Robbie, he doesn't like that name anymore. Uh, Tony gave him that name and... Like over 20 years ago. It stuck. It's unbelievable. Yeah. His name is ATM because it used to be one of his favorite locations. But not no more. <laughs> Alright, I'm taking a back seat for these guys. I'm getting a chair though. Where's Stefan? Stefan Marbury's coming in. You guys, I apologize for the, the top view we've had. A, we, you know, some, some people are asking. They want us to make sure you guys know which player is shooting. It's it's obviously it's obvious to us because it's right in front of us. But um, we'll try to do that and uh, make you aware of, of who's at the table. Uh, remember, ATM is in the gray shirt, gray hat. Uh, he has that bridge. He's a righty. Stefan is a lefty. In big arms. Yeah, and no hat. So. Nelson, what's up, dude? Long time no, no see, no talk, no nothing. How's Longmont going? Champion from Longmont. Don't let him get loose. No, I don't want him to get loose, but does he have a team in Longmont? He wants I, to come I down? I don't know if he can field a, a full team for out of Longmont. All right, here comes the legend, Shark. Oh, Back in the building, baby. It's a big word. <laughs> it is a big word. <laughs> All right. Brandon Shark is still around. He moved here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Brandon's actually another one of my college mates. Yeah? Yeah, so when I went to Lindenwood uh, up in St. Louis, he went to school at the same time as me. Is he a pool player, too? Yeah, he's a pool player, too. That's How good is he play? Is he better than me? Uh, you guys? Pretty close. Pretty close. It's okay oh, so to say plays, that guy's better than him. No, no, it's all right. So he plays like a decent level, though. Yeah. Oh. That's where you met Stefan, right? At Lindenwood. Yep. Yep. College. Made a lot of friends there. And Mark Wilson was uh, the, uh, the the head instructor, coach. Yeah. The head coach. Uh huh. Hell of a coach. Yeah. Moscone Cup captain. A, a set, three uh, years. Yeah, yeah, three years. Yeah. All right, Stefan's back. We'll try to give you that side view, just so you can see his pink pants a little bit more often here. <laughs> But uh, th this is back in action. This is live now. He made the one in the break. He made the one in the side that last break. So let's see if he can continue some consistency right. without hitting that one in that side pocket. Mm -hmm. Oh, and also he has a wood shaft. Oh, or does he play the carbon too? They both play the carbons. He, so Andy breaks with the maple and uh, plays with the carbon. Yeah. They're both which is kind of backwards. Yeah, they're both. Oh, no, no, that. no, no, That's no, a scratch. No, no. And this is going to be a quick game, wow. I think. That Stefan's definitely going to take this one nine with the seventy. Yeah. So the break was not kind. He might go for that. Was but that it's not that simple of a combo, you know. Well, they're both off the rail. Yeah, oh, this is pretty simple. Yeah, Come on. simple. Okay, well, sure, from I think here it doesn't look that simple. It's not simple. It's simple on a bar table. Simpler. Yeah. Like this will rattle a lot on the big tables. Yeah. I don't like lining up for hey, a back cut here. I want to get this straight. There's going to be like zero like... speed on this shot. Zero. So you and, and the speed, so you can hit the rail a little bit, yeah. nudge it in for sure. Mm -hmm. You're not firing this one in at that angle. Yep. Shark said it right. 
Looks way good. trickier than it was. These are not easy, but I think he also hit much harder than he had to. For you sure. Know, like 50% like, less speed. I'll tell you what, if he, would, if he would've hit it better with that speed and, and caught yeah, a rail there, it would've, it would've sat right in the hole. Right. It wouldn't have gone, it would've hung. Exactly. Yeah. I, I don't I don't understand that. These are the little things, you know, we know he likes to shoot firm, but that was a little too firm. So Andy comes up, well, he, he's, he's elated to be yeah. at the table. Yeah. When you're shooting a shot like that, you always want to focus a lot on the objects. You guys, I think the 7.9 is just wired for yeah. sound right here. Right. You can even shoot the 4.7.9 if the you seven wanted. Nine. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I guess speed was really everything on that combination shot. It almost it looked like when off. Stefan first lined up, he was lining up with just a slight back cut, which I don't yeah. understand. And I mean, you just want that straight, straight in, straight in, yeah. and, and just like a real, almost like a slow roll, just to just mm -hmm. drip the nine in. Yeah, because you can miss it a little bit then. Yep. And he was hampered. Just, he had a real long bridge there, so he was hampered a little bit too. So that might affect the his speed. Definitely, but yeah. true because he was a lefty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So his bridge was up towards the rail instead of a righty, which would have been outside yeah. the rail, right? Right. Good point there. Yeah, I think this game's going to... Might be the first time ATM takes the lead. This, would be the, this would be the first lead, barring any uh, crazy mistakes here. He looks pretty good here. I wonder if that's going to rattle Stefan a little bit, missing that, knowing that, you know, that was an easy game. I mean, I would be pretty bothered if I missed that shot, you know, with a ball in hand. Just the, the way he shot it was game. unsettling, yeah. the way he shot it. Yep. Oh, it threw a little. Wow. Wow. First lead, first lead in the match for uh, Andrew Pettinger. I, I forgot what the layout was, but was there was the run out a possibility? I think the, I think the corner yeah. was blocked. In Both the corners are blocked. If you'd have to bank it or play it in the side. Yeah. I the one ball? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm yeah. shooting the nine there yeah. uh, every single definitely, time. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Some people, when you talk to some people, and they just do not like combinations. They just, they, they shoot them, but they don't like them. And then you get right. that, I, I, like, I like combos. Uh, I, oh, I, I know you like combos. I've seen you do plenty of them. <laughs> I like combos. Karam's like not so too. much. Yeah. I like combos too, yeah. Karam's are very iffy. And back in the day when I first started, I loved caroms and I hated combos. Now oh, it's, wow. Now it's reversed. The opposite. Okay. That was a much better break there. Solid hit. Now he's going to get, he's going to have a wide open rack here, guys. That, that nine ball miss is going to cost Stefan two. Yeah. So that's like. Really hard not to get out here. Yeah. Look at this. Two, three, four. Like four to the five is the only problem, maybe? No, there's no problems here. And before the, before the break, actually, Stefan missed a seven. And left the seven night for and, uh, Andrew. So, yeah, before we did the raffle. Yep. So there's two kind of costly mistakes. You know? Yeah, and, and as we said, you know, we talk about ATM, uh, his pace and his rhythm, and he is falling into a nice Stumbling. rhythm right now. Yep. Definitely. I mean, if you you blink an eye, you can look up, and you're down three all of a sudden after that nine ball combo. Mm-hmm. Eh, maybe a little tricky here if he catches. Yeah, he caught it full, but he's fine. Yeah. He's fine. You can either catch it too thin, right? And then it's it's flying around. The cue ball might hit the, both sides. Right. But he, yeah, he controlled it pretty good. I might have preferred to just hit that seven really thin and Eight, come up the other side room. Yeah. All right. So Some ATM shot. fans in the house. They said, let's go. <laughs> is it true that his name is ATM because he that, gives more money away and faster than any ATM? <laughs> Pat said it's what used to be his favorite location was an ATM. Oh, okay. I've always wondered why he was called ATM. Yeah, it's a pretty good story actually. It's, it's not bad. <laughs> What's up, Juan? Juan, you won the queue, dude. Do you know that, right? Comes in on one day. Comes in on Monday, dude. Oh, he's got a break. He had did not break like this against Mark whatsoever. 
Oh wow! That's two good breaks again. in a row. I mean, this is out too. Maybe if he uh, lands straight in on the two, maybe a little difficult to get on the three. Yeah. But he wants. He, he can definitely. He can get an angle here. Kelly's looking at that yeah. side of it. I think that's where he's gonna land. But then even then, getting to the three is not that simple. He's gonna control the speed. I mean, if he lands, if he plays for the the, sh the side for the two where the five is, you have a nice little bank that plays the four nicely. And on a bar table, you're high percentage there. If he doesn't like the angle in the corner. Yeah, if you shoot the two, try to get straight in on the two, and then bank the three cross yeah, side. Yeah, I mean, it plays. Oh, I don't like this. He drifted too far, I think. Okay, and this is tough action, right? Yeah. Nice. Is, this, is this tougher than the seven that Stefan made? Oh, definitely. It's, this is definitely. even tougher? Because this is close to the rail. Yeah. So, I mean, you could cut it in with side spin. This ball's where, where traveling. The this, gonna go? He might catch four or five rails here if he misses all the balls. Yeah, he made a good shot. And then back to where the bank is. Oh, he hit that juicy. Perfect on the bank. Yeah, the he bank. hit that ball real clean, man. That was good. Yeah. Here comes, here comes He's eight. feeling it. Yeah. Just look at the way he's swinging the cue. So the nine ball, ball in hand so far is costing three. Yep. Hasn't seen the table since he shot that nine ball. Mm -hmm. Cost him three. Well, that's a painful miss right there. And what Shark was saying was before the break, he missed the seven too. When the nine was hanging in the jaws. Yeah. He right made before a, the break, he made a good I, shot before that. Yep. He had ball in hand. He made a really nice run out and then he landed straight on the five. And because of that, he landed funny on the six, slopped the 16 and then missed the seven. I had a feeling. Oh. I had a feeling, guys. I don't know why. He did, <laughs> he, he did get a little funny on it. Um, yeah. Wow. Stefan um, jumps up at the table. You, I mean, he was about to maybe, he might have not seen light for a few more games even yeah. after missing a nine. Mm -hmm. It's the worst feeling in the world. Usually when you miss a nine and you're playing back in the day, the guy would make two nine ball breaks in a row and then run one on you. And you're, you're just sick. Yeah. You're sick about it. You know, people always say when they see shots like this, don't scratch, don't scratch, this is, right? I'm looking down the table, but this is not exactly easy here. I've seen so many times watch people... This, watch the scratch, he's good. Oh, what I've a seen shot. so many good times shot. people not scratch, but miss the ball, you know? So what do you what do you? I mean? would always say, make the ball and don't scratch. Or like that's your self-talk when you're on this ball? Yeah, I've yourself? seen people like, don't miss, uh, or don't scratch, don't scratch. They don't scratch, and then they miss the ball. Yeah. You I'm know, saying like, make the ball, like don't your, scratch. That's make what the, I'm wondering. What is your self, your self talk? Yeah, make I the ball, don't myself, scratch. Make the ball and don't scratch. Because <laughs> I've seen it too many times. Yeah, because you you concentrate so much on making the ball that you let your rock. Or not bit. scratching, or yeah. like you know your cue ball not getting to a certain zone, yep. and then you miss the shot. That's a good shot in the nine, though. They close call. That's a good break. Yeah, that's a good break. That's a solid break. Oh, this is just what he needed. Watch the seven ball. That's okay. That blocked the three, so it's a little funny. Yeah, but he can land uh, freeze freeze to the bottom rail, yep. the long rail, and then have a reverse angle to get close to the five for the three so in the you... bottom left corner. So I, yeah. Yeah, so you're playing underneath the three ball? Uh, no, actually, so, oh, yeah, if you play it like that, so see, what I would have done was leave the cue ball right here, yeah. and then make the two and come this way for the three. Oh, all the way over, yeah. Like okay, that. See, see yeah. th that just goes into the zone of the three. But now you kind of have to, you're, you you're know, kinda zone, you, you, you can, can have the right amount of English. You can play this two rails now to control this angle here. Yeah. And coming up into the three in the side of the corner. Right. I don't like coming straight across and floating here. You're just oh, definitely the, not. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't ever like floating, floating the shape and not getting to a rail. Now he has to play like high right to. Get what about? It. Yeah. No, you're never good trying to float it over by the or trying to go over to the seven, shoot yeah. the three in the bottom side, are you? No. No. I think he's just gonna try to, to hit anything. the cue ball at the middle diamond. See that. Oh, he's gonna get his. Uh, it's actually a really good bump there. This Look, is he, why I, want, I like the natural angle into the three rather than... No, it plays so much better. Your way plays so much yeah. better. He got real good on this. He got a good yeah. bump. That three just roll up. Perfect. Okay, good speed. Good speed. 
You see, he overcut that a little bit. Yeah. And that's why the cue ball went That's exactly further. why the cue ball, yeah, went Now he's a little thin on the five, but okay, this should is, be good. It should be fine. You guys were talking about that seven ball. This is a. You know, this might get him back in stroke. He hit that real bad. Yeah. He hit that real bad. See, the shots which I think he should play firmer, he's not playing firmer. Like this shot, I would just play firmer. Because the zone for the six is so huge, you don't land straight, you don't care. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And he tried to get nice on the six. I wouldn't. I just, I just focus on making the five. Yeah. You know. Just draw it down below the side pocket, hit your rail. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Six, seven, nine, all in the open. I was, I was worried about that shot. Uh, yeah. I didn't see the seven that he missed because we were doing the raffle. But, right. but I was listening to you comment and he missed a pretty easy seven ball. Well, it wasn't little, easy, uh, but, but was very makeable. Like, there's no position still, he, to play. He was still supposed to make it, though. Yeah, he was definitely supposed to make it. He probably makes it 85 out of 100, something like that. Yeah. Like 85, so, 90%. Yeah. Some of these shots, it seems like it might be cascading. Look at this shot. Wow. Look at this shot. He had no love. So That's oh, a really gonna, good he's shot. He's going to fire this bank right That's back really by the seven here. Yeah. He's going to play the bank. Has to go for eight. It's a two-way shot. Yeah. You're not going to try to put the cue ball back three rails underneath mm. the seven nine? Mm. Just go for oh, this. He, he missed it. But don't miss it that way. Miss it on the long side. Other side, yeah. Because you so get a two-way shot. Okay, he did He did miss, and then Stefan does have a cut on the six here. He has to take this one. For all the yeah, yeah. Stakes, I'm hitting this you know? firm for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, oh, I'm gonna, you're gonna go back and forth. I want to hit the middle diamond. One hundred. I want to hit that middle diamond by the blue, mm -hmm. the blue plate down there. Yep. Perfect. See, he hit that last thin cut right. fat. He hit that last thin, or that last thin cut fat. Let's see. Oh, he hits it soft. See the ones that he's supposed to play with more speed. He's not. You know. Now he's got to run into the nine. Yep. You like coming underneath the nine, or you? If the angle allows, if a natural roll gets right underneath the nine, then yes, I'll play it with spin and throw it in. Is he checking this? Oh no. Oh my god. All right, so we're gonna have nine, seven, Andrew. So he misjudged the angle. And he, and he almost put like a slow roll on that. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's trying to control the nine. He misses the ball because he's trying to control the nine. That's a big shot, like. Because he didn't have the proper speed on the ball before, so he mm -hmm. wanted to run into the nine the correct way to make an easy shot. Exactly. And he focused more on where he ran into the nine than making the ball. Looking from the outside in, I, I'm starting to see some missed balls here cascading into the next rack if he gets out of line a little. I, like, I kind of mm -hmm. first saw that five ball hitting it fat. Yeah. And then that slow roll, not playing position to get a stop shot on that. I thought that was very makeable to get a stop shot on that ball. Oh, yeah. And how it landed, I, I just felt funny about it again. So, yep. an ATM just charges forward here. Yeah. Hope that, you know, if that costs him, that might cost him a couple here. ATM found a break. Oh, yeah, that corner ball's flying in now. Probably gonna be in you, jail. you might no, yes two-way shot here one, oh, one yeah. two nine combo yeah, behind might the seven. even might even go for the three ball carom here this might yeah he might launch here yeah you're saying the, the one two nine make the three and that one's in a track towards the side yeah three just, way shot. everything's going everywhere and he's going to try to make make the three is this key ball and then you know you're obviously shooting at the nine here it's, it's laying pretty yeah he's looking at it he's looking at it ATM is at the table, guys. This is going to be see, close. Watch him try to go for the three. He did make the three. Oh, oh. He, gets a he just didn't control the speed of the one. So back to that last rack on the, when he shoots the six, when you're saying go two rows, when you're thinking about these types of shots, your only thing that can go wrong is you want to be on the other side of that ball or straight in because you don't want to run into the nine. Right. You just don't want to run into the nine. Exactly. I thought the shot with you you're, you're too right? yeah yeah you're definitely playing for really good position there you're not just making the ball you know he might have and he might have just hit it fat again and it took away some of the speed from the cue ball like I thought he was since he just missed that five I thought he was in a way overcut that ball right and go two rails that's what's cool about these long sets though Marcus you know what I mean that's why they're playing it. Race to 25. There's going to be some momentum swings. Yeah, as it stands, Andy's playing confident stuff and isn't. 
at the very at the beginning of the match, well, you, with ATM wasn't getting any turn, like clean looks at the racks, yeah. yeah. And then Stefan was really clean on the balls and confident. It looks like it's uh, gone away from him just a little bit here. Yeah. And he better be careful here, uh, not to make too many of those mistakes because I think they're going to start costing him two and yeah. three oh. at a time. Did I hit a? Uh, yeah, it's nine. Yeah. Seven. I hit like a space bar or something. Yeah, Andy can put four or five on you on a bar table real fast if he's and his breaks have been pretty good. He got a little unfortunate to not get a good look on the one there. Darius Konecki, what's up, dude? Long time. How you doing, brother? Good, thank you. Yeah, Marcus, I agree with you. It seems like he's lost a little of his momentum on a couple of shots that he that he misplayed, and it's kind of it's kind of affected him. I think he's playing a little timid, you know. Oh, ATM's oh. gonna get uh, he kicks it, um, comes down, caroms the two in, four gets tied up a little, but uh, he's hooked on the six ball. I think you can see the one, but not sure what he'll do with the four. Well, if he can, he might be trying to pocket this one ball, and he might be able to get a rip on the nine four if he can yeah. find a, find the cut on this one. Oh, he's yeah. kicking, he's kicking. Well, that stroke was kicking anyway. Yeah, his first one was a mass A. He might even try to jump the edge. Fuck you, I don't know. Okay. Oh, he's trying to go for the. Wow. If he jumps that ball in, I don't see how he's going to get to that 4-9. Because the cue ball is going to be sliding on the tangent yep. line. Yep. There's no way he's going to get that. If he does, this is going to be an amazing shot. Okay, then... Uh, Alright, stuff. He's got to take control from here. Yeah, and uh, if the 4 doesn't have a pocket, he's got to find... Does, well, does Stefan ever go for a three foul here? I've seen just, him just do some funny things. Just use the 1 to break up the 4-9 and hide him behind the 7. Yeah, and freeze Ooh, that. I love Freezing. that play. Yeah. That's better than what I was going to say. I was going to say roll That's the... That's the shot here, I think. Roll know. the one down the table and bring the one behind the nine, because then the seven blocks one of the kicks. But I like your shot more. Yeah, because you open up the yep. game and now the pressure's on what the What about ATM making the one and drawing back and getting a bump on the on the four nine? For sure, I can do that too. But there's... The, if the four was in front it... of the nine, I would like it. But the nine is in front of the four. So you're coming from this direction and the nine is the blocking ball. So it's kind of risky. I, I, I learned something there too. You know what I mean? Yeah. So totally. that's your nuance. If it was reversed, you would go for it. Definitely, because I wouldn't get hooked. There's no way I'm gonna get hooked. Yeah. But this way, there's a chance I might get hooked. You know? I love your shot. Just, for, just freeze yeah. him on the seven. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like he's gonna shoot your shot. Yeah. Yeah, that's the shot. And the one's not gonna go in. Yeah. Because the six is in the way. Right. Just don't smash it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we would, oh, would be look what he but left him though. Look what he left him. Yeah, one real kick if, on the cash. If you freeze guy. him, he doesn't have the one real kick. Exactly. He, he's got to freeze goal, him there. He's got to freeze on those those shots. You know, you got yep. ball in hand. Put it at an angle where you That's definitely. That's what he should have been concentrating on. At the only thing he should have been Because the rest about. of it is going to happen whether he focuses on on it or not. These are the so, type of shots that Andy just gins. Too. I was watching Tony play Grandmaster and VNA. I don't know before I even knew you really. And I went up to you and I said, nice safe. And you slammed a ball and we're like, no, because you didn't freeze a ball. You were like an eighth of an inch and it allowed a one rail kick instead of freezing him. Yeah, and, right. and I didn't really know the guy, but he was like slamming the ball, telling me you got to freeze to the ball. But yeah. I mean, you got to be within a sixteenth of an inch or freeze that ball. Yeah. See what happens when you don't freeze it. Yep. Because then he's got to kick the other way, which is way harder to judge. Yeah. And then he go. Yep. Stuff in that ball in hand. Right. And now look at the predicament he's in. Exactly. Now he's almost forced to go to the uh, car. He, yeah, he's going to try to go for the four, I would say, here. Man. Maybe banked it. Oh, oh. slow rolling it. That's not bad. Yeah. Put a little the bank was not a bad option, too. I think the bank was on to stop the cue ball. And oh, under the eight? I thought maybe he'd let no, it go. Back he could bank the one into oh, okay, the okay. Uh, corner. <laughs> it looks like it goes. And it's two uh, two ball in hands that Stefan hasn't taken advantage of. One was the the combination shot, and the other is this. One. The combination cost him three. So hand, cost him three know. games before he got back to the table. Yeah. Now ATM's gonna have a tricky time with this because the cue ball is on the rail here. You think? I think he's looking at coming behind the seven. He's shoot the eight. Coming behind no. the seven. No. 
Uh, he came too high. Uh, this is this is a come come with it shot. Yep. Here. Stay down and just make it. And he's yep. been hitting yep. the, the kind of the tough shots. He's been hitting them fat. So yeah. this is uh, this can get him right back. This is I the think. shot he. This is the first shot he made at the start of the match. It, it was. Similar. I was just going to say that. Yeah. yeah. And then ran it. So let's go. Oh, uh, he hit it fat yeah, again. He fat. He, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. I think he's in trouble now. All of a sudden, yeah. uh, I don't. Yeah, he's got to get back in his mindset. Yeah, he's in trouble. You know, the last three shots that he kind of had to come with, he's hit fat. Right. ATM just gonna get this done in a hurry. 10-7 ATM. Another ball in hand opportunity for a Stefan Blown there. Mm. So ball in hand and it didn't turn around in his favor. 10-7. So I was playing in this tournament uh, last week with Jacob Casados, and I missed two safeties. And I didn't treat safeties like a, a normal shot, like it's an eight ball, like bear down, you know what I mean? I played a little fast and at any level, how many times do you see in these tournaments that somebody has, they play a safe and they don't hit a rail? And there's no like uh, attention to detail when it comes to safes. Whatever Scooter thinks. But yeah, just you gotta treat safeties like a normal shot. Oh, yeah. And I mean, Stefan's level, if we set that up a um, hundred times, he probably freezes close to that ball 90 times. Right, and right. He, he leaves six inches. And when you yeah. move up the ranks, leaving that much space with the jump cues and the kicking abilities, it's gonna put you in trouble. Because right. I mean, Shark's gonna hit the right side of the ball very often. You're gonna hit the right side of the ball, get yeah. good separation. Right. And that especially matters on the big tables when the shots are harder. Just getting like hitting exactly. the correct side of the ball and kicks. Mm -hmm. right. I'm gonna to be honest with you. I, I, you know, you said the nine is blocking the four. Mm. It's a bar table to me, and I, I don't it. want even my, my opponent to have a shot at the table again. Right. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go right. for a little, a little right. bump on the. I'm gonna try to see which where I think I need to hit the nine, and I'm gonna draw. Go my, for it. I'm yeah. gonna go for it probably there, um, right. more times than not. I yeah. do like your shot though. Yeah. But you, like you said, you got if you are right. gonna shoot that shot, it has yeah, to be frozen. Yeah, just frozen. It has to be frozen. Cause I I, th I thought it was I mean to freeze that ball there wasn't super difficult. No, not at all. Cause you had ball in hand, right? All right, so dry break for uh, Andrew. So Stephens what's at the table? Tell me what your thought process is looking at this rack from here. Cause I know what I'm thinking when I'm looking at this rack immediately. Well, not my choice. I would just fold this uh, one in. Try to leave myself a big angle on the two, right? And then force follow into the three nine or three eight. Okay, so this this is a spot where I'm playing, I'm trying to freeze on the eight or nine. There's those pink pants that for all you guys didn't know. So seven was I make this and I just try to get straight on the two and I'm gonna roll to the bottom and rail and play safe. Stop, shot. So okay, my yeah. thought process, so you're thinking to run out. Yeah. Okay, so if the nine and three are reversed, same thought process though, or then well, this plays really good here, too. For this plays really the good. You can get straight in right here, off the nine, and then you freeze them right back yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how the three I, that, goes. That, that's one option. Even if it was reversed, I would still go for that because that that would actually be even better. Yeah. Okay. Know? Yeah. Yeah. So I, when I look at that rack, I was thinking about playing a safe on the three. Yeah. Just because the one didn't allow you to get perfect on the two to have the nice angle on the three, there's right. so much traffic and all that. Look at that shot. That way. Well, the kick's gonna go in if he hits it. He, he, have a chance. he can see the three die. I mean, he can see the three. Oh, he can see the three for sure. But I think <laughs> kicking at this ball might not be a bad thing. I think that. Yeah, I think. Just so. try to land uh, right you're under. The you're three. definitely trying to make the nine if you're yeah. kicking at this. Just imagine you're kicking the back of the three. Yep. You know. Because it's actually going to throw high yeah. if you go underneath it, right? And that's the only way you can make it, though. Right. Man, this is a... Uh, oh, so he's going to take He's gonna take on. He's probably looking safe. probably a safety here. Yep. Oh, he's not going to get it either. Uh, ATM comes up with an open shot again. His, uh, his focus is not in the right place right now. He put his headphones in. I don't know if that's gonna matter. I didn't. You know, that's the normal shot we all think of. Back cut the three into the nine. 
take the cue ball down table, but it presented, a, it was funny. It, it really was like, there was a lot of air there that yep. you could thin off the nine and, and then that's, this is what you got. The three ball comes, the three ball comes off the- Dude, that's a scooter. Oh, scooter. Yeah, scooter. Right. Yeah, there was there was no like a uh, natural angle safety there. Like you had to create something. I honestly thought he was gonna drive the three down table and, and pinch yep. and pinch the cube. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I thought I was gonna do too. Oh, oh and he bumped it. Oh, see that bump on wow, the five? Huge. That just made the wreck way easier for him. Now just, just make this ball. Yep. Why? Why not cut it in the side? I would have probably cut it in the side. Yeah. Okay, so we're just lagging on the seven here, right? Yeah, definitely. And then the nine blocks the one rail kick a little bit. Yeah. Right. This is tricky to, to lag though. You can like when you're if you slow roll this, you can bump the seven, and that you have to actually you have you to cut to, the four just to yes, smidge. Yes, I would cut the four that, just that little smidge. bit. Yeah, and yeah. you have the eight there too, so. And it's real tricky if you want to stop the cue ball right there. It's a real soft draw oh, yeah. stroke, mm -hmm. and you, I think you lose it. You I know. definitely wouldn't stop it. I, I'm going to roll it and cut that four just that little bit. Because the seven can help to hold the cue ball, yes. you know, so use it. You know? Yeah. Either way, either way, he, I, there's no way I think he can freeze the seven. He's gonna, there's going to be enough contact yeah. where it's going to bump the seven, and there's yeah. he's going to open up a kicking lane either way. Yeah. He's gonna have a kick, but you're just gonna. That's the best shot does available. He, does right he now. have a path by the eight off the rail off the five? I don't know. Just hit this yeah. hard enough to pass the eight. He probably does, but where does the five go? That's it the just only concern. The eight. Oh, oh, I don't like that shot at all. So know. he got a half ball hook here. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna probably see ATM uh, try to take this cross side. He's got to move the seven. Seven though. away. Wow. He's gonna move the seven. No, he can go he can two rails and fly at the nine too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how he hits it too, watch the cue ball. If you try to move the seven, it comes off the bottom and it tracks towards the nine scratch. Two rails. Mm -hmm. move the nine. The scratch is possible. Possible yeah. scratch here. Definitely Coming off fun. the seven, back towards the nine. Mm -hmm. This nine ball is moving. He's got to move the seven. Yeah, it was it was a little tricky if you're concentrating on moving the seven. Yeah. Well, has to get this game here. It's pretty nice. We just hit it with a little speed, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. You're banking this, right? There's a couple. No, I probably I probably cut this in the side with a bit of inside English. I just English. looked at it. It's it's. it's I cut it in the side with inside English. Inside. Just it's make sure you have that gap between the six and seven. You have seven. another buddy. Uh, it's probably eleven seven. Is it eleven seven or ten seven? Andrew's got eleven. Hey buddy, Graham. Long time no see. I didn't watch that match, but I will in my free time. I know it just happened last night. So What's the scoreboard say? 11. 11-7? Eleven, I don't know if that's right. I had 10-7 in my head. So we had two. Yeah, let me go to YouTube real quick. I can go back and see if it went 9-7, 10-7. Seven, seven. Can you have me some more score shirt? Some more score sheets with that? Ask a, Thank you. Ask the, that could have just been Andy fucking up. Hey, do any of the viewers know, uh, is it 10-7 or 9-7? 10-7 or 11-7. Yeah, is it 10-7 or 11-7? I think it's 10-7. Yeah, I think we're right. Okay, it's 10 7. Let's make sure. Well, yeah, I think it's 10 7. Aaron Harth says 10, it's 7. 10 7. Yeah, it should be 10 7. We can go back and check on YouTube. Bridget says it's 10 7. See, the bank shot just left him yeah. right there. I don't like that. Oh, what gonna... a shot. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, he's going to get dead, dead hooked. That's so cold, dude. That's so cold. <sighs> wow. Now, this shot, I'm going to slam it one reel. <laughs> just no safety here. It's too tough. You're just hitting this 100 miles an hour? Yes. Yeah. Into the six. Yep. Behind the eight, into the six. Yep. Gotta get lucky. Ryan Donahue, Tony clicked that 10 before final ball fell last game. Yes, I did. I caught, and he made the nine in the side <laughs> pocket. True story. 
Yeah. Mark Casper says 10. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. That's why you he's gonna be behind that. the nine Don't now. Do it. Do, no way. Now he's behind the nine. Oh, Look my at this. God. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Kicks the five in, gets hooked. He kicks the six in. He's taking out his jump cue from this close. This is the reason I would have cut the four and not banked it. Yeah. Because the cue will naturally come in that zone where, you know, the five is big. He don't have to get this cold roll. Man. Yes, so yeah. He's made he ain't jumping now. Two, two good kicks. He's not jumping now. Jeez. You guys a little deal. Side view, what he's looking he's at here. Well, I think he'll jump over it, but. That's how close he is to the ball. I don't know. There's no way. Yeah. I think he can jump over it. I mean, he's pretty tall. <laughs> My gosh. He can get that cue elevated quite a lot. No way. Ah, he's gonna fall. Yeah, oh, no that way. Bad. yeah. <laughs> okay, so the right score will be 11 7 after this game, right? So I can tell him? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure he been paying attention. Yeah, in the whole time. Sure I know yeah. I early clicked uh, when he was straight in the side pocket. I mean, well, pool is uh, a little cruel sometimes, and that's uh, that was definitely cruel. Well, it kind of started with the very first sh shot choice, though. Right. I mean, that's why uh, yeah. Shark said cut it in the side. Yeah. So the very first shot he chose the bank instead of cut it, which led to the first kick. Second kick, obviously the rolls were cold, but the first choice, I mean, you could have been straight in on the five. Yeah. In a very big zone, I guess. Yeah, he might have been. He just missed the zero. It's 11-7. 11, 11-7. 11, Race at 25. We're about almost uh, not quite halfway through the match. Uh, ATM. Oh, is it possible to split screen both? No. no it's, it's not, not possible. possible. It's not possible to split screen. Have the top view and the side view? No. Yeah. We can do that with both tables, two different. Uh, oh, I see. Maybe I'll, we'll have to look into that. That's a good question. Now that you uh, pose that, because yeah. we can definitely split screens when we have match on each table. Right. All right, ATM. Uh, what did he make on the break here? Nothing. No, nothing went down here. Yeah, safety is tough. Too. The nine went in. Oh, yeah, he the made the nine, nine in the break yeah, and he spotted yeah, it up. Right, okay. Right. So ATM is at the table. Some people have asked that we make sure you guys know who's at the table. There's the side view. There's ATM. It's like he trimmed down a little bit. Looks like he's going to push out. He's looking for a push here. I think he would take on this thin off the one, but the side pocket's there just in case he catches it fat. Yeah, actually. Because the, 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 it looks like he can cut the one behind oh, the five. And send the cue ball behind the four nine. Yeah, yeah. Between yeah. the four and the eight there. Yeah. Well, he's pushing out. Doesn't like the shot. This is a weird push. You know what I mean? He pushes out to a kick. <coughs> I think he's trying to jump down the side. I'm giving this back one. He, he absolutely is, Pat. Good call. <laughs> he went right for the jump cue. Yeah. And I'm looking at it, and it is, it's possible. Um, shape on the two. I don't know if he can, he can play a little forward. I here. think there's a possibility he might run into the three, and the three's going to block the two. That's what I feel is going to happen. Let's see. Oh, oh he went he, forward. He played, he played that was great. Awesome. That was a pretty good shot, good shot right he there. Some ATM. Fire for that. Fire yeah. for that. He played Jar a jump, <laughs> jump with follow there. That was, that was a good that shot. Was a great shot there. Andrew, good shot. He's, does he still have the jump cue? Yeah. Nice. Uh, putting it away. Looks like he's found a kick here. Between the four and the eight, or is he coming long underneath? Yeah, he's looking at kicking it through uh, 
through the lane there between the he's four and the eight it. and going rail first. That's what he's looking at. Coming here, rail first. Pat, you remember that shot? I do. <laughs> oh, you might. And he's curving the ball. But... You notice, though, like a lot of times when you're playing the match and you're rolling and you're mm -hmm. playing good, you get a couple of rolls, and all of a sudden, you start yeah. you miss a few balls, and it doesn't seem like seems like those rolls go for the other guy, yeah. and it starts it starts wearing on you a little bit. You're like, oh, you know, you got lucky, he made a hit, yeah, I'm not getting a shot. You gotta, yeah. you gotta pay attention to those things too, and not let that creep in. Totally. It's a big shot. This is a, a good shot. the first time Stefan had the headphones in. Just side note. He, is it? Oh, he's because got. I told you that he was all frustrated on his last like real inning when he was on the balls and he got uh, his headphones. Okay, and so that's I, what he's looking at. It looks pretty. He was terrible. <laughs> Dude, I just, how spoiled are we now? That's <laughs> a funky little shot. Are you trying to draw out here two rails? You don't want to bump the five here, do you? I, I have to Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah. Stunned it out two rails. He hit it a little too firm though. Watch the side pocket. Big Watch kitty. the side pocket. Perfect. Perfect. Wow. That was that was a good shot. That yeah, but that's how, you, that's how I, I didn't see that. I... So I don't think you want to pump this and go try to go two rails here. I'm slow. I'm rolling this ball in. Definitely me too. I don't like rolling balls, yeah. but uh, this is one I'm gonna definitely roll. Yeah, I'm rolling this in too. Uh, Stefan needs to get out here. Uh, this is very important for this game. And look what he oh, did. Oh, he hit it. Yes, then he, he hit it with confidence. Roll. And he hit this it. man hates to roll the ball. He hit it good too. I feel like sometimes when I go for it and I try to pump it like that, it catches the spin and and kind of. Or the cue ball kind of hops or something, you know. CJ You want to know who rolls the balls good? Is John Amo. As far as, like, playing one pocket, he rolls the balls better than I think anyone we play with. Uh -oh. He does. Dude, he, like, the slow rolls. How does he play the slow roll? Like, I don't know what it is. Because <laughs> that one pocket will change your stroke a little bit. I know you know. Right, it's... right. I'm trying to lend the game. Here's, like, we talked about difference. this a little bit before playing shape for the side or just coming out middle tail and playing it for the corner. I right. like this one plays pretty good for the side because that yeah, it? yeah. Because you land straight, you land reverse, anything is good. But this is okay, dude. One, two, three, yeah. Rails. Because oh, three you gotta rails. this, in fact, this position, yeah, yeah. I would definitely play it like how he did. This is a big, big game for Stefan here, yeah. Casey wants to know game on. Aaron Har says, "Pat, you don't like my uh, slow you don't like my shots. slow roll shots. <laughs> what do you think about Aaron Har's slow roll shots?" All right, dude. Aaron, you're the second best, dude. <laughs> Did you hear that, Aaron? Second best slow roller. I mean, this. you're so good, dude. I'll take. It. I mean, I'll give you eight seven instead of our old game. <laughs> give you some eight seven. Did we play in or what? Tea time, eleven o'clock. Yeah. Tea time 11. Well, 10 here, another hour. I'd say we start showing up about 11, 1130. Casey? Yeah. Hey, Aaron, uh, Pat, Aaron Harris says no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Your buddy, uh, KR Prim. Yeah. KR Prim? Yeah. What do you say? Now, this is the Steve I know. So when we went to the Derby, they we ran into a few people that knew Stefan, and they called him Kentucky Steve. Yeah. And I was like, that's weird. Yeah. Did you know him when he had all the long hair? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I used to go go to tournaments with him back then, and uh, Skyler and some of those guys, Billy, they would call him Tarzan. <laughs> they would come up at me and be like, hey, sir, where's Tarzan? <laughs> dude, I wish we had a picture to put on the stream right now, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. I think I, I have it, somewhere. but I'd have to go look for it. Yeah. Dude, I, I have I'm a couple. Calling him Stefan Marbury, no more. It is now Tarzan. <laughs> yeah. Stefan, yeah, we his old picture. We used it for a poster, actually. Okay, here we go. Stefan's on the balls here. I mean, that was a week safe. Yeah, Stefan's back on the table. Safe. Yeah. And I mean, a pretty. We got what is it? Four ball by the seven. Yeah, the four ball. Yeah. What I do know. you What do you see? You try to are you looking to the future here? You know you well, can get out to the three. Where do you play shape on the four, Shark? Right, okay, this shot right here, I probably would have just played like a soft draw, like a stop shot, a slight stun, because now I'm on the wrong side of the two. 
You know, now getting to the three is a little tricky. Yeah, you want to be on the other side can't of that ball. But now you have to just, go into the three. Can't you slow roll it just past it to about right here? And you have a back cut on the three? I feel like it's going to run into the... I don't know if he'll run into the three. It might run into the three. So I would just stun into the three right now. Yeah, yeah, and bring it towards the side. I'd go into the three right now. Looks like the cue ball is going to go into the three anyway. See? Yeah. Oh my god, the lead though! You forgot to make the, the, two. the very first Did shot. He commit to what? Because he's focused on the three, he's focused on making the two. I would have just stunned into the three because you're going to the three no matter what. Yeah, but the it's the, the problem started the shot before because he lets the ball instead of stopping. Because it's okay exactly. if you have a little angle there, then he can roll out to the middle of the table. So he goes and gets the wrong side of the ball. This exactly. is a little funny here. This is definitely funny. Yeah. I think he might just have he, to come back out middle of the table, come two rails out and play the four seven combo. I'd be it, this way, Shar. Come down yeah, this yeah, way. Yeah, I see what you're saying. And back out to here. Any kind of, I, I take that. I definitely not drawn. I'm not touching the eight. Yeah, right? make sure you don't run the eight. Yeah. Tricky little shot. Yeah, he's come coming real close to the it's like corner. He's, it looks like he's juicing with right hand English. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you oh, rolled he gets it, he was going to come he, real he gets close a to the good, corner. Good, good ball there on the six. Hits it full. Tricky little angle here for a combo, but mm -hmm. seven's near a hole. Mm -hmm. You might even see him pump a bank here. Wow. Yeah, I'd definitely go for the combo here. But a little funny, looking down at the table. Funny, it's tough. You have to spin this uh, below the eight and nine. You might have to put a little inside English here, which then alters your, you know, your, I your think accuracy. I just, I just roll it in, just natural. The, the cue ball's coming towards the eight, really? and, the, and if the four catches it, it drops below the nine. I think it's good. Just roll it softly. Real soft? Yeah. See, so played. It yeah. was, I thought it was tricky. Just I thought it. it was just real tricky because if you slow roll and you catch it real like pure, the four ball comes off the rail and ends up here. And you got oh, a, and you got a good chance saying. for your cue ball to be coming back here. I get what you're saying. So yeah, that's I why I said spin, sure. it, spin it with a little inside English. Yeah. Which, Maybe. Which also, you know, you, you right. shoot the combo off angle right. and you're putting with spin on it. Wow. That was you're, tough. You're, that was tough. It was tough. No matter what. But I didn't play it real soft. Like, just pocket speed. Just focus on making it. All right, now you got, from this angle, you're just choosing to shoot See, the corner. That, that, you know what? Uh, yeah. I, I would have played out and got to the, get above, a little bit of angle the six. Get an angle. I mean, on the he's six, straight. You know? I, I think he's fine here. He can go forward or he can. And, and gonna, he, I think he has to shoot the seven in the top left. Yeah, you have to shoot in the corner. That's okay yeah. though. Oh, we're That's thinking okay too much. But I didn't like him landing straight on the six. Okay, just, so let me ask you. Oh, this. he's fine. He's struggling, and I mean, is he making a good choice because he's struggling to get out? He's just trying to play a stop shot, right? And if that ball rolls forward two inches, then it plays super simple. I mean, right. he's struggling, so maybe mm -hmm. he's not trying to move the rock. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Do you try to shoot your way out, or I mean, are you trying to just play the better pattern? Well, if I'm feeling uncomfortable, definitely shooting my way out is not the right thing yeah. to do. I mean, I play right. The way he played it is the way I played it, but I stop it a little bit so I can come forward and then shoot it in yeah. the corner. So I play it the same way he plays yeah. it. Yeah. Either let it go forward or come back. Yeah. Yeah. Do he got out. That straight he got out. He was a little out of line every ball, but exactly, <laughs> it's a bar table. Don't yeah. forget that. So uh, it's okay to you know, yeah. take yeah. a take a little uh, harder. What I'm saying is like, when I play eight ball, I never like having my last ball beneath the eight because I don't want to have to draw the bar or whatever. He lands a little bit straight. Scooter right there in the uh, hat right there. When he lands a little bit straight there, I'm okay with just playing a stop shot because instead of overdrawing it or drawing it three inches and getting super funny. He knows if he stops the ball there, he's not going to be yeah. that funny. You know what I mean? Because like yeah. when you're dead straight in, dude, and you, things aren't going that good, like you overdraw or you choke stroke just, it just and it. you draw it three inches, then you make it worse just when you could have just stopped yeah. it. True. You know what I mean? Yeah. True. And your coach says, hey, why don't you just stop that ball instead of trying to draw it? Yeah, when that's get, a good line of thinking, just to keep things simple. Especially on the bar box, dude, because right. like some, it doesn't really matter in a lot of spots where right. you are. You know what I mean? On the big right. table, it matters more. Right. Like on the big table, maybe you have to be, you have to draw the ball to get on. Yeah. Because if he would have stopped that shot on the bar table on the six, instead of rolling forward, yeah. there's okay. a higher chance he would land straight than on a bar table. Yeah. You get what I mean? Yeah, because yeah. the ball's further. Yeah. So the chance of landing straight is now higher. Yeah. So he made, he gets a little unlucky here. He makes two balls on the break and it's just facing a, a real difficult uh, decision here. I'm just going to roll ever, up the cue ball. Are you ever pushing? Are you ever uh, I think you can roll up the cue ball on the eight. 
Are, are you ever pushing out here? I'm, I'm pushing here. I, I don't think he needs to. Like, he can just. Oh, roll you go right into it. I see what you're saying. Let the cue ball go one real lane. Slow rolling uh, you're going, seven feet. No, I mean, here. With it's the, not the, really a slow you're, roll. You're hitting a one this way, and then the cue back into it. Yes, like that. He's pushing. He doesn't like it. This is where I would have went a little thinner than this on the push, but I like shark shot if you could hit it in the face. Yeah. I just don't like slow rolling it I don't that, think, that far down. But it's not really yet. a slow roll, I feel. Oh, you and, can stroke it a little bit. Yeah, because the cue ball has to go into the rail and come behind. Even gotcha. if he bumps the eight a little bit. Yeah. And, dude, even if you hit it terrible, as long as you control your one a little bit in this zone. You're not going to sell out the one. Yeah. There, yeah. Now, I don't know what to do from this push. I'd give so it back. So, ATM did give it back. So, yeah. Stefan is at the table. Because now it's worse. All right, we got a little bit of look of Stefan's pink pants, so we know it's him. This is for Carol. Nice. Congratulations. Sure oh, watch out. They're going to fall out. Yeah, yeah. Oh. See, oh. I would have taken that shot and not pushed out because the safe was simple. But from that angle, there was no safe at all. You know, did he, did he go yeah, for it right there? Did he try to cut it? I wasn't sure what he was going for. Yeah, when you roll there, you know your guy's just going to give it back to you. Yeah, exactly. Because there's not much you can do with it with the edge to edge. There's nowhere to hide. Yeah. There was a bad push. Yeah. Yeah. Knowing your opponent, too, right there, putting him in a real tricky spot, knowing that my guy, I, I feel like he's going to take it. Yeah. You got to know that it's like almost like a game Definitely. of poker right there. Right. I, I'm going to push somewhere right. I really think he's going to take a tough shot on Right, um, right. He hit that great dude. He loves that shot, by the but way. But ATM had no attacking option. Like, if he had a tough attack, he might. Sure. But he doesn't go for tough defense, you know? Gotcha. Good point. Yeah. Yep. He felt like there was offense involved Maybe there. leave he him with a real up, yeah. thin cut on the one. Then he might have gone for that. He's going to take... I, I'm pretty sure he takes this cut on. <laughs> Just coming right straight back and forth a couple times. Yep, he hit it good. Hit it. Dead perfect. Great shot there. Yep. Yep, he's out here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nine. No issues here. Tick, tick, toe. <laughs> it is real cool to see pool at like this level or higher because you, especially on the bar table, you see max punishment for mistakes. Right. Definitely. And like you had an opportunity to full hook the guy and you didn't have to slow roll it and yeah. I would have pushed too. I would have made the same mistake where now that I see your shot, that, that's a way better shot. Yeah. All right, 12 to 9. Win. Andrew, kind of back and forth here in these uh, middle games. Because you, by pushing out, he essentially took on a tougher shot. Of the same kind, he slow rolled it anyway. Yeah, right. To, to, talk to a way tougher angle. Tougher, way yeah, no. tougher. Yeah, because now he's thinner, and now you gotta control both balls. Because in his mind, ATM's gonna accept it, and he's in a tough spot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But what if he passes it back? I don't know if that. Like, yeah. Oh my god. Oops. Twelve nine. <laughs> On the halfway point here. Wow, breaking from the middle. I don't know. Man, why I he, thought he had some good breaks. Yeah, yeah, I thought he started. I, I thought he found a break. Uh -oh. Oh. Whoa, that worked out pretty nice. Oh, it worked out great. Look at this. That wing ball flew in. Look at this. Where's the two ball? Oh man, right down here. He can just draw, dude. That's a and a three plays perfect to the four. Yep, and then the six is right there. He yeah. made the five on the break. This is out. He's out here. Could start up another little package here. Yeah, it's gonna be hard not to get out here. Reaching for an extension. Do so you go to this? You go to the second rail here, though. When you draw this out, one, two yeah. rails. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely go for the second rail. Yeah. Are you picking a spot on the rail, Shar? Are you? Uh, are, you don't want to come too low here. The middle diamond. You don't. Yeah. The you want to. You want to make sure you hit up here. Yeah. Because when it's coming off, you definitely don't want to. You don't want to go behind the seven. Yeah, that's coming towards there. Yeah. Go up a little higher. Yep. And you, you pay attention here not to have a, a, a back cut on the two. This is you don't the, want the cue ball running that not way. Not too much of a back yeah. cut. Yeah. This yeah. is the key shot of the rack. I yeah. mean, as, as long as you don't get too steep and you hit it pretty much perfect. Yeah. Yeah. But that was the key shot of the rack. Now it plays, like, all the balls play perfect together. Six to the seven, that's it. Yeah. And the six and the seven, you have half the table, or 30% of the table to shoot in the side. And... Right. Well, uh, as long as he lands on the four, he can even go 
Which one's the six? Oh, the one next to the four. Yep. Okay. Yeah, and I mean, dude, you're you're gonna be so you're gonna be great on the four, which means you're gonna be great on the six. Exactly. What was the biggest lead in this? Was it eleven seven at one time? It's five so, one. Yeah. Five to one. So five to one. Four. I'm saying for five, ATM, one, 11, he's set up four games, I think. Yeah. So he's looking to get up. Both have been up four lead. games. Yep. He just pinch draw this. Yeah. I think he would know. <laughs> okay, I guess he did. I felt like it was going to hit you hard. That's what I thought he was loading up to, but he made the right choice there. Yeah. Don't have to do anything funny here. KC, what's up? You check this, this is some inside, yeah. inside English. Come to the rail and back out to the middle of the table. Oh, um, uh, he's looking maybe Do you think on. he plays this with inside again? Or not? Yeah, I think he does. What the f And did he get perfect? He's perfect. It might, yeah, it goes. Excuse me. No. I don't know about that play. That was unnecessary risk. Yep. Came out good though. Yeah. Hey Tom, is this Nina's person? Jack, she asked me to take back the office. Yeah. Looks like it's gonna be 13-9. Yeah, it's going pretty good. The nine ball, I mean. I mean, I didn't give up any more. I didn't give any more. How much time did you have to pass? No, no, no. 13-9. All right, nobody's had a five-game lead. Andrew's breaking, <clears throat> breaking to try to extend his lead to five. Well, Shar, your buddy's uh, down four. <clears throat> yeah. What are, you, what are you thinking? Maybe that he's thinking, or is uh, is there any doubt entering his mind, or is he just waiting for his next shot? Or you would put a package on him. Are you thinking? I think he's already like he's probably just really motivated to come back and win the match. He's probably really motivated right now to come back and win. This the is match. where I'm talking about maybe when the match goes like this. Do you look a little ahead? Because I always think about the uh, I just need a shot. But I'm thinking in the chair here, give me a shot and I'm running five. Yeah, I know that's probably not the right mentality, but that's what I'm thinking. I'm well, thinking, yeah. give me a shot. I'm ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna dial it down a little bit. I might, I might slow my game down a little bit and start trying to play a little bit better cue ball. Yeah. Taking a little bit more time, maybe slowing Andy down just a little. But it's hard to slow him down when he makes four balls on the break and he's straight in on the one. Wow, what a break! Well, yeah, I think it's good to definitely think. Give me a shot, and I'm gonna run five. But then right after that, you gotta 70, 80 percent of your thoughts should be ball by ball. Right? Ball by ball, for but sure. Every now and then, in between games, you gotta pump yourself up. You know, yeah, you have to talk yourself. I, I tend to slow myself down when I'm when I'm behind a little and try to even just start dialing in perfect position on every ball right. and, and and just slowing my whole process down yeah. and and working my way back. I just tell myself, that's work, what I do. Too. Work yeah. your way back, yeah. grind them, grind mm -hmm. it out, throw a little grind in there. Yep. And my what I mean by that is my pace. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grind it out a little. I'm gonna go down and look. I'm gonna start looking at my where I want to put the cue ball on every yeah. shot. Even oh my god! Oh my god! What just happened? He missed the nine. Is that playing a little fast? What just happened? He just swung at it. Okay, guys, if the if the if this match turns from here, remember this. Remember this when it could have been fourteen to nine. Wow! I and think, he had a freaking yeah. awesome break. Oh, so he he already moved the nine with his stick. Oh wait, no. Yeah, really? he, he gave it to Stefan. Uh, oh, he gave it to Stefan. I thought Stefan gave it to him. Cause, okay, so he did miss the nine. He did miss the nine and Stefan is gonna be at the table. Wow, so here's, I like to look back. Personally, when I'm in the matches like this, this is the time where I need to start. I need to get on his throat and strangle him now. Yep. After that huge, he's in his head already. huge mistake. Yep. Now, this is where maybe I start my grinding process. Right. Even though I got a stop shot on the two, which is mm. probably on the three, and I know it is, I'm gonna you go around the table, around. look, that becomes part of my process now. Yeah. Before the shot, I'm gonna walk around, see where I need to be, right. and then go back and shoot. Yeah. I mean, I can still keep my pace up. I'm not gonna slow play it, but yeah. by any means, I'm gonna start, that's gonna, I'm gonna add Being that. deliberate, yeah. be more deliberate. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the same way too. Well, Stefan's gonna get his break Five going. Ball. Five ball down. Yeah, it looks like he might be able to still be on. The two is still on. If he makes the one. Well, he has options here. If the two laid funny, he can definitely draw the cue ball into the four. Yeah, just roll the one in. Don't 
You don't focus. need to do anything. Yeah, roll. just roll the one in. You know, nothing much to do here. Just focus on making the one. You know, make the one. No matter what angle he has, the tree is right next to the pocket as well. So. We'll see. Uh, He's got to roll this in. Don't try to do anything funny with the cue ball. See, I don't like that. Roll uh, it in. Why did he not roll it in? You got to roll that ball in. Just roll it in. He tried to control it when there was no need to control it. I think he's going to have to take on the bank now. Yeah. Or does he shoot a thin cut here? I don't know. So Stefan is at the table, guys. Stefan down 13-10. ATM missed a nine ball to go up 14-9. to nine. Real easy nine ball. And Stefan trying to punish him here. Uh, maybe get two. Maybe cost him two here. But he got out of line on the two ball. Do you see how he's doing all his thinking while he's down? Yes. So this is one thing he needs to like work on. He does a lot of thinking oh, while he's, gonna he's down. Oh, he's going to hit three rails. That's going to go in. And he so, feels the shot when he's down. But just stand up. You know, you're down. Like you said, you're going to grind it back. Take another look. Make sure you commit to the shot. You Not do your and you probably deliver it, deliver it much better when you're committed to the shot. Great point. Great point. Because he does think a lot with his when I'm when I'm playing in one pocket a lot of times. He does that. He yeah. gets down and he he's doing the thinking while the cue he's, he's down moving on the ball. And he's down. And, and I can tell because his cue sticks. He's he's yep. thinking about which English. Mm -hmm. But that's a good point. I do the same thing. So I'm yeah, gonna I'm gonna paint that now. That's it. the third yeah. thing I've learned today. <laughs> That is a great point Somebody there. Hand me the mic, so like a lot of a lot of players, like they'll go down, they'll check the shot, but then they'll get back up. I do that a lot. I never do that and shoot, but I'll feel the shot, I'll get up. And I'll then feel clear, another and shot, make, I'll get up. Make a clear then decision. I'll make my decision. Then, yeah. Wow, I bet you that increases your odds a lot. Yeah. Wow, what a shot that was by ATM. Wow, what a shot. And he's, he's rewarded. He might have to curve that oh, yeah, he's around got, the eight. He's got a one rail kick, too. Yeah, yeah. one rail kick, please. Yeah. But you want to hit it with I like, I like, I like curving this. Even though your cue ball is on the, on that, in that funny position? Well, I think that makes it kind of easier because it's close to the rail, you know? So it's easier to get elevated. But I don't know how much he needs to curve it. If it's more than a half ball block, then I probably wouldn't curve yeah. it. And it's, it's so deep. deep. The three yeah. is deep. It's going to be a quarter ball less. Yeah. Uh, let me take a look. Man. I'm probably kicking at this this one. One I'm, rail. One rail. Yeah, one rail. I'm coming here. But I'm I'm focusing on hitting this with speed right, right here. Right. So I can get this cue ball moving out. You know, out here somewhere. Mm. It, it, I gotta take a look. I mean, if it, you hit it full here, you're scratching. Yeah. If it's less than a quarter ball, uh, walking, it's so I, deep. I'd probably curve it. You might not even be able to go rail first here, yeah. sir. Dude, I think it's a yeah, full it's ball in. for the. Uh, uh, then for definitely the, to, to, not. There's no way. That like a quarter yeah. ball here. Yeah. He hit it good. And he, oh, he hit it good. See, that's what. Wow, I mean, that's like the. Yeah. Is that the third kick shot? He's hit real good, and he's just been punished. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So always. Uh, chance there though that you know what i mean that's the natural angle there if you go rail first though right you know what i mean you got to get a Light. little bit fortunate you got to go with speed too yeah. for that reason I, he did, I I'm that. Just, if he hits it like 20 percent fuller he's good yeah now i'm definitely curving and kicking this <laughs> one reel <laughs> you're going you're swerving around the eight yeah and kicking it yeah kind of like uh let me just draw it out something like this and, and then, then try to clip half ball on the four. Or oh, any kind of contact would, would be decent, you know. And then with the swerve, you're going that way, it's going to lengthen out that. It's going to come exactly. off that rail and lengthen down. There'll the be table. a lot of speed on the cue ball to pull it towards the four. I think that's the best shot here. And it looks like he's Zing it. Oh, man. The way I his cue like is that. level right now, Stefan looks like he's going for the Z, the Z kick. Oh, he came yeah. very close. Came very close, but so tough to judge. The Z kick is so hard to judge, yeah. especially when you're hitting it hard, right? And that ball's not even close to the rail. Right, it's in it's the up, open. It's in the open. It's very tough. 
All right, this looks like a pretty easy clear here, but last rack we said that. And yeah. He, he, he'll probably pay a little more attention to the money this time. Yeah. This is similar to the one he missed. He ain't gonna miss anymore. 14-10. 14 to 10. Mm. He made, so Andy made a great hit on that three. Yeah, he almost made and it, early, and then the key ball went around and hooked him. I mean, he was rewarded for a good hit. Right. But Steve was punished for a good kick. <laughs> yeah. Well, three good kicks he's made this match, right? And all of them, he ended, ended up being up hooked. hooked. Badly, too. It's Badly. Crazy. But apart from that, there's still been other mistakes, right? That sure. Played into the scoreline. He's staying in the middle of the table here. Yeah. I just, I'm, I mean, I'm, he's, the wing ball's just flying in. Take a look. It's breaking. The seven or the four is flying in here. The the four, yeah. Flying in. Well, not this time. The last two times he did. Your push game here, like people don't, the, the, it's such an underestimated shot in, in nine ball is mm -hmm. pushing out. You watch the best pusher in the world, in mm -hmm. my opinion, and a lot of people has been here, Shane Van Boning. Mm -hmm. He pushes to the most brutal spots, almost like he knows you're not going to take it and he's going to play know, safe. He's going to play defense yeah. off his off his pushes. He's either that or he's one of the only few people who can play that shot in the world. Like he push out to the max draw. Draw, draw, draw a few ball 15 feet under pressure. You know, he'll push out his shots like this. To a brutal spot, right? Yeah, and then make, he's, where he's good at those. He's yeah. good at making tough shots. Yeah. You know? So it's it's big, like, I think as a pro, uh, part of your practice should be nailing just tough shots. Shots people wouldn't go for. Because that gives you a big edge over a lot of other pros. Sure. You know? When you when you're a favorite to make tough shots, are you usually pushing out to tempt your opponent, or are you pushing out knowing that you're gonna probably play defense off the push? Depends on the situation, but in most of the situations, I'll probably I try to push out to a kick save or something. Where the kick save is not too difficult, right? But you need some precision, you know. Well, or maybe a tough save. A lot of kick and sticks, if they're close to the rail. Yeah. Your opponent's gonna take it. Yeah. If you're so playing someone, out, yeah. uh, you know, you're usually right. playing someone a high caliber. Yeah. They're gonna probably. I don't like pushing out. I like pushing out where I think he's gonna give it back to me. Right. And then right. I'm gonna exactly. try to shoot a real difficult safety. Right. That's the way to go about it. You wanna push out to a shot that you know if you get it back, you know what to do. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he pushed out, and ATM took it this time, mm -hmm. and he he hooked him. Yeah. And uh, Stefan's got the jump cue out. Stefan's got, got the jump cue out. That's a look. It's easy. So he's a little farther away from the ball here. Hmm. Two ball. Oh, what a shot. Well, finally he made one. Let's give him some fire for that. Yeah, Shark. some fire for that. Good shot. Mm -hmm. Well, that was a great shot. What do you do here? I'm just locking him, him up behind the four. Locking up behind the four here. Yeah. Are you ever banking, banking the two and swinging the cue ball down here, Shar? Does the it, it, can you bank the two and and put your cue ball right here? So if you if two way, if you make it, you got a shot yeah, on the three. I guess if if it if it misses the four, then yes, worth a try. But I think the the easier man, the easier he's control it a lot. Yeah, know? he's got to control two balls. He can leave the cue ball out. And and you. You really, you really want to make the two, right? So exactly. Yeah, I think this is a much better shot to play. Oh yeah, he hit you know, yeah. Perfect. That was a fire safe right there. So I whenever think. I look for safeties, I look for the first thing. Well, actually, any shot that I ever do on the table, the first thing I look for is easy to execute. I'm gonna sh generally, I'm gonna shoot the shot that's simplest to execute because that's gotcha. the highest percentage. Sure. Right. Yeah. But if I'm choosing between a safe and uh, uh, and an attack option, and they're both like 50-50, I'll definitely attack because the attack can win me the game. Sure. Whereas the safety and a, and would. A, and, a, and a safe that's not executed, yeah. you know, well, you can see, lose you the yeah, game. Exactly. Right. I rather buy a chance to win the game. You know. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of yeah. a lot of people talk about that 50-50. You go right. for the offense. Yeah. Well. Uh, 
ATM, uh, I thought he might have a one rail escape here, but apparently yeah. he doesn't. Yeah, I think he can kick it uh, kind of like this. Ooh, you know, with uh, see that, draw it? draw it yeah. with uh, right English. Yeah, and low right. Yep. And yeah, I didn't even see that. That's option. the shot here, I think. Yeah, I think he found it. That's what he's looking at right now. Because mm. he can see that side of the cue ball. You know who shoots these real well? Shane Van Boning. He yeah. he hits these balls. It's crazy. <laughs> and he, and you guys, you know, the pros play on yeah. mostly new felt, so there's that. There's that drag before it exactly. takes. Yeah. He's just a master of that. Yeah. And see how much this English takes here. He's pounding it. Oh, and he didn't go off far enough, and he didn't put enough close to he, the two. So he didn't. He had to drive it with almost masse. You got to masse it outside and yeah. then hold it to come back. But you know, I feel like he shouldn't have uh, elevated his cue there. Just play with the level cue and aim further out. Aim and further just out. Pinch draw it. Pinch you know, draw. So that the curve takes place very quickly, very early. Gotcha. Because if you get too much speed, the curve is going to come out very late, you know, delay the curve. So... Fourth thing I've learned. Fourth thing. So well, you know I'm that. Not, I well, Just I, that you might not have considered that. Yeah. You know? well, I, I'm or not, how you hit it. Yeah. Yeah. How you, no, you know what I mean? Because like, ATM, he elevated and tried to hit that. So I probably would have elevated too. I would have shot it. It feels like it needs it, but it probably doesn't. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna set that up when we get when we're yeah. on our practice. Yeah. Yeah. Have you shoot that with a level cue? Because I yeah. even, I think I would have elevated too for sure. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We can definitely. Because I've like practiced those shots quite a bit too. You know, sometimes that's the only way you gotta judge that curve. Is that harder on on new felt or worn in felt? Is that shot? Would you say? Can you picture it? I'd say it's harder on uh, new felt because, because the, the spin slide, doesn't grab the that slide. Well. There's yeah. the, all that slide going on. Yeah. Yeah, that's what on makes Shane coffee. so amazing when he hits those like yeah. that. Yeah. But the thing about Shane is, I mean, he's competed so many times at, on that t those types of stable conditions. So he's like... Uh-oh. What's this? This is no good, Char. I mean, I asked the bank. Shoot. Sure. Oh, he can, I don't like that at all. No, you gotta overcook that. You wow. Come on down, yeah, man. What's he doing? You gotta take your time, Stefan. Jesus, I banged Take that your ball. time, Stefan. Overcut it. He overcut it. Oh, oh my God! God. Oh. None of us thought okay. it was in. Wow. I, yeah, none, none of us thought it was in. He overcut that. <laughs> Jeez. I can't believe 14, it. 11. Dude, I did that to Jose Loma in one of ours. Uh, when I was like up uh, 15, 13, race to 16 or something, the last ball I made was like that. Yeah. It, it, it stared at you for a little bit and said, "Yeah, you were doing the so curve." Yeah. yeah. It wiped then, its feet a little bit. And then bit. when it was hill hill yeah, against it him, it didn't go in for him, so he double ran bad. Oh, I remember um, that when he hung it. Dude, and there's no. He should have been straight in. Like, yeah, he, he like, floated shape over and got. Yeah, I remember that. I do remember that. You, That's when our stream table was number three. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. We moved the room around in the last few years, a couple different times. That's crazy. I'm pretty happy with that decision we made, Tony. Yeah. Yeah. Opening up the mess for the for the bar tables and for league, you know, yeah. Yeah. nice yeah. access because like we used to not get tons of action up on the mezzanine. And now it's the most popular place. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that break worked out because sure the big tables were right here. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Oh yeah, yeah, you yeah, 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 that's right. The last time I came around before I moved here. So the seven yeah. ball, I'm looking immediately. Everything goes uh, seven nine combo. Are you playing for the combo? No, definitely. 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 Yeah. And that should be it. I it's, mean, it's, I mean, it's already combo. laying good. You know? Well, just is that last ball and hand combo in his head still that he shot like. I mean, this is way easier. Is it? This is he way had ball and hand. Okay, so why was that combo so much harder? Like, you, me and Tony because thought the, it was easy right away, and you said, no, 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 no. Because no. the one is two diamonds away from the nine, and the nine is about a diamond away from the pocket. Yeah. Gotcha. So that's These a, balls are close. much closer. You can see the contact point much easier. Yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha. Your margin for air is way higher in this one, way bigger. Yeah. Like that one, that's why I said the cue ball so close. Even if you have one revolution of side speed on it, you're going to throw the one. And the nine ball is two diamonds away. So, yeah. It can go real bad. Get off the rail. You don't want to get straight in here. He's straight. But he's all right. 
Yeah, he's, he's already on a bar. He's got a yeah, little because bit. Of, no, he's got a little bit of an angle. He's going to grab. Oh, he likes going forward. Yeah, no, I would do oh, these. Oh, he hit two. it delicious. I would do these two. He hit it great. I mean, that's pretty much. But a perfect so this angle. is do not. You hit want it closer, hard. right? Listen, of course. I know he likes to hit it hard. But these are not ones you hit hard. You catch any bit of the rail, yeah. it hangs. Yeah. If you hit it easy, it goes in. You cannot, especially with that. That's why the cue ball is close. You can afford to hit it a little firmer with the stroke. Okay, number one. 15, 12, he broke it ran. I don't like how he played for the five off the four. He came to that big zone. I might I might have uh, stayed on the short side. So you I came to four, so you, you played the five, five in the same pocket he shot the four? Yeah, and then just stun down close to the seven. Nine. Yeah, you just want to be close to yeah. the seven there to be accurate. Because that way there's a possibility you land straight, which he almost did. Yes. And then now he's got to play inside English. And now you gotta you wanna get close to the seven nine, you know? So yeah. A lot of funny things. Yeah. But if I stayed on the short side I can control do many more things with the cue ball. So you know? after that thin cut on the nine to get to eleven, which we didn't think went, I know. He gets plus one. Right. He gets that plus one. Right. Now he's working on plus two. Right. Uh you, you know see. momentum might have swung here. Yeah. If he can find a break. Oh, oh, two down, down two down. Ah, uh, the three's gonna, or the one's gonna, that's in a bankable spot. And he's gonna have a level Q too, so. It's actually in a makeable spot. Yeah. I would go for this one. What's your plan with the rock? So the, yeah, the cue ball is definitely traveling. My plan with the cue ball? Is coming long and maybe underneath the seven? Well, like, I'm gonna go. You're going to make, right? I'm, yeah. Are you spinning it? I don't think, I think flat gets you here, like here, here. And out? Actually, is that what you're doing? Even if I bump the seven, coming out. Bumping the seven, bumping the seven coming, coming, the seven coming, coming out. out. Yeah. Because the two sits in a good spot. Yeah. I don't mind putting a hair, just a hair outside. Well, next, next ball's the three. Natural angle is good. Oh, where's that's the, the three? three. The three. Three's there. Two down on the bridge. Oh, well, that's okay, too. If that's he bumps better. the seven on the way out, he might get perfect on the yeah. three. Do you think, you think he ever lays down here and goes for a safety? No, don't. You got to shoot here, safe. right? You got to shoot this one. You got to shoot this one on a bar table. Overcut it. See, he played with inside English, though. He played it with inside English. Because yeah, he didn't I, see that I like shot. A, I like a flat middle ball there. The exactly. natural comes down about first diamond. In yep. between the first and second diamond, yeah. yeah. Inside makes it so hard. Yeah. Yeah. Inside makes it so hard. Exactly. How much does it and how much does it deplete your accuracy right there? On a, I would use an inside on a thin cut like that. And especially at that speed. By like 20 30 percent, wow, least. and that distance, yeah, yeah, so 20 or 30 percent. Wow, oh, Andy, Andy hit it delicious. I mean, because you got to judge how the cue ball is moving, yep. and then there's throw when he contacts the ball. There's so many things. Okay, so where do you want to be on this four to get through this five? Ooh. Just draw straight back to uh, like where it is now to go one yeah. rail to shoot the five. Where is he going to land? Oh, he lets it straight, straight in. That's perfect. Perfect, yeah. He's got a nice angle. Yep. Oh, yeah. See, I wouldn't have shot that one with inside for definitely. Too tough. You just made, made your own life tougher. But if you shot it like Tony, just sent a ball, oh. the chance of making that shot is so much higher. Now he's got he's to shoot it in the top right now, right? Can yeah. he get out of there? Yeah, I'm not sure. It looks like he's going to draw out. See. Oh boy. He got it. He got, he got there. Uh, but now he's got to run into a ball. Go to the other view, see what that does. See yeah, I that. think it's a good idea. He'll be fine if he shoots it inside. Oh, he, he, I think he can see that edge of that six there. And the inside is going to help to make the six. Yes. You know? If you hit it fat, you hit the, the nine on the wrong side, though, and it goes up table. Yep. If you hit it fat. Yeah. Yeah, I do. It I always looks like he's gonna load up. I feel like something speed. bad's gonna happen here. Oh wow! See, you got real close. <laughs> I felt like something bad was gonna. Yeah. He can see it. Almost something. Yeah. That could have. That could have. That nine bad. definitely could have hooked it. Yeah. Uh oh. What's the fall. Well, something bad didn't happen on that oh, shot, but the following gosh. one, I I felt it Holy like. Holy <laughs> Toledo! I felt something funny was gonna happen. Ooh. Well, couple. It did. I mean, it blocked him. I, so he didn't want to run into the nine. So that's why he draws. And he gave. Well, he could have gone and forward. He gave him I thought that's what he's gonna do. Uh, why did he draw? He's, 
He could have easily gone forward and avoided the nine. Well, and obviously, he didn't think he was just hit into the hole. Yeah. He thought he just draw straight back. Wow, what a what a swing there. So 15, 12, 14, on his draw, I, I guarantee he was trying to come straight back. Straight. Yeah, of course. So he cut it just a little. And, he, and the nine's there, though. The nine's yeah. there. Right. You so, can't hit the nine. so maybe hey. cheat yeah. it just a little. Just a little. So he's trying to come dead straight on this line yeah. and just come out. And he cut, and he just cut the it hair. just a little in it. Because the of the English? Here. You yep. think it's because of the English? The left English? Travis the ball is that classic, way. Andy. Okay. Travis Bucks and we when we we, uh, we called the match. Uh, was he on Wednesday? No, we called the match last night. But we talked a little bit about that. Yeah. Uh, you got to live and die. You got to live and die with the sword when you're you know you're you're on Andy's side or you're betting on his right. side. Some of that comes into play sometimes. Yep. Mike Banks. You just had on him and said you got to shoot. Mike Banks. Mm -hmm. Right. He, he was on the stream the other night and he was like, uh, I bet on Andy. You got to shoot. Uh, we're not saying he, they're not safety players. You know what I mean? Right. Like, right. The, Shooter's got to shoot. I want to say yeah. the other angle like this. this is, I, is that the two? Uh, do you, are you just laying up here and putting the one behind the three? Is that the is two it, though? Yes. Next? Uh, wow. Man, I might just I might just bank oh, he sold the one. Out. He sold oh, out. I'll just bank the one and That's what I run into the two. Oh my gosh! Just bank the one, run into the two. Did he get him? Yeah. Uh, no. Let me see the other view one more time. I just want to. No, see he didn't this. get him. Definitely not. Definitely can hit shooting the side one million yeah. percent. Yeah, yes, that, I, I, I like banking the one and playing the cue ball into the two. Yeah. Or you, you gotta you gotta make sure you get that safe. That, yeah. you, uh, that the cue ball's on the rail and the one's on the rail. He just right. hit it too hard. Right? Yeah, the, the one is more important than the cue, really. You know what I mean? Because yeah. if the one is on the rail, you still he has, still has to bank it or do something. Right. The one cannot come out. Okay, so this is a little dangerous. You go forward, you got traffic, so you got to come backwards. You got to. So this is this is one of those where are you coming here? No, here. Yeah, I'm going there. So Char is coming here yeah. for the bigger. He's drawn out. Doesn't even matter. Yep. You're definitely not going forward here. That you, you, that you wrap it into the five, the eight, the seven. Oh yeah, too much. So uh, this is still. A I mean, the, the side pocket is on everyone's yeah. mind here. Do see, I come below it? See, Do I for, come... for a shot like this, a lot of people would try to hit close and then get nice, right? I don't mind being here. I can shoot the three from here. Yeah. Why would I care? Right? So then so then the table becomes a lot more open for you. A little more freedom on the shot. And you can shoot that. Yeah, you're free on the two. You don't worry about control as much. Oh, this is different. I don't like that. Hey, you know what? I don't mind it though. That's definitely pocketable here. Yeah. And and now you can take your cue ball. Actually, I think above, you're gonna above, it even above more. Here. You're gonna kill it way more than that. If he was trying that. Yeah. Did Vadim show up yet? We got one, two, three, four. Peaches is almost done. Big game here. That last game was massive. Yeah. 15, 12, 14, 13. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're starting to inch towards that finish line. Yep. Oh, he hit a juicy. Very nice. What a great but shot. But now, yeah, he can draw it. Can he draw it and get on the right side of the six? I this, don't know. This is I a little funny, so. dude. This is kind of like where this the nine was funky. last time, you know what I mean? Might scratch again. <laughs> I think he's going to pound it. Oh, yeah. He, oh. That's no good. That's no good. It's no good. Is that ball frozen? If he hit the eight, I still Stephen even stretch. checking? Stefan, get up and check. Well, I don't think he's going to double kiss it, though. Looks what like is he doing? What uh, is he doing? Selling out is what he's doing. Wow. I cannot believe How do you play that shot like there? That. Barely moving not that? six. Not that. <laughs> Definitely not that. Especially if the ball's not caught fro called frozen. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Big shot here. Stay down. Follow through. That's the game winning shot. I would say the six balls might just make the six. Yes. Tie them. Tie the match up. Yep. Momentum swinger. Is he on the wrong side of the ball here? No. He can draw straight okay. back. Yeah. Just yeah, draw straight can. back. Oh, okay. He had a yeah, good yeah, angle. Yeah. Yeah, great angle. Yeah. Okay, guys. I've seen him miss this shot twice. Not yep. saying these, these are the kind of shots that he's hit. He, fat. he actually is a little touchy because. You don't want to scratch on this shot. Oh, he's, right? he's yeah, feeling he it. Ju he a little bit back and show confidence again. Good. Got good. his confidence back. Yeah. We got a tie score, ladies and gentlemen. 14 all. I did not picture this. 
I thought Andy was going to away, honestly. Listen, Travis, you were out there, and this was the shot. I'm going to show you the shot, Pat, to go up 14 to 9. The cue ball. Oh, my God. The cue ball was oh right here, God. and the nine ball was right here. And, he missed and Andy missed that to go up 14-9. Yep. He yep. got down one, stroked it, and it... it he rattled it. it, 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 it what? To go up 14-9. And I said, if Stefan would have come back and won this match, that's he, the turning four, point. It was 14-9. It would have yes. been 14 missed that one. It was 13 wow. yep. The nine was like that, I swear. I was like, oh my God, we were having a conversation. Chimney crisp. 13-9. Nine right next to the hole, cue ball straight in, and, and somehow, I don't know. We might even ask, he might even miscue, I don't even know. Yeah. It's possible. How could you miscue? You gotta play center I, I don't know. Wow. Oh, well. well, definitely Ooh. a very interesting match. Yeah, pool swingy, for sure. So yeah. I made a comment, Shark, mm -hmm. and I said, hey, Shark, the best player in Colorado's coming, and a guy came in here and he said, no, he's not the best player, Tommy DeLafonso is. I said, listen, buddy, uh, I'll bet you 500 on the bar table, and I'll bet you 10,000 on the big tables. What's your <laughs> assessment on the game? I like it. Both ways? Both ways. All right, let's go. Look bar at this. Table, look, look at this. Bar table, look at this. Race. Oh, the yeah. one. What would big you do? What, what about like a, a 10 ball on each? 10 ball on each. Uh, yeah. Bar table and big table. Yeah. All right, that'd be a cool set. I'll play both. I'll see if I can get it set up. Yeah. Dude, take your time here, Steph. Oh, this is tricky. This is real Dude, hard. Dude, if it's off the rails, yeah, so kick you, it in and listen, win. if you're if you were thinking about hiding the one here, you're playing all cue ball. The, the one's going to do what it does. It's on the rail. You cannot control it, I don't think. Under the five is what I'm saying. You can bank it into the five, but you got to make sure the cue ball. I want to hit this. If I'm going to Shar, you coming up here and coming this way. No, no, no. I'm playing. Dude, I'm tying up the four and letting Andy do something. Uh, oh, this is delicious. What a shot. Oh, what a wow, shot. He worked out wow, nice. dude. He was trying to go behind the eight, dude. What a big shot and a big but moment. I would do what 20 did. I knew the what one was coming said. out the way he shot it. So that's what I was worried. That's why I'm playing all cue ball there. Because I know you. the one is going to be in the middle of the table. Because you can't control the one. Show me what you were doing. He said he was I was doing. coming long here. I was coming long down, Between down this nine. track. Yeah. This track. Okay, so you're hitting a similar type of shot, but you're hitting thicker on the ball and going to the third diamond. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And you, you put less speed on that shot, more naturally. Yeah, if you get on yeah. the proper line, you you hook them in a lot of spots. Well, it's also easier to catch the correct thickness. Oh, nice hit. Good hit. Andy, good hit. And he gets... Get some love. Yep, some love. Here we go. 14-14. Wow. I'm, this is... What a great Funny match. Area. So Stefan's at the table, April Garcia, if you're out there watching, Stefan is at the table. And there's his pink pants. <laughs> there's his pink pants. I don't, because uh, at this top view, you know, all the players, we do have a lefty and a righty, so that's how I tell. Right. I'm, I'm the hand position. Oh, I, can, I always know it's Stefan. And I just, you know, we're paying attention to the match, so we know. But right. for some people that, you know, if they look away from their phone and then they don't know who's at the table, it's a good point. So yeah, yeah. I wanted good to show, to I wanted out. to show, I'm not trying to. I like the jump safe here. Okay, so jump that's the view. one stun behind the eight. Uh, yes, draw, half ball hit on the one and draw behind the eight. Yep. Uh, why is that? I hit it too full. He tried to bank it. I so think. that, yeah, th that was a half ball hit and take your cue yeah, ball right here. Yeah, definitely. And there's a bonus, the one goes away do you, from the... Do you think he tried to bank that to make it? Or I do you mean, think he, how full he, he hit it? Yeah, I think it was a miss, miss hit. Okay. I, I, there's no way I thought he was going for that. I, Stefan's playing the percentage there yeah, most of the guess, time. I, I think guess. everyone is and trying to and draw it back behind the eight there. Right. And he just hit it too full, right? Probably. All right. Uh, this is the key shot of the, uh, the match to me. Make the one and uh, call, it a, call it a day. And take take back the lead. Yeah, they didn't even go to the restroom. Oh, so Andy's taking a break here. A little, mm. little restroom break. The Pink Panther, Tarzan, Stefan Marbury. He's got all. There's actually another one, Thor. <laughs> they also call him Thor. They call him Thor. Yeah. I heard girls call him that. I didn't hear yeah. the guys call. What him is that. it? Even Thor. Skyler. Skyler. I think Thor. Skyler is calling Thor. <laughs> Sky Woodward? Yeah. Thor, Tarzan, I don't know. If we can get a picture of his long hair, if any of you guys have not I seen have it. I have it, I have it. I'll send it to you guys. Well, we, we have, it's on one of the posters here, his long. Oh, yeah? We played that team tournament. 
We played that team tournament against Colorado Springs and we used his picture with the long hair. No, I yeah. don't remember it. Yeah. All right, so ATM is back. Uh, I don't think he sees that Stefan had left, uh, left his spot. The stream. Uh -oh. Good shot. Good shot by Andrew there. That was the game winning shot. Uh, just in case he gets a funny angle, maybe on the 6 8 combo, yeah, but that, sh that should be good. Yeah, it should be fun. Listen, guys, uh, I don't know. Uh oh, this. I was just going to re say, you guys don't know. What a lot right of funny there. things can happen. You guys just showed me a shot that he meant, so anything can happen. Well, 14 9. Yeah. And now we're sitting at 14 all. I mean, this this will feel good for Andy. You need to get out here. I mm -hmm. mean, stop the bleeding a little bit. Yep. Yeah, he's looking at the angle. If you get any kind of off angle here, you've got to control the cue ball and the six a little bit, but yeah. it's relatively close to the pocket. On this time, I'm just telling myself center table. Center table, yeah. Done. You know, yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. I mean, dead perfect. Yeah. Stefan's back in his chair. So you were saying you just mentioned the Pink Panther. ATM Andrew's wearing a Pink Panther hat. Oh yeah, the Pink Panther. Got, they were talking about ATM, my bad. The Pink Panther hat yeah, versus yeah, the okay, pink, yeah, pants. Yeah. Pink, pink pants. Pink pants. <laughs> pink pants. Pink pants. Pink pants. Pink pants. Pink pants. Pink pants. Fifteen fourteen. Andrew regains the lead. Singing pink pants with the pink panther theme. <laughs> Man, so how does Andy change his break spot after he plays two sets, never finds a break, and at the beginning of this, he finds a break, and his three breaks in a row were great, and then he moves his break to the yeah. center of the table. Yeah. But that was a great break that he had, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he moved once and then one. Yeah. Not so good. yeah. But his center ball, like, when he moved, the, the break was great, though. Right. Okay, race to 25, 8K in the middle as we inch towards the finish line. Now nah, we're not near the finish line yet. When they get to the 20s, mm. I think we'll see maybe feel a little bit more pressure. It looks like dry break here. Yep. Oh, good. Straight in. With wow. the open shot. And the five plays to the toughest ball, the six. So, mm. uh, I mean, the key to this rack really was the what, three the three? Ball. The three ball, yeah. Yeah. Get, get good on the three. Played in the lower right corner. Yep. I don't know. It depends how you get on this two ball. He can get nice. I mean, I, yeah, he can get. Ri oh no, maybe he can't. Because his his natural line's going here. Yeah. That's How's true. he getting there? Because it's I, hard to punch this ball. I don't mind playing the combo here. Yeah. Yeah, I think you might have. You to. have to we'll see if he can get good on this. This ball's going towards the eight. Yeah. I wasn't thinking. Definitely. Wow, dude, to, he hit that. He has to play great. the combo. Oh, look where he put the eight. I, I know, don't but, like he, that. but he hit the ball great, though. He had it confident, you know what I mean? He didn't slow roll it. It was a confident Jeez. stroke, and he gets unfortunate. This, this, is, uh, this is tough now to play yeah. position on the three. You're going to have to play for the combo. Yep. Oh, uh, definitely. You're going to have to play. I mean. I'm concerned for the eight now already. I, I, I want to like, be on I want to be on this this side. If not straight in, I want to be on this side of the combo. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Here, um, you're coming You don't have to mess around with the six and nine right now. Oh, he missed it. And he missed well, it he missed it before even thinking. He was thinking too much about the next shot. Yeah. And I think that's what caused him to miss this. If, uh, if ATM runs this out, it would be a good out. Yeah, this is going to be... It's going to be, it'll be a know, real nice out. I yeah. think he's going to just try to put the cue ball. Oh, wow, yeah. they're both thinking about the combo. Yeah, the, maybe he'll... Nudge the eight better. Yeah. But now he can get on the three better. Now he can get the three and play the three yeah. in, this, in this pocket yeah. right here now. Yeah. Dude, and the, the seven's right by the hole, so you can probably get pretty good on the eight. You know what I mean? Because yeah. the eight's going to demand some good shape. Honestly, on this shot, I wouldn't mind still going for the combo. Really? Because because of the seven. Yeah. Come up and you get... you got to hit that two, like, the perfect thickness. Right. You know, just a little off, and you're not going to be What about nice. just drawing out two rails, then, if that's the plan? Yeah, yeah, you can. I like this better. Yeah, yeah. I like this yeah. better. Three minutes. It's perfect. Yeah, I like this. Adios. Bye. Tony's taking a little break ski. Yeah, I like what Stefan did there. Yeah, he did it great. Yeah. All right, so what... 
he's going to make this ball. It's a little thin, but what's the plan for the eight? Like, where do you want to be on this eight? Actually, I think the more important question is where do you want to be on the seven, right? Okay, the seven to get right? to the eight, yeah. So I would want to be here for the seven. To get... Okay, so you want to shoot it from below. Just natural roll, yeah. Okay, and he, dude, he hit that ball great. He yeah. was really thin. So that's where I want to be for the seven. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Okay, does it matter if that eight ball's frozen on, on your I decision? I don't want it to be frozen. That's what I'm saying, but if it is, what's your choice then? Same? Then I might try to, yeah, probably still do this. You could maybe run into it now. Yeah. If it was frozen. Yeah, he could have run into it now. Yeah. But if it's not frozen, and he gets a little funny here now. See, now he can get Well, he can get there, but you just got to hit it with max inside and slow roll it and jeopardize missing it. Mm -hmm. No shooting that way? No, 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 no. no. Too what, scary. Okay, so what about... Do you just use the nine or you just make it and see where you land? I just bump the nine right now. Yeah. Just roll it in, bump the nine, stay around the nine and stun to the same shape zone. Oh, he got... Boom. He got to my shape zone. Well, still not bad. He can still play one rail. Yeah, he can just do one rail, yeah. Yep. So, yeah, he hit it good. Now, I finally think he... This is the best decision he's made. Yeah. It's like, uh, these are the important decisions because they look simple, but they make a big difference. They're everything. Yeah. Especially at this level. I mean, so, yeah. we, we can probably tie five games one way or the other just on decision yeah. making, not like... Uh, Okay, so maybe it's easier than we thought. But he when he lands, he the position. <laughs> position. Okay, Sharik's laughing because I don't think he would have played it that way. But uh, he hit it delicious. Oh my god! Wow! If you're gonna hit it that good, play his. Yeah. Like, oh my god! How good did he hit that? He ball? landed it on a dime. Wow. So wow. maybe it sat a little better than we thought. You know what I'm saying? As yeah. As far as like yeah. shooting it in the corner. Well. Or the other thing is maybe he la he landed perfect. I mean, for your plan, I'll to give go you one round. Twenty shots to land that way. You know, it's tough. To yeah, get and it you that can perfect. click the nine and go in the corner too. Yeah. Or even just scratch in the side if you decelerate. You yeah. Know? So I mean, the way I play one pocket or I make decisions is based on percentages. And right. even at your level here, you're that could be an okay shot, but maybe he hits it one out of ten. Where if you go one rail, you're gonna get on that ball ninety five yeah. percent of the time. Yep. 100% of the time yeah. and maybe not be perfect. Yeah. So, I mean, it's your percentage or your thinking is taking my thinking to another level as far as percentages. Right, right, yeah. Because he's I shooting always... in the corner. It's not, it's, he, he hit it good, but that's being results based. Yeah. Long term, it's going to be better going one rail towards the exactly. eight ball. Exactly. You play his way, you better hit it perfect. If not, you're playing too Yeah, but it's, it's yeah. not the best decision long term. Yeah. yeah. But just think about shooting that shot he just shot under pressure 10 times versus shooting the shot I said 10 times under pressure. Which one puts more pressure on you? The, the other one's automatic. Like you might accidentally right. hit a tooth in and but go But this shot puts a lot more pressure oh, on you to execute. Dude, that's a great way to think about it is that it adds so much pressure because exactly. you got to get perfect. Yeah. Where if you go one rail, you're going to land good. That's yeah. a great way to think about yeah. it. You're, you're thinking about what shot puts more pressure on you. Yeah. Wow. Exactly. What a great way to think about it. All right, where's the three? Is that this right one Right there, yeah. So you're trying to go through the gap between the seven and the nine? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just going to try to go between the three and four. Okay, three and four, so okay. Yeah, just thin it. Just thin it. Okay, oh, so he chose my path, way. but I don't like more it bad because things, of this. Yeah, more bad things can happen going that way. Yeah, you got to... Oh my god, like so many balls to navigate past, you know? Yeah. First is the seven, nine. First is the seven, not really the nine. Then you got to come past the four. But if you just thin it and focus, even if you bump the three, yeah, so you're you, not hooked. You, you know, still an open table. More and more percentages, really. Even if you bump the four, you still got the three. Yeah. Bump the three, bump the four, come in the middle, it's still good. So here's the thing we just learned. We just uh, chose the shot, just eliminates pressure on the next shot. Like, Stefan comes with a really sick shot, but he probably only comes with it one out of ten times, and it's tons of pressure. Or take Sharik's pattern, and it's low pressure, and you get on the ball all the time. And it might be slightly, the eight ball might end up being slightly more demanding, but you're yeah. always going to be on that ball. Yeah, yeah.
Well, if he didn't get perfect, the eight ball is definitely going to be way more demanding than... Yeah. So made what a good you, hit here. Made a good hit. And he's going to get lucky. Wow. Oh, am I going to win? He's either going to get lucky... Well, he can see an edge. Wow, that's still... that's. Oh, it froze. Oh, gross. Stefan didn't get up and see if it's frozen. So know. there's a... Stefan just hit a shot that I would have hit the exact same way, and he snapped, told me that that's the wrong way to hit it. Yeah. I mean, I would say wrong. Lower percentage. Yeah. You know, like... I know, but, like, in my opinion, that makes it wrong long-term. Right. right. Yeah, definitely. So long-term... Because you try to play it that way and try to play the, just the plain Dude, center ball. Yeah, and it adds, adds pressure. You got to hit the right spin. What if Again. the table rolls yes. off? What if you hit it a little too Guys, I like, I like going off this. I just like running into the back of the five here with outside spin and using the 9-7. Yep. That isn't, there's no there's no gap between the 9-7. Perfect. He did the same. I mean, he gets a little unfortunate there. It's okay. I mean, I, I do that a lot. Like when the ball, when I'm trying to hide the ball behind behind two balls that are separated, I go down, and a lot of the time there is no path between them from the right angle, right? So right. you got the whole. It's almost like it's behind five balls. Right. But all, everyone's saying, oh, like, you know, there's a there's a path there, but not really on some. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. On some certain yeah. shots like that, like on yeah. the back of the five, there I thought was money. If you hit the back of the five, yeah, you could, you could, the three could go up a few more inches, but there's no path there. Right. He, he has Crazy. to kick. What do yeah. you guys like here? This is funny for Andy. Half ball hit. Is he going for the bank? Just send the three between. Yeah, just like that. Well, just like that. The, he hit it good. Just, yeah. I think he can just see that like here too. That was a shot. Yeah, you can see it. This, that's why I said she just hit it a little too hard. But this ball is going to squirt out. Like, you, you get a good hit here. The three just goes right towards the rail, and it's hard not to sell out. Unless you can hit it thin enough. Yeah. Is he, is he going two rails behind the four? Yeah. Oh, he can, dude, he can hit it thick. I would have, I would have, uh, tell you what, you I have would have run into much more here. outside English on that. Yeah. Try to go behind the four. Definitely yeah. going to try to separate the five and nine right there. Yeah, this, he's looking at it. This should throw high. Just separate them and run out. I'm in there mining it for me. Yeah, I don't think he should be focused on making the nine. I just, think it's, uh, I think it's pretty thin. He's got to cut it with quite a... Bit of it's really thin, I think. Oh, yeah, it's thinner than uh, yeah, it's what thinner I thought. Than it looks. So he's got to like slow spin it. Yep. He's jacked up a little bit. Oh, this is very tough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It he was played tough. the right shot. Yeah. He played the right shot. And now he's uh, wired, not wired, but the 5 9 looks good. Yeah. So uh, this is a little different than when uh, Stefan had ball in hand and he had safety. Yeah. I mean, he froze him to the ball compared. You know, right here, just clipping the 9 in. Disturbing the 5 9 might not be a bad option because he has to break up the 5 9 to get out. Yeah, so I don't yeah, know he's gonna do that. that. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna do that. He's gonna move it. You want to no, move it about a half inch? Going. No, I don't. Oh, maybe you're right. I mean, if he can see the two railers, go ahead and shoot. It. Yeah, oh, he made it. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh, he hits it too full. Ooh. Oh, it goes though. Yeah. I mean, this 5-9, you got to shoot this from underneath to make it, I think. To me, I mean, well, yeah, it's, it's going to throw high. I don't it doesn't think look it's that dead. good. Oh, it's tough. For yeah. it to be dead, I think you got to shoot it from underneath the ball. Oh, he's Actually, the other way. Isn't he trying to hit the ball underneath this way? No, I think he's got to shoot it this way. I think to make it, his cue ball has to be... Oh, wait, where's the cursor? I think it's got to be somewhere here. Oh, I thought that way because I thought it was so throwing more this straight. way. Yeah, no. It looks like the nine is going here. Yeah, I want to throw it more that way? Throw wouldn't really be a... Uh, oh, you think the gap's too much? Yeah, the I gap's too I got big you. right now. Okay, so yeah. the gap's too big. Yeah. Dude, I don't like what Andy did there. I think you tried to run out. I mean, now you yeah, get a... I don't know. Now Stefan has a chance to get lucky. And that he did. was a shot. You know what I mean? That's got, that deserves fire. Fire. That was awesome. That was awesome. That was uh, an Efren esque. That was sick. Is this what? Is that it? Wait, fire was this oh, one. Fire. fire, yeah. Wow, that was awesome. I mean, you you gotta you gotta play the ball in hand, make those two balls, and take a flyer at the nine, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, Stefan's well, gonna see. Maybe he didn't like the five nine. Well, I guess we're gonna find out here. Yeah. The five nine. Yeah. What a shot that uh, Stefan just came. Yeah, yeah, I know that was awesome. I mean, you're trying to if you're you're trying to run out there if you're. Or at least shoot the nine. If you're ATM, right? You're not gonna try to three foul him there, are you? So right here. I don't here, think so. I really thought he should have took on the two about three innings ago when he could have bumped the five and, and, pl and played for the out. 
I know yeah. I know he sewed them up pretty good though. Yeah. Right here, I'm just gonna focus on the cue ball here. The three ball, I don't know, near the seven or behind. I don't know where you can get it, but I'm just gonna pinch draw it. Oh, sorry, let the cue ball go. Oh, did he get straight. a good hit? No. He hasn't shot. Yeah. Stefan got a good hit. Oh, yeah. ATM got, got a good hit. hit. Yeah. That's pretty good. Ooh, that's a good shot, too. Yeah. He's gonna be. I didn't see that, but yeah. That's a good shot. We had anything for the number? No. Okay. I just wanted to know. Oh, sorry, dude, I got sidetracked. Yeah, no, that's Yeah, no, I did He hit it pretty good, didn't he? Yeah. All right, dude, you can have two shots. Two shots in four. You got me. Dude, you know what? I'm on stream, I'm saying nothing. We can talk about it later. Mm. Wow. Is that 5-9 wired now? I don't. Andy didn't take it on, man. He could have taken two shots, so he must hit it a little bit. Okay, to me, it looks like it's uh, it's gonna hit here. But there's a little but bit. But he of can a definitely gap. go for that. There's a gap in there. You I mean, can that's exactly close. Swing at it. Yeah, there's yeah, a exactly. gap in the five nine. He can exactly. definitely cut the five. Yeah. And make the nine. Yep. They they hate it, dude. They there's something funny about it because of the table. They keep passing on it. Maybe because the score is 15 15. Because, uh, hey, dude, Andy, Andy had this ball right here and a ball right here and then passed on it. And he would have been shooting it. So they must hate it, dude. Guys, I think it lines up pretty far from the pocket. Like somewhere yeah. here. Because, dude, it looks like they both hate right it. Right there. So it, it is a little iffy. What about playing a. Like when you get to it, why don't you play a carom? Cut the nine in and play a carom on the seven. So you, yep. it's yep. like a yep. safety ball. I, I yep. mean, I like that. So. The best thing would in be of the table. leave the cue ball here, yes, and then play the five into the nine and carry the seven. Yeah, yep. I think that's the shot. And that five. Oh, no. See, they think too many balls ahead. See, he's thinking about that. Yeah, shouldn't Stephen miss that body ball. Which right there is is sick right now. I mean, from here, you gotta play the carom. I think that was a little bit of overthinking. I think he's saying, and, and, and I think he's and, and cutting just, the nine. Yeah, he's just, he don't he's, care he's about the carom. Right here. <laughs> I was just saying, dude, the, the carom, the nine might go on the side. Yeah. Oh, and he way overcut it. Way overcut he, it. Did he make the seven? And he scratched. Oh my God. No. And he left the five nine bank. He's gonna bank the five into the nine. Yep. Well, there you go. That, that combo was just. Well, he hit it pretty bad. He got it bad, and he played it fast. Is this double kiss here? No, he hit it good. Watch yeah. the cue ball. No, he's fine. That was a good shot. Wow, 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 wow. Real wow, lucky wow, there. Wow. Real big roll there. Yep. The nine missed the nine. He and banks the seven. Yeah, he banks the nine into the seven. Shoot. Are you guys ready now? 16-15, Andrew got a little roll there. That was a hell of a game. There was a lot of exchanges on that three yeah. ball. A lot of exchanges. I think they were both overthinking and then he, Andrew just fired it, you know. A lot of overthinking about the five nine. Both of them. Yeah, both. I like shooting the, all day, playing the carom on the seven and then playing the, the, yeah, that's the, the combo shot. on the five nine. Yeah, that's a good shot. And I'm actually, I'm actually playing the seven all all day. Yeah, yeah, the definitely. Ball. Me too. And then if the nine, I get bonus. Yep. Fall down. Look at this break. Wow. And that's for a better break than that. Beautiful break right there. Hmm. Don't worry, Prem, I got you. I got a picture of uh, Stefan with long hair. Okay, Andrew at the table trying to take a two-game lead. He's got a maximum punishment here after that good roll we got. Yeah. Overcut the nine and went one rail and, and made the seven. Man, that was uh But, but Stefan had control with the three ball. You go back, yeah, he, he missed, missed the three ball. Yeah. That was, not, you know, you're not supposed to miss that. Mm -hmm. And it gave him opportunity. It works out like that a lot yeah. in pool. Not supposed to miss that. And he missed that by quite a bit. Yeah, he it's did. It's not like he read it. This is going to be 17 15.
I don't see any problems here. Yeah. Unless he gets dead straight in, I don't think he got a nice little angle. Go forward off the rail and down table. Yeah. Yep. 17 15, Andrew. Well, yeah, yeah I was about to say. <laughs> seventh nice out there by Andrew. He found a break and uh, plus one off the roll here now. Looking for plus two. He plays fast, he racks him fast. Watch out, Andrew catches a good little break here. Something to think about, Stefan over there thinking about that three ball. Real, I mean, I he, he bought that shot too by two really good, three good innings of, of hitting safeties. and then safety and then you're rewarded. Three good safeties, yeah. That's another time where you need to, hey, slow down a little bit exactly. and I, I won the battle of the safe. Yeah. I've got the first real shot here. Decide and commit. Like, yes. Well, yeah. Whoa, well, I got I, I, I got this shot. I earned yeah. this shot. Three exactly. innings of a brutal battle. I earned this shot. I got to take my time and make that yeah. shot. And the score was tied. That's yes. a big shot. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely push out coming here, Shar. Definitely yep. a push out coming yep. here. Where do you push? I'm not going to push out too brutal here. I, I, if I'm Stefan, I'm, well, yeah, is it works. a natural nine? Is that a big pocket for the cross bank on the nine, or is it too flat? It looks too flat. Uh, I think he's going to play a safe. Yeah, it's. I'm looking at it. It's too flat. I'm just going to roll this I, with left English. Let the one hit the nine use the six to block the one. Are you trying to put the cue ball back down by the three and the deuce? Well, you, you I don't even have to get there. Yeah, like the even here. Bringing the cue ball back here is nice. Well, look at that. That was pretty, ooh. He left a 1-9. Jeez. I don't know yeah, if he hit enough of that. Yeah, I don't yeah, think he can, yeah. I don't think he can. Dude, I've, I've done this before. Where's a uh, scoop? I know it's one of these, right? Yeah, just click it, see if it opens up. Nope. There we go. No, this is this one. Oh. Here, I'll see if words done. Well, he almost made it. All right, you should be able to make this though. Oh. So, Stefan took on the one, right? He took on the one, yeah, and, he, he, and he, he looked like he, he was going for the nine now. Did, did he not or no? No, 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 he didn't. He didn't. Well, LJ's. this is a tough one. Tough four yeah. and five, the two so far away. Well, I'm looking at the four or five now. It's definitely, you can make it off the carom. You can definitely come off the four and just pot the five pretty easily, actually. But you got to get you got to get the proper shape. You got to get shape oh, on the okay, two first. Okay. He's a, it's a little funny because of the six ball. If you if the cue ball goes into the nine here, you're gonna be hooked yeah. on the six. Yeah, it was just there. It's just there, yeah. On like the wrong and side. the six ball is playing like a beach ball right now, coming off that if he's right. <laughs> oh, like he, hit how it, you said uh, that. he hit it really he's good. He's playing like a beach ball. <laughs> Huge. Yeah. So you do, definitely don't want to land. You do not want to land on you want to keep it on this side right here for the carom. Yeah. You get if he comes off here. And comes around here. There's no carom up from that angle. <laughs> you know where I do not want to land? I'll yeah. show you where I do not want to land. Here. Right there. I don't want to land there. No landing behind the seven. Anywhere else, I would be like, yeah. And you're right. I got to land above that line that you Your mentioned. Buddy, KR Prim says that this is what I'm saying. I don't like Yeah, I don't like the carom from this side. I'm looking at it. If you're on the other side, you're gonna bump the four first. So if you're coming from this Ooh, angle, the wow. five is moving. It this was bad. It was really easy to make from on the left side of the table. I mean, 90% is gonna miss this, I think. Yeah, because the five's moving. 
The five's moving. Oh, he hit it. Wow. He hit it good and muggedy controlled the speed on the four. Well, I guess I'm wrong. I might have to give him a little fire. You guys don't know how difficult that was that from was that awesome. angle. He played to perfection. Good shot. That was a good shot. I like that. A lot of people like to roll forward there on the yeah. six. Yeah, and he's already got built in shape with a stop shot. Mm -hmm. We love stop shots, don't we? Mm hmm. We love stop shots. The less your cue ball moves, the better. The better you, the you better are, right? Yeah. Yep. Keep it simple. Yep. Right, Char? Mm -hmm. Keep it simple, dude. Definitely. All right, 17. 16. Nice little out there, nice recovery. Yep. Very good, very close. Whew. Pressure is on. <laughs> it's gonna start mounting for sure, right? Yep. And when the match is tight like that, let's say it gets into 20, 20, 21, 21, it's gonna come down to a, a colossal mistake. And that'll separate the last few games is what I, I'm yep. predicting. Yep. It's gonna be a decision. And if it's not a mistake, then it's gonna be the break. Yeah. Someone's gonna catch you, catch you here on the break. Mark Castler, yeah, I did, I did hit the fire, dude. Did, did, did you not see it? That's for you, Mark K. <laughs> Cue ball a little loose there. Okay. Does he have a shot? Oh, wow! Got the bumpy. three bumped. But look at the two and the three. Real, wow. the two. Yeah, the two is mangled, tied up over there. Oh, what do you do here? Hmm. Definitely, if you're gonna shoot the one, you got to come down and get down somewhere down for the bank. You, you know, know you make, and then you're coming here, right? Yeah. Into this area, but then what's your plan? See, because yeah. of the three, this is still tied. Wow. This is tough. What do you think, Shar? Do you even try to pocket the one? I here? might not even try the one. I I might uh, overcut it. Yes. Overcut it and oh look at this! I look don't at like this! That. He shot it. He didn't take the one on. Well, I might have, uh, you know, he cut got the it? one like that. That's what I was thinking. Overcut. And let the cue ball go, break break these up, and just play a safety. You know. Yeah. At least dis dislodge the balls. He's. Oh, what a shot! What a shot! He he massed it, wow. swerved it. But it worked came out up a little empty. Yeah, yeah, came up a little empty. It was a hell of a shot. He went for the make and the breakout. Yeah, and it was it was almost executed perfectly. Mm -hmm. But once again, the three ball is is the is going to be yeah the deciding who, who can hook off the three ball is going to win this game, I believe. Right. Okay, he got a rail. He got a rail. The eight got a rail. Here we go with this three ball war here now. There's no pressure right now. Like, you know. I don't know if Stefan can come. Make this and get right here. Make the two and then get the cue ball. Oh, sorry. I drew that bad. Uh, clear that. Yeah. I don't know if you can make. Where is that? Yeah. Make the two and come right this way. And then what's the plan? And then you hit the, behind the, eight. the three and use the eight. Yeah. Or just, you can you can shoot the three full into the bottom of the seven and, and plant them right behind the exactly. eight. The three and the seven leaves exactly. town. I think that's the shot. He's gonna go for it. Oh, oh, I saw what he was doing. What was he doing? He was playing. He was playing a four rail shot. He was going here, 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 and and trying to put the cue ball. I guarantee he was trying to put the two ball there and leave the cue ball right there. But it hit traffic. Oh, okay. wow. Pretty creative, but difficult to execute. And now the first one to the three, I said it's gonna win this game. You can shoot this three straight into the, It's so the three clicks into the seven, back into the rail, and the three's going this way. Yeah. He does, does he know the shot? It looks like he's playing, I'm just trying to skinny he's it. He's spinning it, yeah. No, well, he hit he it. Knows. Oh, and he sold out. And I... No, he didn't, he got, wow, real fortunate there. He was trying to play safe behind the eight. Yeah, he wow. was not trying that, guys. He was trying to hook him behind the eight, and if he would have played it with proper safe, he would have been hooked. Yeah, that, another, that was a huge. That roll. was a huge, huge roll. roll. Huge roll right there. Because you wanted to play it safe, and you hit it so bad that you ended up getting a shot. Yeah. <laughs> to get out. Wow, that was a huge roll. 
huge roll right there, guys. Yeah. Yeah, he was trying to plant this cue ball right here, mm -hmm. and he wasn't worried about the three and the seven. Right. And anyway, he sold out. He would have sold out. Oh, look at that. Uh, he got, he got yeah. a little funny, but it's still, he's still makeable here. Yeah. He hit it with good speed. Yeah. He missed he it, but the speed, a good speed. Good shot by Andy. He, he knew it was close, so he hit, he eased it in. Good shot. 18, 16. Huge roll there on the on the three ball, though. Yeah. Oh. If he plays the proper safe and the three falls, yeah. Can, I mean, he's hooked. He's dead yeah. hooked. Yeah. Instead, he makes the three, sells out if he would have not made the three. Right. Yeah. Big roll there, especially when we're getting. Closer to the to the finish yeah. line here. But you know, I like each I, roll will be magnified now. Right. We won't remember a roll when it was seven to eight or or yeah. five to two. We're we're, we're, over, we're way past it. Yeah, these ones are going to be the ones right. that we're going to remember for sure. But I didn't like the shot, the Stefan shot on the two. Like I would have gone, I would have tried to make the two and get on the three to play the first save. Yes. You know. And and what happens if you let's say you do rattle the two, the two's hanging here and you play all cue ball, right? And your cue ball's exactly. coming here. And now he has to get back to the three. I like yeah, he he played kind of a crazy sh loose shot. Yeah. He played a little bit of a loose shot there. Right. <laughs> Is that a dry break? No, he made a he made a ball, didn't he? Three, five. No, it's, no, it's dry nine. break. Yeah, dry break. Yeah. Stefan's pushing out. Nice. What's that push? I, I Did he know. just push and hook himself? <laughs> I guess yeah, you can see a little not, bit. That of was it. not a good push. Yeah. No, he's hooked. He's got a kick. Oh, I don't. I disagree with that. You, I mean, no. what's wrong with pushing? What's wrong with pushing it right here? Right. Uh, you know what I mean? Yep. And make some options. Make him do a tough safe. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, there's nothing easy about that. Yeah, this was. Wow. That, this was not. That is gonna cost. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wow, I don't think he has a pocket, Char. He's yeah, gonna, that's he's, what I said. He's, he's banking the one. No, he's going to play safe. He's going to play safe. He has to, right? Nope. He, nope. Banked, he it. banked it out. I like that, too. Ball in hand. Oh, that I don't like that. Stefan's push. Oh, there was man. no thought into it. You know, I really don't think there was. I mean, even if he does, what you want him right here to see it? Why not put him down here on the rail? Yeah. Or here. If you leave it here, you can easily clip and hide behind the six. Too. Yeah. Wow. So that just opened up the rack, that bank. Char, this is funny. How oh, did He's going to have to wow. shoot. I know it's uh, the angle is going the opposite direction from which he wants the cue ball to go in. Uh, I bet you Andy tries to take this cue ball here like this. That's what I'm going to predict. And back into play. I don't think he this can shoot the three tough, in the though. corner. We got to get him back. That's tough. Dude, so he stopped losing them. Every time I leave him over here, we lose them. Well, we got a whole case of them now, just in case. Just in case. So this is a tough shot. He got really out of line here for, yeah. for a pretty fairly easy shape coming off the yeah. two. The th the, so he only has one pocket, really. It's the side. I think he's gonna hit my gap here. He, he's gonna fire. Oh, he's, he's gonna fire. It. It. Look at the way he's uh, feathering oh, that oh, shot. And he's wow. he gets a double kiss off the five and hooks himself. Little roll. I'm gonna call that a roll. A little bit of a well, roll. Well, he, he double kiss the five and then it, uh, the inside English grabbed off of that second rail. And yeah. Wow. Well, I uh, Andy shoots though. Likes to shoot those shots. Big that could have been a big swing here for uh yeah. Stefan if he gets back to this table. Wow. Because yeah. that push out, uh, I have zero clue what he was doing. We need to ask him. <laughs> I know. I no idea. I think he's like pushes himself to a real tough kick. Yeah. Like you said there, I don't think there was any thought to it. Yeah. Wow. Good hit. 
Good hit. Right. Stephen Real. has to get out here. Yeah, you got to keep it a one. The pressure's going to pressure mount. On him. If you get separated here by three games, could get yeah. funny. You know what I mean? Yep. I mean, it plays real nice. Just center ball to the center of the table. Yep. Beauty. Good shot. Good shot. Got to make sure you get back to the middle of the table now. Mm -hmm. Anywhere between the six and the seven. I love it. Yeah. Maybe even higher. You can go higher. Just air on the side of getting above the six. Yeah. Landing straight would be nice. Was there left English on that one? It had to have been. He had to have put There's that. no way we were going to go I was seven, gonna, right? I was going to say check it with some right and, and hold right. the angle straight up. I thought up. a natural roll was going to come in between those two balls. Oh, boy. Stefan's feeling a big opportunity here for, uh, for uh, Andrew. That was given to him right there. Wow. What was that? Maybe just a little lack of focus, maybe pressure. That was big. Wow. That was huge. Wide open table, on the balls, and just kind of jammed it. 19-16, Andrew spreading out a little bit here. Wow. I wow. think I think it I when you said did he put left hand English on it? I think when he bumped the seven it kind of jar, it sharked him a little bit. Yeah, I, I really that's did. why he missed the six. Yes, right? exactly. Because he was like, whoa. That's what I thought. Like, how did the cue ball get there? And and it went into the next shot. Yep, I totally agree with you. Totally, because that's exactly what I feel like. Yeah. Because I, all day I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm coming off here and this my angle straight exactly through it. He's not supposed to be going in here. He, he had that English. Yep. And he's thinking, mate, you know, he lost mm -hmm. control of his cue ball little and it, yeah. it's in his mind a little bit. Yep. All right, totally great agree. break here. Great break by Andrew. He's got a thin cut, but he can definitely take this on. He can definitely take it on. He's got this all this area to play shape on. It right. don't even matter if he comes down here. All right. So he's got a little bit of freedom just to make this ball. I don't think he wraps it around in the traffic. Just, just don't scratch on the side by checking it with some left. That's the only thing I think that can go wrong here. If he puts a little left spin on, possibly could flirt with the side pocket. Yeah. I don't think he draws this. It's too thin of a draw. Maybe. I think he can easily roll this in. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, he, he can get anywhere down there. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. I know the distance is there, but right. the amount of air he could have played it. Johnny Amo, what's up? Are you are you out here yet? The poker game is about to start, buddy. <laughs> John Amo. <laughs> <laughs> Amo said he dropped one of those $28 shakes in the shitter. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been it. Amo, are you coming to the card game? They're asking, dude. Bridget, what's Bridget says? Slow down, Stefan. Breathe. Mm -hmm. Re re regather yourself. Yep. Slow the game down a little bit from here. Yeah. But be comfortable with your pace. Don't don't over slow it. Don't relax. Breathe. Yeah, Mark K. The poker game is about to start. You're invited. I've, did I ever invite you? Every Saturday and Wednesday, dude. And it's juicy. We don't play seven card stud like we used to though. No seven card stud. You could call it though. They might play it. Uh oh. What just happened? Yeah, I think both guys are feeling it. Feeling a little bit? Honestly, that's that. it has to be that. All right, Steph. Um, you got to regroup. I, I'm, sh I'm shooting out here. Uh, Char, I'm, I'm checking with a little bit of English. I, I got I to gotta hold this coming back here like this, right? If I go long, the three goes in the corner. You're playing it like that? Are you Man, going? I'm playing running English. And uh, coming. Oh, this way. And coming for the three in the side. Whoa. Uh, in between the Sorry. four and eight. Yeah. yeah, I like your way. Sorry. Yeah, I, I just saw it. I just saw when you said that. Coming yeah. between the four and eight, playing three in the side. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Because yeah. that inside English right there. Ooh. Is Stefan jumping up a little bit yeah. and jamming it? Did you see how his cue went? Yes. It was kind of It almost came off his bridge hand. Yeah. Yep. That's what happened on the six ball he just missed, too. Yeah, the, the cue came off a little bit. He kind of like moved his body into it. Mm, okay. This is a fairly easy. I think I know uh, what to tell him. He, he, yeah, his whole arm was moving into the stroke yep. right there. 
Man, I think I would have taken that shot on right there. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think he felt the scratch might have been on, but it wasn't, you know. And you're giving an ATM an opportunity to jump and play a hook. And get lucky. Yeah. Wow, I really thought Stefan plays the ball here and yeah, and, and, Charles, and yeah. Charles to come right here. Yes, exactly. So it was pretty natural Just too. Like and yeah. you could have hit it without, you know, with a little bit of outside, little, outside English. Yeah, I was thinking initially I was going to check it with inside, Oof, hold it up. Yeah. Just because I come back, I, I was thinking of two pockets. I, I got the side and the. Right. See if Stefan gets a, a roll here. I guess he does. He did. He sure did. Full ball hooked. Yeah. Wow. I think the pressure's uh, squeaking up on him a little bit. Yeah. It feels like the, it feels like something got tight. I don't know. Yeah. Everyone out there, did you feel like something got tight? Yeah. He, he looks a little tight. I mean. John Amos says, you can't wear pink capris and not get out here, dude. <laughs> you're not allowed to. You must get out if you're wearing pink capris. <laughs> That's funny. Bridget says they're under pressure. Well, he, he might need this. All right. Um, I, this is where I regroup and can start my very precise comeback here. This is a little touchy shot, but he's got to get this down. Rolling it outside. You want to roll with outside for that close to the rail, yeah. Char? Yeah, I think you can make it. And can you get the cue ball coming back at this angle? Yeah. From from Definitely. this close to the rail. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to practice that because that's an uncomfortable shot for me. Because yeah. I feel like I'm spinning it too much, and by the time and I'm hitting it easy, by the time I get to my contact point, mm -hmm. I'm off track. I like shooting. Oh, this. you know why? Yeah. Probably because you use a high deflection cue. Oh, you mother. You know, I use a low deflection cue, so I aim very close to the pocket. Wow, good point. You aim far from the ball. See, that's why I like certain shots. But certain shots are tough for me and they're easy for you. It, it works both ways. You gotta got pick you. your, pick I your didn't poison. Even, you I know? didn't even think of that. Because these are when I'm close to the rim. No, I don't mind shooting I, if I got full full bridge. But very difficult without. Yeah. See, I, oh. See, I know this because I've shot with both types of cues. So. Uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't shoot that shot with a uh, high deflection cue. Well, Stefan uh, missed that one. Yeah, time. I. That was interesting. He watch the five ball. Old. Watch the five yeah. ball. Watch the five ball. Watch the five ball. I think he's in. I think he's okay. Yeah, he's okay. No, he isn't. He, he's got a half he's ball hit. No, he's hooked. He's hooked. Hey, this guy has to wake up. That looks like you can see it on both of our views, and he and he, he can only see a smidge of the three. And he's got the jump cue up. Stefan looks like he needs to climb up. He looks tired, actually. Uh -oh. oh, this is an opportunity for Steph. Maybe a quick game here. <laughs> you know something, Tony? Looking at the table and not the camera, he looks much easier. <laughs> it's funny. He looks small. Yeah, it does. On the camera, he looks so big. Wow, you might have to swing at this. Uh, I'm, swinging I don't know. At it. I'm definitely swinging at it. Yeah. I mean, what safety are you going to play? Everything's tough. Just go for it. I I see it safe. If you want to bank this straight in here like this and follow the cue ball. Right. Try to follow it here behind the but nine. But it's not going to be, oh, wow, a one pocket safe. Yeah. Let's see if he sees that. Oh, what a yeah, shot. Yeah, you got to go for that, man. Dude. That's fire. That was huge. You had to go for that. That was, and he did fire it. He swung it, dude. He did fire it too, dude. See, okay, on 19, a combo 17. like that, on a combo like that, smashing it makes sense because the distance is so big. You need that speed. Yeah, but the one with case, the ball in hand, you don't need to hit that speed. Dude. Right. But he did, you know. Big game for Stefan, 1917. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, 1917, race to 25, 8,000 in the middle. Shots are flying everywhere here. That's right, guys. Shot, <laughs> shot, 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 shots. <laughs> Woo! We got spectators that are having a good time. Thank you.
He hit him solid. He hit him real solid wow. there. Two That's ball. The two ball is going to come down and give him a shot. Ah, uh, it's real, real it's nice. Pretty steep. Pretty steep. The well, ta the table looks hot. This is where I go up and down. If it's any consolation, I told Stephen to practice this shot. This before it, the match. So this is def this is definitely pocket this, and this is definitely coming here and stroking it and coming all the way back. Let me look at the angle. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. So here it looks like. It's not as steep, but on the table, oh, it's, it's much steeper. steeper. Yeah, it's yeah. steeper there. But I don't mind this. It's just center ball. Yeah. Stroke it. Just stroke it. And he hit it good. He hit it good. good. And you it. know what's the biggest part? Just don't he get straight still. in. Is he going to get straight still in? still on that one. Nope, he's going to have just a little angle. He didn't jump up on that shot. Yeah. That's nice. He's got a pretty big window here, Char. Anywhere, uh, if he can just cinch it here, it's fine. Yeah, he's straight in on the four. I agree. Uh, I think you can go forward here too, overcut it just a little with with nice speed and come here too if you want. Mm -hmm. I like that. Just cheat that pocket a little bit, just a little bit with side. nice with nice speed. Yeah, I like that. I think he could have even really, done it more. He could have. You could have over, way thinner. Overcut it to get quite more a cue ball more. action, right? Yep, yeah. Yep. All right, this is the shot of the rack right here. This is the game winner. Oh, what a Boom. shot. Big time. That's big time. That must have helped his confidence, you know, making a ball like that. Oh, he's got just, yeah, he can just stop this. He doesn't need to do anything. He's got to be a little uh, careful here because he's that, that bridge length before this was way too long. He shortened it up. Good. Good shot. He he tried yeah. to breach from the rail at first. See, he got up. He, and yeah, then he got he up. And, it. Yeah, it's good. Take your time. I like that. Keep it simple. Yep. I was thinking if I was straight in, I was gonna. Draw it all the way back, but no way. I, I like, think he had angled to even stun it out off one cushion. Yes. Oh, he hit that good. Yeah. What an answer. Good. What did that that combo to get 1917, wow. Matt to go down 2016, and then a break and run. And yeah. then a nice, a good shot. 19, You're right. I didn't 18. think about that. It could have been 2016, and now it's 1918. That's big. Huge. That's huge. huge. Especially towards the end of the, you know. I will go back, though. If this turns out in Stefan's favor, yeah, I will, that shot, I, will that go, one shot. I, I am definitely going back to that to one all nine the people ball that then. were sweating when the cue ball was here and the nine ball was right here. Yeah, to go up fourteen to nine. I'm not going to yeah. let him forget about it. Yep. But that's only if Stefan wins. Yep. If, if he, it's, it's a mute point if if Andrew mm -hmm. it takes this off. Uh, Johnny Mo says his stance is 18 feet wide. <laughs> Let's go, Steph. Bridget says fire. Fire for Bridget. The Eags, Igor says fire. Fire at it. All right, dry break. Dry break, but uh, separation. One's down. Looks like might even be hooked. Uh, yeah, he's hooked, so he's going to have to push out. There's no way he goes and swerves this and, and plays that shot. Yeah, he's pushing. He's just going to bump the six. If the safe is hard, I'm gonna let Andy execute here. I, I might not even take it because of, because of the score. I, I might make Andy come all the way down table. I mean, where's the safe behind the eight and the nine? I don't like this shot. This is too close to the rail to control the cue ball, well, I believe. Even if I did play I, a safe, it would be a loose think, one. I would try to get it that tight. I'd just focus on uh, leaving my cue ball right here. That's it. Look at this shot. I think he sold out though. Oh, yeah. He sold out. Yeah. I would have just focused on the cue ball being he here. He sold that out. And let the one be anywhere around here. Just shoot. You got no choice but to play a looser safety in that situation. Yes. And this actually is a wall. Just a big ball. Imagine that as a wall of balls if you're right here. Yeah. yeah it is, really. You yeah. block a lot of things when you go look at that. Yeah. So he sold out. Let's see if and Andy getting on. That's okay. Looks like I, I think, think he might play a safe here. I, I think I think he's gonna play this this way, the cue ball here. 
Yep. For the three, I'm not. I definitely don't think he can go forward because it's too you think hard. He's gonna attack. Wow. I, I think oh, he's tough. Yeah, he's tough. If you go forward here, you got to go all the way across the table. There's a side pocket there, and all then right. back to get down the three. All right. He might. Is he gonna yeah, roll in he's... with speed or? Yeah, I would. I would. I would go for this. Oh, look what happened though. I would kind of go for this, but he. he... I think he sold out. I hit it much thicker than it him did. I, I, he definitely gave him a real first shot here, if, if not straight in. Let's see what that other look, view looks like. Yeah, I can't really see much, but... Can't tell from here. It's real close. I, I think he hit it real first, but... I, I think he has a real first shot. But making it is tough. Yeah, making the real first is a little tough. He's gotta hit it pretty thin. You know what? He has to hit it real thin, doesn't he? That's a shot that's not too bad, but it's just a containing shot. Just kick it real soft. And, and hit, it it, hit it fast. Hit it fast. Hit it full and just hit it leave full. the cubal in two right there. Okay. You know, it's just a containing shot, but wow. Watch the side pocket. Watch the side pocket. Wow. Watch the side pocket. Another kick shot and another punishment. Wow, it didn't turn out well. He hit that really and good. And you know what's the worst part? Now it's easy for ATM to get on the four. Yes. Yes. That's like the only thing you don't want to do. Because the four is kind of like the insurance for the wreck. Yeah. And now with ball in hand, he's going to land perfect on the four. Yeah. That, oh, he's jacked up a little bit on the seven. I don't think it's a problem, though. Yeah, I think He'll just scoot across for the five. Play the five by his hand there. Good shot. Don't want to end up on the rail. He's fine. I don't know. He's not out, you know. I, seven to the eight. I yeah. don't know. We'll see where he lands on this yeah. seven. Nine ball could play into a three rail position on the eight if he hits it uh, with exactly. a little spin, hits it long. Mm -hmm. I think he'd be better off landing straight, straight in. Yeah. That's a pretty good angle. He should be able to get to the first diamond or the second diamond below the side pocket yep. on the third rail. Mm -hmm. Nine ball. I said it. See? I said it. See? I said That's it. That's why I, I know he wasn't really out on this one. Just, I, I said just, it. The nine was like a beach ball. <laughs> Are you... That's a good shot. Good shot That's by good Andy. Shot. I'm going to give him a little fire there. Nice little return there. Hey, Stefan's got a shot though. Right. And he's got a jump cue in hand. He's going for the jump. How you come off that rail and how much spin you're using, if it comes long, the nine ball played pretty big. I would play much more high than spin on that shot. Yes, to, to tighten it. Avoid the nine. Yeah, yes. I don't mind the steepness on this. I want to exactly. hit here. I want to exactly. hit right anywhere here. Yep. I think these are the little things that a lot of players do not know, you know. Yeah. How to manipulate the angle of the three rails, you know. They always play with a lot of spin, but you can actually play more high and less spin and... And tighten your angle. Yeah, tighten yep. the angle. This would be the shot of the match if he pockets this eight ball and yep. ties it at 19. I'm... Definitely. Oh. And he missed it. It's going to be 20 to 18, Andrew. Andrew played a nice safety there. Good shot. Yep. 20 to 18, we're down the home stretch. It's getting close. ATM needs five, and Stefan needs seven. Twenty eighteen, Char. It's getting close. Does he need a timeout? Twenty to eighteen. Daryl, the mayor of Grand Junction. What's up, dude? 
We got the mayor on the, the stream. You guys wow. ever make it to Grand Junction? Make sure you go see the mayor, Daryl Salas. He likes to play some one pocket. Nice. At Game Land, I think it's called. Is it called Game Land? Up there. Okay, and he's at the table. Let's give you a little view. Double kiss. Oh, he's, he's going to sell shot. out. This is a shot, big time. <laughs> Game day. Does it five go by the six? <laughs> yes, it does. It definitely, five goes in the corner right by where he's shooting right now. All right. Um, well, that was a big, that was a big air right there. Mm -hmm. Safety air. But he's got to land nice on the five. He can also maybe even get a bump from the, if he needs to, on the two. Yeah. I don't think so, though. I think he yeah, can, he I think he, I come want, back. Listen, I want to draw out Char. I want to come back here and draw long. The long, I don't care. Because I'm going to, I can draw this down here like this, the five. Right. Or, or draw out and play the five in either corner. Yeah. The five goes in both corners here. Right. I just don't. But want I like to, your I, option better. Because if the cue ball's on the bottom side of the screen, if the cue ball's, um, sorry, here, he don't have to mess with the six that much. Right. But if the cue ball's on this side, he might have to meddle with the six, and I don't like that. So playing on the short side might not be a bad thing. Oh, you got good. Maybe get off the rail here. Eh, a little flat. That's yeah, kind of tough flat. to stun it down. So the five does go in the pocket, same pocket now. So that's where I'm yeah. playing it now. I don't. See, you have to stun that ball. That's the difficult part, you know? I, I would have played the five where the cue ball sits now. I would have yeah. I would have I would have drawn out and, and took my medicine yeah. and played the five. Even like this would have been better. Yes. You know. This is tough right here. Oh, we play ended up playing safe. Good decision, I think. Good decision. Because it was a back cut. You were definitely coming thin off the six. Cue ball traveling oh, down, maybe even down by the shot, nine. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been amazing. A little bit more of roll your dice here and play the percentage. I like what he did. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, was he was he able to freeze him? And he didn't. Could he have frozen him? I don't think he could have frozen him. He, yeah, he no, had to push him forward, right? Yeah. Because he had an angle. Yep. Do you like kicking two rails under that, sending the five up, and then kind of the cue ball hits the bottom of the five and comes back this way? Sure, I like kicking one rail. Like that. That's what I was. That's well, what I was saying. Well, it's not easy to kick it like that, but what you, a shot! Yo, you got it perfect. Oh, what a shot! Man, he's in trouble here. I feel like he can, he can see, see the five. Bit. Yeah, he can, but it's a real thin hit. What I mean, there's no really nowhere to duck. And he's jacked up over the six. That's tough. Yeah, he's gonna kick at this. Wow, Andy hit a really good shot right there. I, I forgot to give him a little fire. Andy deserves a little fire for that. Yeah, that Perfectly was a good shot. executed. Underneath two rail. Keep the cue ball down here. Push the five there. Okay. Whoa. Oh, oh, he scratched again on the kick shot. Man, how many kicks has he scratched? Five. Five. That is unreal. Yeah, it it really wow. is. And I, I almost bet you that if Stefan calculated that coming back. To for the three, three rails, rails, the tight three rails there. Yeah, probably. Might have still sold out if that didn't scratch, but he scratched again. Right. It's 21 to 18. This is where Andrew's getting smaller in the rear window. Uh-oh. 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 Whoa. Oh, my God. He hit that. He got that got away from him. That was... Yeah. Wow. He had no business going near there. No. I'm still going to give him this. Yeah. Again? Oh, he did it again! Oh, oh my, my god! god. <laughs> what in the heck is going on here? I can't believe it, ladies and gentlemen. It's 20 to 19 instead of 21 18. Oh my god. Oh my god. Colossal mistake right there. Huh? That's like a lifeline for Stefan. Oh my god. 
But I can't believe, dude. The guy was right here. I mean, you could be anywhere. Again, he had no business going anywhere near. First there. of all, he caught way too much left on that. Yeah, that was just straight yeah, exactly. draw. So exactly. when you hit this rail, this is coming Even straight. If it's a this way or straight. <laughs> Oh my god. I cannot believe it. 2019 char instead of 21 to 18. Wow. That's... And then and then the That's... shot before coming so close to the scratch. No. And I'd be like, okay. Yeah. I'm no, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna no be funny business. Yeah, center of the table kind of stuff. Actually, all he had to do was just stun it. The, it stun would it. Just have natural English and he'll check absolutely. The you did not need to put any left draw. Or yeah. Any, yeah. That was a bad wreck. And Stefan racks himself a little. 2019, though, anything can happen now. We've, we've seen it. We've this seen is, it all. <laughs> yep. But he did leave a wide open, easy table here, it looks like. Yeah. There's a bed rack. Racked himself, didn't he? Mm hmm. All right, just come center of the table here. Get on the three. I think this is pretty self. Just get on the three. You're on the four. Uh oh. Whoa. What's he doing here again? Oh my gosh, that could have ended up a lot worse if it marries. I would just play for the three in the corner. Yes. I don't know why he played it that way. He can stun this. Yeah. Okay, he's back in line, back in line. Let's see here. Is it? I think he's it, good. He's got to come straight. He's got to come all the way you back down. You got to hit the second reel. You got to come all the way back down here. Yeah, yeah. you got to hit good the shot. second Good shot. Good shot. He hit a good. Yeah. yeah, pretty much perfect right there. Seven to the eight and should be the game. A lot of places you can land here and it don't matter. Right. Manny Burroughs, pressure time, heart rate beaten. Man, I don't. I just had a freaking feeling they're gonna land funny. Okay, he 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 got. I don't know what. Dead straight. He landed funny. I mean, this is. Uh, you could land a yeah. way bigger angle than that. I mean, this is uh, a little. I just had that feeling again. That. You know, and since the pressure ramped sure up, was these little teeny position errors. Yeah, they they amplify. Right. The. the the little bit of a mistake he they made. Get more to the you, angle. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Bother you more. If he tries to juice it, is it possible to come here? Yeah. And here? Or no? Definitely. No. But I, I think he's gotta play <clears throat> short side shake here. Yeah, he's to play short side, but I think that's what he's going for. He's loading up. <clears throat> or just take your medicine and cut just a tough cut on the eight. I might even do that, just drop back to the rail here. I might take my medicine here, Sean, and just get to here. Come off the rail a little bit here and play it for play that eight. Wow. That's tough. That's a tough shot. If I don't think I can get any better than that. I think I might I might do the draw. You're gonna juice it? I'm gonna juice it. And spread it on which side are you, on the 80 you're gonna the short, side. short side. The yeah. Short side, yeah. Definitely. Is he going forward? Yeah, he's going forward. And he hits the nine. I have no freaking idea why he I, I gotta go backwards there. You have to go backwards. You I have, mean you have to come back. The nine wasn't anything. the nine's a beach ball. Yeah. The nine's a beach ball, exactly. And you know what? Is it for this bank straight back? This, this is one of the hardest. I don't even think it goes. You have to wow, bank it nah. here. Yeah. If you're playing a bank, you got to bank it there. Yeah, it's going to double this kiss. Double kiss. Yep. I don't mind these banks. I used to practice these all the way, all the way over to here. I bank it back Man. here. Huge. He. Wow. I might even go for the QL behind the nine here. Not bad shot there. I didn't even see honest. that. That's probably what he just went and looked at here, guys. Char made a good point. You got a little bit just of a focus you got a on that. Yeah, right I here. I wouldn't even focus on the eight ball at all at this point. Just cue ball. Just play cue ball only. But let's see. Looks like he's loading up for a bank. He's gonna double key, it looks like. 
Wow, he came as close I mean, as you can to make it. Even if he made it, it's a tough nine, but good attempt. I, I'm never banking it in that pocket. Yeah, I, I don't even hit it that close. Yeah, I double kiss, but I, I always take the back bank on the bar table because right. I know, and I like that anyway, because right. the cue ball travels here too right. on that shot. Right? Yeah, he has to play this real first. Uh -oh. he got he it, had, it got away from him. Oh no, to, it killed a little bit. He had to baby that one. He's got a cut shot here. I would baby that one. Because you know you're not going to catch the eight fat, you know? Right. I just looked at it. This is very, this is very makeable. Just stay down, right? Just stay down. He has to stay still on this. Don't overheat it. Oh my God, he hit it. I think, I, hit I, it. I think that most kid, honestly, I don't know. I'd have, I'd to, have, to, go, the I'd have to go look at a replay. The nine moved real funny. Yeah, I thought he hit it real fat. Wow, Stefan gets a reprieve no, he, he and doesn't that. get out. Yeah, I think he missed it really bad. And the speed, you don't have to hit it that way. Exactly, that's what I said too. He hit it real, like real. Yeah, like the cue ball's going back and forth. But you can hit it smooth like that. And you know, like a smooth stroke. Right, you can still but hit you that can, action. You can hit it medium speed smooth. He's you, hitting high speed. Yeah. You know, you can hit it medium speed. In, yes. Right? Wow, I'm, I'm shocked right now that Steph didn't get out. I'm shocked that Andy played the position he did. Pressure's real now. I, I think the pressure's hit them both for real. Brandon Brown, what's happening, dude? All the Denver Sharks are drooling. <laughs> Brandon Brown, the best trick shot uh, shooter in the west of Mississippi. Wow. That kid, yep. Awesome. He's got over a million views, I believe, now on his on his trick shot um, channel. What's up, Brandon? Just sweating this match, dude. It's been uh, Andy when it comes out with a real good break here. Uh, could be out here. Could punish uh, Stefan with two here. Wow, that was such a good opportunity for Stefan to tie it. Dude. Yeah, that was. That was. And I looked down at the table. It really wasn't that hard of a shot. I think the problem was the eight ball. He hit it with too much speed. The rail first. And it got him a little bit. Because you know you're not going to catch it fat. You're going to catch it thin. So the cue ball's going to run a lot. A little funny here. A little funny if he catches it a little fat. He catches the bottom of the eight. But he's going to, he's going to, Andy likes shooting these with a lot of inside English. Or does he draw out? Wow. The, it, the seven plays big here if you try to come two rails below the eight. Seven plays big. I think he's looking at the one rail option with the inside. Yeah, I think that's the safest bet. Even if he bumps the seven, he's fine, but he's, yeah. Man, the way he's playing, I think he might get behind the seven. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, he hit it good. Yeah, he... Oh, he hit it dead perfect. Yeah. Got a perfect little kiss off there. Yeah. yeah, he can just stop the cue ball now. He's got a nice little natural angle to drag down for the eight. It's going to be 22 to 19. Oh, that was interesting. He's fine. I hope they go. Man, he's got a, he's got, yeah, he's, got a, he's got a three quarters of a pocket. Yeah, he's okay. Wow. Interesting play. I would have definitely have drawn it back into the bottom half cushion. Right. 22 to 19. Oh man, there's so many swings in this match that could have could have gone teetered one way or another, but they're teetering in Andy's favor right now. 22-19. Andy needs three. Stefan needs six. Stefan needs to win this next wreck is what he needs. Yeah, he needs to win the next wreck. Andy moved back over to the side cushion. 
He's moved mm-hmm. a lot. He's moved around a lot this this match. This is where I thought he was breaking the best from, and then he moved from here earlier. Right. Oh, beautiful break! Beautiful break. Not sure the one goes. Uh, I don't think it does. No, well, I he made the cue balls on the rail. <clears throat> Three balls on the break. And he does not have a pocket to shoot the one in. He points his cue stick. He's going to try to put the cue ball right here, right around in this area. He's going to overcut the one. Uh, maybe even right here is better. <clears throat> Man, I'm going to have to ask Stefan about that eight, that nine ball later. Yeah. How, why he hit it so hard. Just smooth it. Yeah. With accuracy. You know, with, with, you add all that velocity. I mean, you're you do lose percentage points on your accuracy. Definitely. Can you see the one? I don't think so. No, he's hooked. He's got his jump cue out again. He's whiffed a couple of these, but he's he's got much more. Uh, area to get over the ball. He's been real close on his last couple jumps, and he's put him up pretty close. Right. Oh, and he he almost missed that too. Oh, look at this. This could be a roll. That is a oh, roll. This is the, but this is the jump. This is the jump shot they set up when you go to Vegas when they want you to buy one. <laughs> They're like, they, this is the shot they set up when they want when they have it. And they go, they want to sell you one. Yeah. They they they, they set up this shot, <laughs> and then you make it, and you're like, oh, I'll buy that cue. <laughs> You're not wrong about that. Wow. Well, I can't believe he did. I can't, bl- I, I can't believe he, he passed on that. Well, this is a funny shot. Okay. Uh, he, he can make it. Yeah. Look, take a look. But for the position, do you double kiss it and bounce out? Or do you go forward here with inside? Oh, definitely not forward. Okay. Good, that scratch is playing huge. Okay. That scratch is playing huge here. And sometimes when you're going. If you hit, you yeah. gotta, you almost gotta throw this in a little too with outside English. Yeah, I think try to try to this. double kiss this the cue ball into the seven and put it out to the middle of the table. You gotta play with draw this one. I think he definitely can make it. And the scratch is big. He has to draw this one. Pretty good shot there by wow. Mr. Wyatt. I would have shot that all day long. Yeah, me too. Me too. And he's looking, he looked at the Monster Masse. I think those balls take away the two rail kick, or can he hit it three rails? It's, yeah, let's see. I think he can can hit it three rails. Can he? Um, I think he's he's got here. I think he can get to here, right? And come here. It looks like it's available. And he's looking at coming backwards now. I think the three rails not there. Not there? I don't think it's there. I think the six and he might have to go two rails the other way. Left uh, left side rail, top rail and then from our camera view. He might there, have to the two mayor rails. is calling ball in hand. I think that's B I H ball in yeah. hand. Yeah. Ball in hand coming. He has the one rail key, actually. Oh yeah? <laughs> And actually, if he hits a uh, half ball here, good yeah. things can happen. Uh, I didn't even—we didn't even talk about that. Yeah. A half ball hit here. The one real. Set, yeah, the cue ball comes off here. I think that's the shot, isn't it? Yeah. Well, look at this shot. He's thinking about coming no, back. I, that would be like my last option. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, definitely my last. Because the, the I mean, he's elevated over the seven. That's why. This is my last. I, I don't. Even, I don't even know why he hasn't looked at the one rail yet. I, I think that's the shot. Yeah. Medium speed. Easy to judge. Even if you hit it full, it's banking the four and the six, possibly. Uh, you know, jamming it up a little bit. Actually, half ball either side works. You know, you hit the left or the right side of the one. Both are pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, you just pick your middle spot right here. Yeah. Go over here. Mm-hmm. Boom. I mean, yeah. I, I like it. Yep. It's amazing that he hasn't even that's he hasn't that he hasn't even looked at that option. I know. I think he's going to it right now though. Yeah, he finally found the one rail kick here. Huh. 
Is he loading up? Is he going for max speed? Pretty good hit. Yeah. All right, Stephen, sure. this, this is, to me, I don't know. I mean, he's, he's creeping away here. He must get out here. You got to come with a shot here on the one. He has to get out here. I mean, you just got to pop. I think you just got to pop the one on the side and take your medicine yep. and, and give yourself a look at the two. Mm -hmm. Just make these whole. I don't think there's juice in there or anything. Just make it. Yeah, just make it. Good shot. Very good. Got a real pretty good, decent angle here, too. Uh, almost straight in. I think he can just stun it. Draw back here, even. Yeah. I don't just want to do too much. Just back drop a back. Bit. Yeah. yeah it's, easy, it's, easy. He got a little too much there. Yeah. Didn't he? Yeah, he did. Wow. We're seeing the same things right now. <laughs> oh, he's on the four. That's the seven. I thought that was the yeah. three ball. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, but even then, I mean, I felt like his cue ball came back a little much, like. I thought, he, was, I thought he had to shoot the, uh, so I thought that was the three ball down there. That's what I was saying. I was like, whoa, that's that gnarly. But, yeah. but even though he okay. did draw back, kind of a little draw here. Would you roll this or would you come to the other side? Other side. I'm stunning it. Shooting the firm. Okay. I would I think I would have mm -hmm. tried to get a straighter angle to the other yeah. side, but that's fine. 22 to 20. This can test your nerves though, can it? Good shot, good shot. 22 20. Close match. 22 to 20. He's in the 20s. Here, this is definitely the last mile of the marathon here. Yep. Coming down, they both ran out of water. They're looking for people on the sidelines, wow. throwing water on their face, <laughs> finding that extra little gas. I know. Well. I remember, I can't remember which champion told me that though, but they said in long sets, mm -hmm. at the very beginning of the set, they actually remind themselves that to save some gas, I don't know exactly how they do it, but they said, I'm going to save gas coming down the home stretch. I, I, I'm going to try mm -hmm. to conserve my energy and save that extra for to kind of ramp up my energy for the last, the last bit of the stretch. Who here. we got? We got a hill hill match coming? I don't know. Maybe. What's the feeling? It's, uh, it's still it's Andy. Gonna be real it's, close. I think Andy's favorite That's for sure. That's the feeling. It's yeah. going to be real close. Are you good to Andy yet still? For it? sure. Up by two here. It, yeah. It looks like Stefan's cue ball is a little bit off right now. Yeah. Who knows? The pressure's ramped up here now, though. Like, God damn, he's such a grinder, dude. Like, fucking Stefan does not give up on a ball or a right. shot. Needs to make a ball. He made oh, a, what yeah. a, break. Uh, a break and run here goes a million miles. Yeah. And he can see the one, all of it. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's this is huge. This is but huge. He, this is a little touchy. He's got to pinch this one. <clears throat> I just hold the cue ball right there. So that's what he's looking at. I I, I might even stroke Hit the rail. Yeah. I might come off and play the two on the side. Yeah. I'm gonna stroke. Yeah. I think I'm gonna stroke this. Yeah. And come here. Not a bad option at all. Two in the corner, two in the side. Yeah. I don't like like getting cute here. He's playing high. Okay. Ah, uh, get off the rail. His cue ball is getting away from him. Yeah. He so he, he a little too much draw, not enough stun, right? He wanted that angle. He wanted to land in here. Right. Now what's Shar? I mean, the, the, the if going forward in the corner does not leave you any shape. Side. And take your medicine here. Go between the four and nine. I think so. He's jacked up a little. I think he's he's jacked up. He's jacking he's jacking up here. I don't know if it's he might necessary. need the four. Definitely not the nine. But avoid both balls if possible. No, I don't like playing in the corner. Uh, I don't like. I, 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 I thought he could have gone level Q and hit right here. Yeah, exactly. That's what I saw. That's what I saw too. That's what I, I saw. Hit it a little more full, put a little bit of outside English on it so you can throw it a little yeah. to, to, to control your angle a little bit better. Yeah. And if you didn't like it, you could even come under the three and out. Under the three, yeah. Maybe you even come under the three, and even if you bump the three, so yeah, be it. So be it. Yeah. yeah. He might have got a little lucky here, though. With yeah, the, he didn't leave a shot. 
Looks like he gave him cover here, though. There's a few balls he can get cover. Pretty good shot That's there. Good shot. Pretty good shot there. Well, he's at the mercy of a roll here. I believe he's got to he's got to make a hit and then somehow not give Andy a shot. And the not so good thing about this kick is the cue ball can't go open. backwards, right? The cue ball has no chance to go open. backwards behind the nine or the four. It's coming forward, right? Yeah. Even if you come and hit it fat on the two rail here, it's still coming this way. Yeah. It it's like not going behind. Just like I said. Yeah. Yeah. You see. There was no outs to get behind the nine. Andy's gonna take a bathroom break. The best option was, I mean, the best thing that could have happened would be kick and stick and then the two go this way. Yeah. But it was, I, I don't know if that was available. It was because the two was pretty close was, to the rail. Yeah, you'd have to hit it dead perfect. And it wasn't that easy. Not enough space between the two and the rail. The other option I thought was maybe coming across it this way and coming on top of it. So you bank the two this way and then the right. cue ball travels off the two down and just leaving distance. Kind of like a one pocket shot. Kind of like a one pocket shot, yeah. Yeah. Uh, all Zandy has to do really is pocket this ball. There's really... Hey, no kept, danger. Nah, not really any danger of the six ball. He ain't gonna be drawn as cue ball. It's gonna be some stun on this. And with the angle, he's definitely got enough speed coming off. Right. So 23 to 20, we're looking at Andy. Mm -hmm. Your buddy said he would have jumped bank to safety. I think the jump bank is not on because the two so close to the rail, it could fly off the table. Yeah. You know? And I, I've always thought the way uh, Stefan jumps with the dart, mm -hmm. you are limited, I think, by how much action you can get off the cue ball. It's like I, when I'm stroking it like I normally do, I feel like I can draw, I feel like I can cut it and play English. Totally agree. Yeah. I, I just, I, that's why I don't like the draw. Totally I, I don't like the, the dart. Mm -hmm. Me too. And the other reason is I'm short. <laughs> so the dart is tough. Oh, uh, he just, he's on, he's on this floor. He doesn't have to do anything here. Doesn't have to do anything. He's just slowing stop. down. Taking his time, probably a good idea. Yeah. 23-20. Well, about that in, he got fine though. Did he get flat on this? Does he have yeah. to play the six in the corner? I don't know. Yeah, he I does. Guess he does. Oh, and he got a he got a nice little angle too. Yeah. Twenty-three twenty, Andy. Right. Barring a miscue or an overdraw. Twenty-three twenty. Twenty-three to twenty. Andy's two away. Stefan five away. Nice little out there by Andy. Unfortunate. Fortunate for Stefan there. He shot the he had the shot again on the two ball. Yep. We both said he should have played it in the side. And even if he even if he pockets two, he's I, I think he's gonna get a look at the three no matter what. And then yeah. and then he could have played off the three, maybe a safer there. Yep. I think playing the two in the side was the shot. Yeah, you agree? Yeah. He over pumped the deuce a little bit. I mean the one to get down. Right. Funny spot there. Gotta move your All right, Andy, twenty-three twenty. Back to one ball at a time. Go back to work here. Donald Clements rooting for a dry break or a scratch on the break. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, yeah. He's been breaking pretty good from this spot, too. Nine ball. He's making the nine. You know, that, that, that tells me there's a gap there. 
Yeah. That tells me there's a, a pretty good little gap, so the balls are mm. maybe being, done, you know, just there's a gap there. Right. When the nine shoots straight in the hole like that. Definitely. And uh, this couldn't be any easier here. The two to the three. Yeah, that's and then the he's tough out one. the door. Maybe the three to the four, but the two to the three, depending on which angle he gets here. Yeah. Do know where he's gonna play the cue ball? Let's see. Uh, I don't know if he can come backwards now. Okay, if unless he can miss, nah, I don't like it. I think he's gonna. This one you can keep off the four and go forward. Play high I, There is a little bit. He can draw into the eight here too, off the rail into the eight. He's fine because that, that gets him to the three. Right, but you but, go forward here. Yeah, I think I might go forward here. Yeah, I'll probably go forward here. Yeah, just like oh, he that. hit it real good too. Wow, nice shot, Andy. The only thing that's probably saving Stefan here is that eight ball. Yep. Or if he lands with a big angle on the He can, can go forward here too if he wants. Yeah. That was a good shot. That was that a was very good shot. shot. Very good shot. Couldn't couldn't get hooked shooting it like that. That's for sure. Very confident. Very confident stroke there. Yeah. Gets perfect. Now he's speaking of the pace. Yeah, he's feeling it. He's definitely whoa, feeling it now. Whoa. Uh, he's fine. He's feeling it. He's gonna stroke it. He wants to keep firing it. Uh, a little, little bit of 50 yard line here. Yeah. A little bit, no scratch though. He can just go straight top. 2420 we're looking at. 24-20. Good shot. Good out. Good out there, yeah. Good out. Very confident strokes. He didn't he didn't baby anything on that. Yep. Well, Stefan needs a roll here to get a shot, and then he needs to put a package together. Yeah. Yeah, he's in a big deficit. He's in a big hole here. Man's on the hill. Breaking. You need five. easy at least I'm looking at it it's possible to pocket this in the side pocket real real tight but it's it's possible yeah and the natural cue ball comes above three yeah. if you can uh, I, th I think I'm I don't think that one goes by the eight in the corner I mean, even the one goes by the eight, you got no shape on the two, you know? I think the shot here is just to play a safe. Roll the cue ball under the eight. Roll the cue ball under the eight? Kick the one? I'm uh, sorry, the one ball. Roll the one, one under on, the eight. Oh, okay. So you're saying, you're the saying play, the, play the one to here. Yeah. Down to right here. Yeah. I was going to say, I thought you meant the, kick oh, no, no, and, no, no, no. and drag the cue ball down oh, here. That's no. too difficult. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the shot. There's not much you can play here. Well, if he gets this, he'll be a shot. He got, he got a full ball hook, but the jump. Yeah, but the three, even if he jumps it in, he's got to play a kill shot to get to the three. <clears throat> Wow, out 
have all the options, huh? What a shot. I can't believe, number one, he didn't jump in. Number two, he got a save from me. Yeah. Yeah, I thought for sure he would jump in. 90, 95% of plays would jump there. Yeah. yeah, it was a nice separation from the seven. Yeah. Um, yeah, and just like There's a enough stop space shot. In the street. But he hit a great shot here. Yeah. Now, Stefan has a kick lane. I like checking, putting a lot of. This is a possible. Yeah. Come here, hit the bottom of the one, go here, and the cue ball. I uh, hit the wrong side of it. Yeah. This game's over. And he's got. And he's allowing well, him to six. get a good angle on the two. The six the is a six. little bit tough. Yeah. Well, he fired that one too. I would have played a little more control and tried to one down here, cue ball back into the traffic over here. Right. The five though, the five leads to the six. Pretty good here. You know what I mean? Like, if you get on the, if you get on this, if you get on this four, you make the four and the five, you're shooting down towards the six. It gives you an option for the six nine combo. And then, right. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Six nine combo. This might be it. Yep, he's, I don't know. he's rolling now. And he's rolling now. He's rolling now. And he's going to take on the 6 9 combo. Uh -oh. And he's getting right down on it. See it. Game over. All right. Game over. Andrew Pettinger redeems himself. 25 20. A lot of people clapping. A lot of people happy that made the side bets. All right. Uh, yeah. It's a good match. Pretty good match. I think Stefan will have some uh, things to look back on. So yeah. is Andy. But I don't think Andy has to look back at because he, <laughs> he got the W. I don't think he will. <laughs> yeah. Although, yeah, both players can look back on things. For sure. Shark, it was a pleasure commentating Thank you, with Tony. your brother. Yeah, I enjoyed commentating yeah. with you. Yeah, that was a pleasure, dude. Uh, 110 viewers out there. Thank you guys very much for joining us tonight. Remember, December 9th, we got an 1100 combined Fargo. December 16th, the blind sock draw, scotch doubles uh, for the Denver Children's Home. Uh, December 23rd, 1000 combined. December 24th, 1200. December 30th, 1150. December 31st, singles tournament. January 1st, New Year's, 1100 combined. Appreciate all you guys. Thanks to all our sponsors. Uh, thanks to everyone out there. I'm sure uh, these matches are popping up more frequently. So we'll, we'll keep you posted. Have a good night, Daryl, Jeff, Donald, KR Prim.